if they get on the edge, have some success out there, get everybody out flunked, and then come right back with Kyle Echol. Echol has nine carries in the middle of the field. Yeah. And can... America. Fucking fuck! Are you frostbitten? Well, drink Geek Grind Coffee! With the special nerd erotic All Hail Private Blend. GeekGrindCoffee.com for all that ails you. Use discount code NERDROTIC at checkout for 20% off! Huzzah! Oh, hello. Do you have cock? Remember cock? The penis. Yes, it was cock. It's cock actually, right? It's in English. Please give me cock. Simple. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're gonna have to put it in my ass. Okay. Like, ooh, ooh. Is that what you're looking for? You fucking freaks. Get away from me! The man. Perry, Perry, Perry. The legend. Oh, the legend. I like to put extra emphasis on Chan. He is an Asian man. Yes. He created that opening. Uh, none of us told him to do that. He's just we're, genius we're, all we on have an, it, We have more than one Asian friend, so we can't that's be right. racist. So that's essentially what Quarter Black, who's a Quarter Black, is saying mm -hmm. it counts. So, it counts. That's true. It counts. It I have counts. a quarter Asian we, we, son. I like egg rolls and pot stickers. Hey, and, and I'm Taiwan like a quarter countries. native, so there hey. we go. <laughs> there you go. Quarter, the game. quarter black. We you actually mentioned you on main event Tuesday because we had really? someone that was thirty percent. A thirty. Oh, a yeah, thirty. No, thirty three. 33%. 33 yeah, and a third. Like, like, magical so imagine trying like, to explain to people I'm far, a one third black. Yeah, 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 but that's okay because we were far less racist Tuesday night than we will be tonight because Ryan's here. So, <laughs> uh, I was there on Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, no well, doubt. But, yeah. but we had 33% black there. So we were I, good. Wanted, I wanted to represent. So I, got, I got my DNA tested and I came back 100% Aryan race. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No Neanderthal? I can't no associate anymore. <laughs> Just, uh, 
bit good about that, to be honest with you. Yeah, I, I agree with the with Rex in the chat, who's a channel member. Thank you for being a channel member. We need British representation here. Uh, I think we'll get Mahler back. We'll get yeah, Mahler at back some at, point. at some point. Yeah. <laughs> He'll come back. Fucking old Joe now. No, it really doesn't get old yeah, we, ever. We do yeah. have, I mean, we have Ripple. Yeah, we never you know, reuse jokes around here. That's right. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? We, we are, every week. I will say Tuesday night's main event is a more diverse show, uh, which is why I'm more uncomfortable there than I'm here. Because uh, we, we have, you know, we have Epic Mike, who's very, yeah. he's a light-skinned black man, but then you have Ripa, obviously. So here you can hear Gary's yeah. like trying to count the Asians. Asian are like the least, you know, they're the least victimized, right? Apparently they're the lowest on the victimhood right. ladder for people of yeah. color because they can get into college well, easy. So I don't well, know. No, well, so on, the, on that point, like, you know, and I want to, you know, obviously this is a co-geeks and gamers production. And as a true leader, I need to take responsibility because Ryan and I were not here last week. Um, and mm. I heard the complaints. I heard the disappointment. You needed more sexism and racism on Friday <laughs> Night Tights. Ryan is back. Okay, we're here to correct the problems. Uh, so Brittany did her I best, apologize. though. She really did her she, best. Brittany yeah, did she really a great did. job. Yeah, she yeah, brought she it did. home. Brittany yeah. was great. Oh, Brittany was great. So. <laughs> See, people thought Mahler was being brought in to, you know, replace my toxicity. It was actually Brittany. It was so. Brittany. <laughs> yeah. It was definitely Brittany. I love Brittany. Yeah. She's amazing. She's great. She's great. She's she great. is. Uh, welcome to Friday Night Tights, hey, everybody. Hey, we're close to on time. Don't get used to it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. It's pretty good. End, going of on. Going on. End of Something's days. End of days. We're close That's to on time to the new well. early time, too. That's true. <clears throat> so, I mean, it's pretty impressive. Yeah. Well, we got this big picture of Ryan smiling out there, too, looking like a <laughs> little giddy boy. You know, because he saw my puppy. <laughs> that that face, you, like when it's I saw so that, that was the thumbnail for <laughs> wow. Jay's video. I'm like, that, that's like such a terrible fucking picture. That's of me. why it was approved. So Jay stupid. reached out to me. Jay sent it to me. Drunk three PO sent it to me. He goes, yeah, he what do you think about you. this? Yes, and he's like, what do you think about this? I'm like, it's so fucking horrible that you so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. He's so happy. Are, are you drunk in that photo, Ryan? <laughs> No, no, no. I, I, it's, it was right after we got done on a fucking ride and we just got sprayed. Like, you see my hair's like flat and weird because we're all fucking wet. And so Jay said he like, I almost lost the phone and I was laughing at him. And mid laugh, this is what I fucking look like. I look like a fucking retard in this. This is the thumbnail you for the park copy. You know when, when all Very the hobbits gay. were at the end of Return of the King and all yeah. the hobbits are laughing? Like, we need that. This is that. When, Sam, is when Samwise walks to the door. A yeah. stupid fucking picture. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna use that forever. You know, it's like, like having it, yeah. an extra kid to give shit to. It's like it's great. <laughs> I, yeah, I couldn't believe that was a thumbnail. I didn't even message Jay about it. I just fucking gave him the fucking cold shoulder once I saw that go live on Park Hop and haven't talked to him since. How dare you? Fuck you, drunk three PO. <laughs> He's be like, hey, I asked Jeremy. I don't give a fuck. But why would I care if you asked Jeremy? I'm not Come on, Jeremy's going to say yeah. picture of me. Well, Jeremy's thanks, not even going to look. He's going to go, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. No, no, Jeremy actually texted him back. Do you have a more retarded looking one? <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, the answer was no, thank God. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Gotta love it. Gotta you do. Love it. You do. Uh, it's been quite a week. Again, uh, especially for like Disney's had a bad month. This has been uh, glorious. I have been just eating lots of popcorn and enjoying every fucking minute of it as they tear each other apart. And uh, yeah, we're going to talk about that. Uh, Lord of the Rings, I guess, is trying to silence people. That's interesting. Yeah. Uh, uh, Morbius. I don't know. Does anybody care about? I don't give a fuck about Morbius. I don't care. It's sounds, not really. Yeah. Even though to like probably be better than most other Marvel shit. <laughs> yeah. uh, to be honest with yeah, you, yeah, it probably will. Uh, I think. But I still don't really care about. It. I guess I, I really don't care about that character. I guess. Yeah, me neither. Really. You know, so I, I do. I just don't care about the no movie. <laughs> it, it, it it doesn't now that they're like, I think they've delayed it like four times. You could tell it's just yeah. a turd, and they just want to. You know, they they don't have a streaming mm. service to dump it on. So. Uh, there's that, and uh, there's the Batman deleted scene that everybody's talking about. With, um, oh, I think it was a good thing that stayed deleted. Yep, 
Yes. Yeah. I got this. Uh, if you for want a to couple have a look reasons. For yeah. a couple reasons. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No. I just got down no. with it. You know? Wow. So got, got down. Yeah. Like that's that, that's not good. This is bad. That whole scene was bad. And watching that deleted scene only reminded me of how aggravating it was to watch that movie because it took so long for that scene to actually develop into something like the movie's so <laughs> fucking <laughs> slow. Everything I couldn't like understand a fucking word he said. That was, the, it was actually the Christopher Nolan cut. Uh, yeah. You guys don't know that. <laughs> that was the Chris Your Nolan punishment cut. must be more severe. Uh, I, I think that for a variety of reasons, it's a really good thing this stayed deleted. Uh, one, for them to introduce him in that way would just then make him the focal point of that movie. That's all like people would be like yeah. talking about. And then two, it, it's almost like we've gotten to the point with Joker now where you just make him this like suit as fucked up as you can, <laughs> but you don't really think about any of the things that made Joker Joker. Yep. Like you don't one, he doesn't say anything fucking funny <laughs> in, in that entire time. Two, why would Batman why would Batman go and ask Joker for information and think that that's a reliable source? Yep. Yeah. They now, were doing like a Hannibal uh, Lecter yeah, kind exactly. of he's going to him to yeah. yep. decipher why? this what, information. What why do you need that... Joker? I don't need Joker to decipher you're Batman. Yeah. So that's why that's why they cut it. Bad reboot Ultimately, 101. I think they dude. cut it. For it's, a good reason, it's bad reboot. Because it was not a good scene. I'm telling you. Yeah. Next well, movie. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I will say, like, uh, it's nice that they didn't have to put a lot of makeup on Ron Perlman's face uh, for this scene right here. <laughs> yeah. So shout out to Ron yeah. Perlman. I don't know if you guys heard his latest rant. That oh, dude. God, no. Oh, is like I did. On his hands. Holy yeah. crap! He is a nut job. Which uh oh, I mean, he's been he's been one for a long time. It's not it's not breaking news, but he went on Instagram and had a incredibly cringe rant about politicians and uh white privilege and all of this like ugh. oh no, no. Shocks me. It's, he's uh, it's, nuts it's, man he really is it sucked like i love that dude in sons of anarchy as clay morrow but he is an absolute nut, nut job he's like, a great crazy. actor in a lot of he great is. things like Clayface, hellboy oh i yep. love him Come hellboy on. But he yep. kind of sucks as a human being. Yeah, but it, it tells you he's a great actor because <laughs> you, right, yeah. you, you you had no idea he's such a fucking lunatic like, until oh. he opened his mouth. He's a fucking he psychopath. Fantastic. He's a fantastic actor. So yeah, yeah. he really is. Uh, so yeah, what else were we getting? There's something else in the in the t oh Moon Knight. Yeah, Moon Knight, and then of course we're gonna oh. talk about Halo. We'll we'll talk about Halo because we all yeah. watched Halo. I think most of us Sadly. watched Halo, and if you didn't watch Halo, you're better off. You're just better off <laughs> at this point. Uh, it's it's such typical current year shit. But let's uh, get to the intros, and then we'll start the show in about an hour and a half. Okay, so uh, Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers, what's up? What's going on? Happy to be back. Uh, I want to give a couple of Geeks and Gamers shout outs. First of all, Disparu, because I'm pretty sure Disparu is the person that kind of found this mass deleting yeah. uh, going on. Uh, and I was talking to him because he was on our Splatoon stream last night. We were talking about it before we went live. And he basically, he admittedly is like, I'm not a you know expert on Lord of the Rings. He's like, I'm, I'm just, you know, he says, well, this is what happens when you fuck with Wheel of Time. <laughs> so they pissed him off with Wheel of Time. <laughs> so now he's on a rampage against Amazon because he's like, to wow. hell with you. So shout Good. out to Disbrew. His channel has been blowing up. He's been killing it, and he's a great guy. Um, he really is. So I'm so happy to see that. And happy birthday to our very own Krista Nova. She's been getting a lot of love, including from Gina Carano. Gina Carano, oh, wish nice. her a happy birthday. Gina is awesome. I'm looking forward to her appearances in Dallas and Orlando. I know all of us for various uh, different places we're going to be uh, making sure that we're you know, at these cons. I don't think I'll be able to make it to Dallas, but obviously I'll be at Orlando. And so, yeah, it's been a hell of a week, though. Happy to be back. And I promise Ryan will ramp up the sexism in Friday night tights. So he will be here for that. But yeah, yeah. Let's get I, I, heard, I heard there was fucking women in the Halo show. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> suspicious <laughs> number of women. It, suspicious. I'm very it, and it is it them. is great having Melanie here. I know she's been a highly requested guest and she's been blowing uh, up lately uh, on. She's already she blew up a long time ago and now she's blowing up again. So uh, happy to have her. So thank you. I'm excited. Yep. What the hell? Is so that? let's do it. That? Let's talk about some Halo because I watched about half of it and gave up on it. It was that bad. 
Uh, I'll just show started. See, thank see, God I didn't have to watch the end of it. So you didn't see the face reveal then, huh? I, well, I fast I fast forwarded to the end because I heard okay. that that happened at the end, and so it's I awful. about halfway because. And again, we'll get we'll get into it later, but it, it's exactly what uh, so many. Uh, I, I I made a video about this. I haven't uploaded it yet, but I was like, I was right, and I was like, and I shouldn't get any credit for being right because it's so obvious. With everything they're doing, all you had to do is watch that trailer, and it's obvious what they're doing. And as I said, like, and we have a Laura Croft fan here, so I'll say this. I wouldn't go see a Laura Croft movie and, and be happy if there were male-focused characters. In right. It. Just like if I went to see a, a Metroid movie, I'd be upset if there was male-focused characters. Could I be there to see mm -hmm. Samus? I want to see Master Chief. Yeah, I want to see yep. the focus on the Halo lore and the fact that this show is so folk. It's all about diversity. Hey, guys, we're diverse. Look, look at the diversity. Look at the representation. Look at the lack of white males. Oh, oh. So bad. But, oh. Well, and I think that from like even a female perspective, it's fun to watch like the, a bunch of dudes in their element. Sometimes we don't have to have females inserted in everything. Like when you think about war movies and stuff like that. It's like it's cool just to watch the dudes together being dudes. Yes. And whenever they just force female representation in there, it just feels like it, it's running it's running the experience mm -hmm. that I wanted to see. And that's a it's bunch of dudes in there. You element. didn't want to watch a scrappy young, you know, POC uh, <laughs> resistance fighter or <laughs> a, a a powerful female scientist or a powerful <laughs> female general or <laughs> A powerful human female that leads the Covenant <laughs> army. Oh my God! <laughs> what the fuck is wrong the, with this show? The, the thing about Halo is like we'd had Cortana before she was turned into Soccer Mom, her. and Cortana yeah. was awesome. Just this babe AI man, like she was great. And it was leading Master Chief around. I had nothing. Well, no, she's now going to be Burke at AI. Never Unfortunately, mind baby. <laughs> none of you are biologists, so you cannot. <laughs> that's, that's true. My I, bad. I can't, I can't tell. Damn it! I was wondering who was going to get that point. joke at first. That Gary did. Uh, yeah, that's that's a good coming. point. <laughs> but yeah, happy to be here. Let's get this party started. Uh, happy to be back after a week off. And, and again, one more time, uh, rest in peace to the great John Bartolo at his memorial in Vegas. That's yep. why Ryan and I weren't here. Um, it was great. And uh, we'll have more to talk about with, you know, different people at New John that we're connected to that we're going to be doing some work with in the future. So it's good stuff. But uh, as I said before, all he would tell me if he were here is shut the fuck up and get back to work. So that's what we're doing. Yep. So let's do it. As. Hi. Hi. As ripped his fucking shirt off before the stream started, I know, I'm and so I was pissed. very uncomfortable. <laughs> what? <laughs> very uncomfortable. What are you I'm just talking saying. about? Well, uh, Jeremy very was coming in talking about how much he loves being gay, and then As was like, <laughs> "Oh, just, I'm going to tempt you right now. I'll show you gay, and I will really show gay. you gay." And it, and it, uh, oh. <laughs> no. Oh! oh my god. <laughs> Careful what you wish for. There you go. That's, yeah, what, that's, that's what happens mania, before the show. Dreams sometimes come true. I'm just saying. I'm Thank leaving you. now. Bye. Oh my god! I cannot believe I had low expectations for Halo, and I cannot believe that fucking came in under it. Daddy, chill. Came. I. I. I, I got a. I got a confession to make. Uh, the review of Halo is the second take. Because the first take, I stopped about 10 minutes in and was just like, holy shit, this just sounds like a massive racist tirade. I've been told you need to question whether to upload those or not. Yeah. Uh, so. All it was is fucking like diverse this, diverse that, fucking women that, fucking diverse this. Where's the fucking white people? They're all gone. Where's the white... I was 10 minutes in and I was just like, whoa, you wait, whoa. Yep. You know, he started the video out. He goes, he goes, what's going on, guys? This is as from as Outpost. And uh... yeah. yeah. This is as from Patriot Outpost. <laughs> uh, uh, what I've learned if at any point in time you're counting the number of black or white people, it's a good time to question whether you should, you know, stop and restart the video. So. But, it, but it was just and like the, but the, the thing is though, the show yeah. is so it's a, like it's like Discovery. It's so egregiously against white men yes mm. it's yes, just like yeah. we are we are absolutely -centric. going to try and suppress any white males from this show 
And uh, when wow. a show's doing that, it becomes very obvious what you're doing. Uh, when every single solitary person looks looks different, it's just like that doesn't kind of make any cohesion to where you are or make anyone sort of relate to where you are. Like if they were all Asian, then you get an idea that this is yeah. a colony or, or something, or if they're all this, all of that. And they're meant to be like working in a desert or something. And they're like the cleanest fucking things apart from their clothes. But everything about them, like hair's all like nice. And it's oh, just wow. like, you know, there's makeup concealer on everyone. You can see that. I was but just like, wow, if you only spent that money on special mullet. effects. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, you know, this. And it was just like, it was so Side typical that the, um, the kids, what the young kids left to go and get high. It's just like so Californian. It's just so right. fucking. Oh my God, we're just gonna like go out of the town because we're finding like these plans to make you get like fucking high. <laughs> oh my God. And then I was just like, for, for, there was this brief moment for like two minutes where I was just like, come on. As all the covenant were just blowing these fucking hippie fucks up, just literally, like, boom, legs going, <laughs> boom, your arms legs going, legs going, poof, bodies, heads. Poof. I was just like, "Come on!" That's where I was uh, like, "Whoa, this actually, this might be good." And yeah, this could be good. This could be like, fuck, like fuck California, oh. fuck your hippie shit, fuck Dude, your drugs. There's, there's better. Perry Chan's intros have better CG than this show. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 it's that, really that's bad. the thing. It's it's modern day Hollywood, but the special effects are like from Xbox 360. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's, it's like the worst combination of things you could imagine. Yeah. All right, so I I do have uh I didn't I, I didn't think we'd have breaking news this early on. Wow. But uh we have breaking news. Ryan There's has a picture been of me. exposed. Ryan has been exposed. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> How dare you, Ryan? <laughs> Oh Corporate happy. can't tell the difference between the Dirty two. Dirty liar. <laughs> it looks like you make oh, look at him very happy. Drunk 3PO. Drunk 3PO. This drunk 3PO. Is... If you're watching this right now, redo the upload for Park Cop and make this the thumbnail, please. <laughs> that the thumbnail. <laughs> Chrissy Park was up. the guest on the channel. She's not even in the goddamn thumbnail. But this makes... All right, so Steph put this out there. This is fucking stupid, Steph, and I'll tell you why. One, my tongue is Steph. obviously in my mouth, not fucking lolly outside because it's too big for my it's like x-ray girl's dumb fucking dog and two my eyes look more like x-ray girls than this fucking dog this dog's eyes are popping us. out of its head i look asian in this one what? This is more like i look like friend. an asian person with down syndrome in this fucking <laughs> you're, like, you're like a high hippie that just got their first set of beads for showing the tits at the car yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have I it right my here. First beat. <laughs> All I have to do is show my tits. You got it. Look. Let's <laughs> show the tits. See? <laughs> They're purples. Yeah. I, I love how Ryan. So what what do you got there? What, what's that? Is that your little queen? This, this is the beads that I was wearing. Is that your queen? Okay. Oh, it's Kang. Oh, Kang. Says Kang. Kang. I, was, they, I was looking for a Kang, but they were all sold oh. out. So. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn. Or in all likelihood, they got stolen. Share the, but, uh, uh, <laughs> share the image. Am I the only person, by the way, that when they did the reveal of, of uh, Master Chef's face, uh, I just heard Homer Simpson go, <laughs> yes. This looks that like ain't a it. Dork. That's not it's it, so man. Bad. Yeah, no, that's, that's ain't it, man. That's not Master. G no, that's not. No. That he looks like a <laughs> looks like a ripoff uh, Punisher. That's what I was I'm sorry, thinking. Bro, I didn't right. remember the actor's that's name. Lee but yeah, that's Lee Sh that's Tom Tom This is Lee yep. Shiver's yeah. brother, right? So yeah. yeah, is he really? Yeah, well, shit, yeah. Wait, really? Yeah, well, yeah. He was in American Gods. Um, <laughs> yeah, he was in American Gods. <laughs> I forgot what his name. He was in Something Always Shiber. Sunny in Philadelphia episode. Yeah. Nerd. No shade on the actor. You know, it's probably not even his call. But like, damn, he would have got could... so much respect if he just kept the fucking helmet on. Yeah. Like, like Carl Urban with a face like that, you kind of want to keep the helmet on. You kind of want saying. to. So, like, honestly, 
if they were if they were like trying to build tension and they tried to pull a Mandalorian, they had him take it off in some reveal in the last episode. Like that would still be dumb as fuck, but at least mm -hmm. it would make some kind of storytelling sense. This is literally in the first fucking first episode, episode. They take the motherfucker's helmet off. Like how stupid he, is this? And he wow. takes it off because some girl, some child that he's just met that he knows nothing about, some woman. who's pointing a gun to him because. Uh, the uh, the UN uh, SC have been asked to, to kill her because she won't say the Spartans tried to save my town. Wow. Um, he just Which takes his helmet off and goes, uh, "My arm is like dual plated." Blah, 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 so if do you like anything? Do you like anything? Me, do you like so anything? I like nuts. What I the like nuts. fuck? I like, I like nuts. Both. Is that from and the game? Electrodes. Like even, oh, I was even if he takes like... his helmet off, which is dumb as fuck. Right. But even if he takes his helmet off. Why don't we see like he's all he's all shaven? He's got like mechanical implants that are going into him. Do, do you know and why? The, as because if they did money. that, well, no, well, if they did that, then all of the like SJW diversity characters wouldn't be able to look the way that they look when they oh. have theirs off. Wow. Oh. But he could well, be like the disabled one with like a hearing aid and stuff. You know I mean? <laughs> he could represent. He could. Re yeah, that's it's right. I, for them I'm to do this on the. If yeah, for them to do this on the first episode, it's almost like, how can we make the actual Halo fans mad right away? <laughs> exactly, this is yeah. The, well, let's, let's just get it out of the way at ASAP. <laughs> let's it's do like the one you, thing that they expect yeah, us yeah, to yeah. do. <laughs> There's 45 minutes leading up to this. That's, that's, yeah. um, let's get them any... to tune out and not support <laughs> the show. Like, Let's just tune everyone out first episode. Got it. Brilliant. If there were any fans that stuck around after we told you we don't give a fuck about the game, <laughs> right. let's just make sure they know this isn't for them. Yeah. Right? And Have you seen the journos trying to redeem this? It's like they're relying on journos. Now they're like... This is Halo is nothing like the games, and that's why it's great. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. What kind of headline what is, is that? I, I, as a yeah. matter of fact, I, I've got that pulled up right here. Uh, okay. Here it is. Look at this. Look at that. Look, like yeah. the Halo show is nothing like the games, and that's why it's good. Yeah. yeah. Why what? make the fucking show? <laughs> make it's it make sense. It's who is this from? God. Who, who, what's, what's the website is that? I mean, there's always, I think, it's, is, uh, it's, I think it's Polygon. I used it in my Polygon. article. I used it's, it in my uh, article there's earlier an article, today. There's no. an article after Star Trek for this doctor. I mean, like, dude, they Every just time. replace it. They it's the cut verge. and paste. It's the yeah. verge. It's, it's the verge. Oh, jeez. Oh. Yep. But I've seen that like, name Ash Parrish before. Like, I know I've read articles from that person and roasted them. Oh, I so. thought he was the guy that caught Pokemon. <laughs> No, that's, that's Ash Ketchum. This feels oh. like Ash, Ash Parrish is the guy who caught syphilis, I believe. I was going to say, how do you catch a Pokemon? I mean, Parrish. gotta catch him. Oh, oh, Pokemon. Oh, Pokemon. I thought you said Pokemon. Sorry, I don't know the difference. Yeah, this is so bad, though. I mean, and, and this is that we've seen this from from journos at, at more times than I can count about how they try to justify when yeah. our complaints are realized and we were mm -hmm. proven right then they shift the entire yep. argument well this right. is why it's good and it's like uh, well it's, the toxic it's, it's fans nonsense. of halo are gamers <laughs> and gamers are toxic so if yeah. the game the toxic gamers like something we got to do the opposite tolkien of so was yeah. tolkien was actually halo. racist so we're take fixing it now up. yeah and then and then open the show that is halo master yeah. chief right you open the show where you just you show the whole the scrap. I keep going to this though. The scrappy young woman of color. That's yes. a resistance oh. fighter. She's so strong. Look at her. She's, She's so smarter strong. than all of her friends. So She's smarter than ever. So strong. So strong. <laughs> so strong. <laughs> we'll open it with that, and then and then have her woman explain to Master Chief. Yes. <laughs> oh Fuck no. This goddamn show. No, she's like, don't wow. you think? Don't you question anything? I'm gonna teach this Master male adult who's like male. much older, has seen a bunch of shit to to uh, about questioning things. Thank it's, you, thank you, fourteen year old. Teach him how to be a better Master Chief. That's gonna be and, her. Yeah, I don't think it yeah. gets. Yeah. I don't think it gets. You know, I think it's kind of lost a lot of. Uh, uh, he can lost be on a lot of roles and everything by the but, end of it. Like, go back to Halo Two, Halo Three, like. Master Chief was as relevant and as iconic as Mario in the gaming industry. He mm -hmm. was as he was as big of an icon that we've ever seen. Now, obviously, a lot's changed since Bungie, you know, uh, right. not making, but but it's still, I mean, there is such a good story to be told 
and, and, and Master Chief is such an incredible character. And the fact that you have actively moved away from that to push identity politics and just blatantly ignore the source material. And as I say all the time, they they want the sex appeal of the name brand, the, the Halos and the Star yeah. Wars and, and the Marvels and the DCs. They want the name <laughs> brand. They want the attention and the legacy that comes with it because of the fandom and the attention, but they don't want to respect the material. And it's mm -hmm. all, they know what they're going to do. They know that there's going to be backlash. And when there's backlash and they can play the fake victims and say, well, that's the toxic gamers, that's the toxic people, that's the toxic yeah. racist, sexist people that are just They get their journals ready. Yeah, yep. mm -hmm. exactly. Yep, every single time. Yeah. And it's just sad whenever you see a property when it when it gets changed over to like another developer and stuff like that, like we've seen with Tomb Raider, for example. But with Halo, like the, the Bungie team that worked on it before, when anything that they had involved with Halo, they had like a Bible and it was like, OK, you can't you can't break anything from this. This is the law <clears throat> of Halo. And they cared very much about it. That was their baby. And, you know, when you see it get passed off and then, oh, nobody cares anymore. But even, exactly. even if you want to, like, the, um, I can't remember, one of the actresses, it might have been the Doctor, uh, but so one of the actresses said, well, don't you want uh, an original story instead of something that you've already seen? Number one, right. the right. first Halo story is pretty fucking amazing anyway. But mm -hmm. let's just say, okay, you tell us, a, tell us the original story. Uh, Forward Unto Dawn. Forward Unto Dawn, the fan-made Halo mm -hmm. film. And you watch that, and that's got plenty of diversity of cast right. in terms of the the superficiality which they love nowadays uh women in charge uh and chain of command and they're all done brilliantly uh the women they you can fully when you hear them talk and communicate to the cadets you fully understand why these people are in charge because they come across as leaders mm -hmm. they come across as people of responsibility they don't just come across like Indian fucking fat woman today who just walks in and goes, ah, la, 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 la. every fucking scene, that seems to be a character. <laughs> just shouts, just shouts yeah. at wow. people. For no I will, fucking, I will you know, use no that reason. as a clip. I'm using that as a clip <laughs> from now on. That's well, the greatest thing. Doubt. Yeah. And I think. <laughs> Go on, sorry, go on, go on. Uh, I think it's just such an excuse to say, well, don't you want original stories? We like original stories if they're good. I mean, even if yeah. you look yeah. at, at the first Tomb Raider movie, which wasn't perfect, but that was an original story, but they still, for the most part, stayed faithful to Tomb Raider. And you can still stay faithful and create new stories. Yeah, but I mean, with Ford Unto Dawn, if you haven't seen it, spoilers, so just mute me for the next minute or so. <laughs> But you've got this great bit where it looks like the, that the Academy is under attack by the Covenant. So, you know, the, the kids are trying to get out and kids are getting fucking killed and everyone's getting fucking killed. And then the, the, the little group of kids who are getting away at the end. And then Master Chief comes in and suddenly it's just like, fucking hell. This mm -hmm. man looks like a god in comparison to these, these cadets. He's wow. huge. The armor's massive. He looks great. And he's immediately take charge and he's got these kids in he's trying to make him feel safe and he's just like you're the, you're the last ones left and they were just like they've killed the whole of the academy and he just goes on the planet oh. and it's just like whoa because then you realize the scope wasn't the academy it was the covenant doing a reach and they it's were everything. glassing the planet uh and and then you you get that wonderful little bit at the end when the kid it turns to him growing up as an adult and he's there and it's just like boom and he's on one of the pillars and it's just like that was so well done because now he's he's going on one of the pillars through the portal and they're going into the halo essentially they're, they're going mm -hmm. for the halo now and it was just like such a well done 90 minutes of of uh lots of different aspects of humanity that you could relate to the difference is mm -hmm. it sounds like that is focused on master chief and this show is not. No, this show is not for, Master focused on for 15 Master minutes. Chief. He's in it for the last 15 minutes. That's it. It's, 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 all, it's all about it's, the it's academy and show. these kids and these kids going through the academy and learning what it's like to become a soldier. Do you want to do it? Chain of command. That sounds all awesome. All this like, that's and it's show. so well done. It shows God your damn. main, it, well, it shows you know him respect. They don't yes. have respect. Yeah. They're apologizing for him. That's just like they're apologizing for Kirk, just like they're in Star Trek Discovery, mm -hmm. just like they're apologizing for Luke Skywalker, just like they're apologizing for The Witcher. That's all this is. It's, hey, we got to right. put 17 me, women around him because we're really sorry we had to 
have a white guy. In, in <laughs> Literally, they talk about how bad the Spartans are in the, wow. in the opening of it. I mean, I'm not a, a, an aficionado about Halo lore, so mm -hmm. I don't know all the individual storylines and all that stuff. But like, you open the show with literally them trash talking. The Spartans, Spartans are pieces of shit. Well, that's that's and what then I walked away whenever with. He saves her. She's I've never still played the trash game, talking so. him. Yeah. Wow. Well, and I, then I, they're trash. They're like the whole show. The perspective is yeah. is that the government that's behind Master Chief is all evil. So evil. far, that seems to be like the they'll kill the seventeen year old girls. They'll kill little they'll kill girls. rebels. The uh, yeah, they're just the they're young, just as the bad black as officer. the elite. Yeah, the young and, black and officer that like found out that they're this evil that they'll kill a young girl. She like didn't even realize. Now, oh, I'm I'm complicit with this. Well, and I think some of that stuff, like in isolation, would be one thing. Like I, I can find, I can find that it's believable. It's the culmination it's of somewhere. all these things. Exactly, I, I can find right. that believable because we see that in real life. Look at all, all the disinformation and misinformation that's coming out uh, of a certain situation in Eastern Europe right now, right? So you can see how there would be certain pockets of places where some people might think that, wow, I've heard that those guys are this way, that they're they're evil. It could be misrepresented. The problem is, it's all of these things put together and it's sad that it's to the point where we can watch a trailer like jeremy said and we already know what it's gonna fucking be we already yeah. know that the only reason they did this is because the name halo is attached to it but mm -hmm. they're not gonna look at the games they're not gonna take care of the fans they're not gonna do anything that anyone who cares about halo actually wants them to do and it's it's just yet another thing burning down around us yeah yep. so they they want franchises with pre-built in audiences to preach at yeah, because they can't yep. make anything on their own. Yeah. Yep. And if you're not happy about it, you get out because you're a yep. bigot. And, and you yeah. can't yeah. Go get the fuck out of here. And, and I'm you'll sharing. Get, you'll you'll get get more, want you. You'll get more out of Halo Landfall, uh, uh, whatever it was, eight or nine minutes, uh, than you'll get out of this. Uh, that's uh, I think that's on Bungie's YouTube channel. Uh, it's like a little short little nine-minute video, a uh, little montage. It's fantastic. Yeah, so this is, I think this might be what you were talking about as oh, so Jen, yeah, yeah, Jen yeah. Taylor, who the craziest part of this entire thing is people are begging for the guy who voices Master Chief to just be the voice of Master Chief and not yeah. have anybody with the helmet off, all that stuff. Yeah. Yet they don't do that, right? But they do bring in Jen Taylor, who's the voice of Cortana. Uh, of course, they now made her do this motion capture thing that everyone thinks face. looks fucking terrible. Uh, but she says the show is a different kind of beast. Quote, do you want it to be exactly the way you've played it and already seen it? I'm not sure. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Because it was uh, a really Halo, good story. Right? I watch yeah. Halo. I expect to fucking see Halo. Right. I, uh, I feel like I don't know just... why that's a crazy concept. They go to such extremes here. It's like, oh, you don't like it because it's an original story. And that's not why nobody mm -hmm. likes it. They don't like it. That doesn't respect the lore and it doesn't respect, you know, the the, the entire franchise. You can do a story, right? You can do a story yes. that is still original yet within the confines of the current continuity. Exactly. Um, or, or, or on the video game, Reach. Is, there you the, go. Boom. Yeah. Or, or yeah. at the very least, if you like, if you're fucking dead set on this stupid silver cannon multiverse thing, you know what you could at least do? You could at least make sure the characters that you're using, you know, look like the characters, like yeah. Cortana, like all the characters they've fucking race swapped for this show. But that's that just goes to show that the non-canon thing wasn't just out of necessity. It's because they wanted to do that. So they had more freedom to fuck with these characters. Yep. yep. Yeah. And Commander Keys, well, I was going to say Commander Keys, but uh, just looking like a five-year-old girl. And and she just looked so intimidated when she was trying to ask the uh, the little girl if she could just yeah. say that the Spartans came to her her base and tried to help. Uh, she's like literally she's shaking. Going, like, yeah, she was just like no, no, no. And she's just like they're like, just like this is a trained military officer. She would just be stoic. Should be bummed. And be both nothing her parents, given away. both her parents are like generals. In the military, yeah. this is a military well, family. Doc, and she yeah, has doctor no... and and oh my god, yeah. She has I'd no like to point out presence? that we are we are still on intros. By the way, I just <laughs> that's true. That. <laughs> no, no, we are we were on only intros. two intros in. Yes. <laughs> so that's why I want to say hi and welcome. <laughs> 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 
if and we I'm are sick ever, inside of Jeremy <laughs> hugging the limelight if, all the if, time. If Friday Night Tice ever gets accused of knowing what we're doing, uh, I would say <laughs> <laughs> you are lying and that is fake. News. I would say we, we have, have no clue. Back. You we take back. You have no back clue now. what's going on. I mean, even pre-show, as already went over a full spill. <laughs> like, we are. He already went over thirty minutes of, of the show during pre-show. <laughs> Yeah. Well, let's keep uh, things professional here. Yeah. 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 Tight ship. Tight ship. Uh, yeah, that's one thing. Like, we always hear people say, like, all this shit, like, oh, these guys are just doing it for the rage clicks. Rah, rah, rah. Like, I can't tell you how many times, like, during the streams I run and this one, you know, or, you know, Gary's run. Like, we have to say, like, save it for the show. Save before for the we show. go live, yeah, we're talking back. about literally the same shit before <laughs> yeah. the show as we do when we, and we're like, okay, stop. We're like, just like that, that me and as in the argument, Gary's like, mm -hmm. I'm just going to hit live. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and I honestly think people who say stuff like that and accuse us of like doing that for, for rage bait and all that, I think it's kind of projecting because they're not really as passionate about these things as we yes. are. Nope. And so they're accusing us of doing like what they're doing with their toxic yes. positivity. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Hundred percent. Why? Yep. Why was my my shirt already half ripped? Because I did it before, <laughs> before the show. There was a pre show. <laughs> Jerry was like, I, I told him to show. stop, and I'm Do like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right, Melody. You're right. We always talk about this. It's like uh, the detractors. There, there's going to be detractors out there. That's fine. Mm -hmm. But the, like, they're never honest about why they're detracting. They're detracting because they they don't have the passion. They just don't yep. care that much. Prove to me that Star Trek Discovery is your favorite thing in the world. If you are passionate <laughs> yeah. about it, you'll be able to do it. And they can't. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yep. They can't. Yep. Uh, yep. 100%. Speaking of passion, Court of Black Garrett, I got a question for Ooh. you. Did you go with my name suggestion, 8-Ball? <laughs> well, uh, no. No. <laughs> Sorry. I'm really disappointed. But, uh, how about congratulations? How about, Garrett? Black, uh, how about Gary? Cocaine. Uh, but I think it's a good nickname, though. I don't think I'm going to stick with the nickname. I think eight, it's a great eight ball. Nickname. Eight ball is a good, yeah. Eight you know, ball. One eight. Nickname. Get it? You know, eight ball. Yes. There you go. Did there. But hey, uh, uh, I'm excited, as you could see, to talk about Halo because uh, holy shit, that show looks like shit. And I don't think I'm ever going to watch another episode. I, I don't. I don't know I'm if not, I can I'm sit done. myself through that I won't, shit. I can't watch anymore. Uh, I'm just going to go back and play the first Halo just to wash that shit out mm. of my, my brain. But I'm excited for tonight. This week, had a son, fourth fourth kid. Came out completely black. <laughs> <laughs> All the other ones were white. <laughs> I looked at the doctor and I just oh, gave him a wink. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Uh, I mean, I don't think the math adds up. Like, was the baby perhaps conceived during February? Well, Maybe that's wait, a minute, I, wait a minute. I don't really know. I don't know. Uh, quarter black Garrett. It's the fourth one. So four quarters yeah. makes a song. He, All yeah, of the, the, oh, the fourth one makes the a black. One. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just for the record, man. this is the last yeah. one that you get to have Roll quarter black one. where people have to congratulate you or whatever. <laughs> After this is just I'm... fucking annoying, okay? Yeah. No, <laughs> no, it's, yeah, no, it's no more congratulations. It's basketball no more after this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going team. I said I was gonna go after Rakeda's uh Record, but I don't think I have the stamina to do that. Well, he's making <laughs> white babies. Got stuff. Seven? Is it seven kids? Is it six? I think six. Again, six. once it's over four, it's just what too, many to it's too many. It, two is too many after that. It, it's like, oh, you want to have a shower? You want to have a no? Don't no. Over, over six and it's we're good. That was a weird example to talk about. Like, uh, <laughs> no baby shower. It's like, oh, they, they can't all fit it. They can't all fit in here. It's like, they can't all fit into the shower. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> have you seen, the, have you seen the, the new version of Cheaper by the Dozen? Oh, yeah. yes. The oh, very, they're yeah. all, they're all black. Yes. It's so bad. It's they're all black diverse. except for like Zach Braff, yeah, who's the like dad. Asian, there's like an Asian yeah. kid in there somewhere. It's, like, it's, like, <laughs> it's so diverse, in fact, that it is not diverse anymore. <laughs> they went that hard on it. <laughs> so, yes, Who hey, cheated? Who cheated? Friday Night Titans, let's go. It's probably adopted. Or whatever. I, I love how the chats like Nick has eight kids, twelve kids, twenty kids. 50 kids. <laughs> yeah, I was, was going to say like, does, is this guy Mormon? Uh, uh, I, 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 I mean, he's Holy, fine. I I'm not judging. Yeah, hey, I think that's hey, the word, yeah. Nick, Nick is up there making his own personal white compound up there. So hey, like, he's doing it. what he has to do to save yeah. the white race. I salute yeah. him. Hey. I salute him. Oh, he's working on it. Thank you, Nick. Hey. Thank you for your service, Nick. Do it. 
<laughs> Welcome back, Ryan. Yeah, but they all have you got, <laughs> you got at least keep it above well, replacement. I was, I was alluding to it. Leave it to Ryan to just bring it home. You know, like uh, don't, just cut the bullshit. Thanks for making the wide people, Nick. Now every couple's got to produce 2.1 kids uh, on average to keep this thing going, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Time to get serious. Time to get real. Start fucking. Yes. Uh, Everybody's going to uh, be beige in 100 years. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, man. Quarter beige. Quarter beige. Quarter beige. Uh, uh, <laughs> hi, Ryan. How's it going? Uh, it's going well. Uh, it's good to be back. Last Friday was weird. Me and Jeremy were like talking about, God, this feels fucking weird because we were mm-hmm. like we were getting ready to do stuff as Friday nights were starting and everything. And so it was it was awkward. It uh, is good to see Ripa and Mahler and Brittany on here. But it's good to be back. Yeah. So I'm ready to rock and roll. Welcome back, sir. And X-Ray Girl, you get some free words that you did a good you had a good week. Had a good week. <laughs> Get some Sorry, bone. one second. I'm going to do a billion things at once. <laughs> I thought you were Asian. I thought you could do that. Second, I'm trying I'm to, to do you a billion. Too. Over the top. It it's not like, like you're you driving, trying. okay? <laughs> but you were in this show. It was the premiere of your show. Yeah. You're the you're the central oh, character. I, I, well, I looked at the haircut and I said, heck no, I'm out. Yeah. No. <laughs> like, is that really how they have their haircut? Like, it's like some like yeah. weird mullet and shaved at the... It's the future. Yep, yeah. the I believe they knows. call that the Arkansas cut. Is that from the game? <laughs> is that from the game? That haircut? No, I don't. Are the know. rebels? No, 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 none of those people no, no, are from no, the game. No, no, are they from no, the game? No, no. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't play. Like, that is this a new SJW haircut? I don't know. It about. might be the new SJW haircut. It might be. <laughs> Just boom. anyways. Hi. Hi. Uh, hi. Welcome. It's the new. It's the new SJW meta. Okay. Uh, now be quiet. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> and I'd like to welcome our guest, uh, much requested, as Jeremy said, like a lot. Uh, you know her, you love her, Melanie Mack. Welcome, Melanie Mack. Yay! Thank you so much for having me. This is really fun so far. Uh, you're doing great. You're doing great. You're, Thank you're, you. You're fitting right in. We'll get to like two and a half subjects over about 19 hours. And uh, <laughs> perfect. Yeah, yeah, that's that's about how the way we it goes. do. We were talking about like, right? Ryan brought this up Tuesday. He's like, Jeremy's always like, when this show started too. He's like, we don't want to make this like Friday Night Tights. We make his own thing. It's literally like all we do is the Friday Night Tights. Right. Thing. I was like, <laughs> it's just, you know, just it's a clusterfuck. Yeah. There's no planning. I have no idea what I'm doing. Just like yeah. Gary, you it, know. It's like every every fucking <laughs> week we add another guest. I'm like, Jeremy, what the fuck? I was like, <laughs> the, the thumbnail just get longer and longer. Yeah. And like, there's just gonna be one no. pixel at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Last hey, week buddy. it was like six fucking hours. I was like, good lord. Like, I told Ryan, I'm like, three hours tops this right. show. That's what it's gonna be. And you know, good Friday night tight starts just like the same way. This is a kind of a. We just had a lot of fun. It was a couple of hours every week, and then it turned into like this thing where we don't even get the topics that we're trying to talk about because they're too busy yeah. roasting each other. Yeah. We bullshit and roast each other for four yeah. hours straight. And then we do super chats. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that sounds like a fun time. It's pretty fun to me. I, yeah. <laughs> I just don't the money wonder we how made. Well, we Dude, you just released, you just released our secret sauce all over the place. Oh, <laughs> just it. There it goes. Wait, are we live? I didn't know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> insult oh, ryan man. insult everybody but ryan a little more than everybody else and then i yeah, get the super I, chance i will but say disappointing. I, like i had all the best roasts of my picture but like I, I don't know where you guys were at on that i was expecting you go a little harder but. oh dude oh there's Listen, a whole show I, to go buddy i'm not done uh, on twitter yeah. i'm we got uber geek out so there on the job and renee of there's that no. There's so many memes of that face right now. If you get it, this is beautiful. I don't think I've seen one. There hasn't been a Ryan meme get this much traction since the hairless cat meme. Um, and this is good shit right here. This is good. I'm, I'm really happy. Oh, no. So, I'm, I'm on Twitter so, right now. I'm looking. I'm looking. There's a lot of them. You see the two tongue ones with a, with a big tongue hanging out? There's a lot. There's a lot. Uh, the Friday Night Magnolias is pretty fucking good too. Did you see that one? That one's good. I'm gonna retweet that one because it's got a little. It's got a little midget fucking comics division. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hairless uh, Ryan. Hairless cat all right, Ryan. There we laughing. Go. Oh my god. Uber geeks on it already. He's probably got like nine. 
Uh, oh, we'll get them up. Man. I'm going to wait till there's a good Quick collection. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck was that? Oh, my God. <sighs> Gary will appreciate this one. I think I got to show Gary this one. Yeah. Gary will appreciate this one. Here we go. Right here. The Lord of the Rings Ready? one. <laughs> 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 That's great. <laughs> but I can carry you, Mr. Frodo. I can carry you, Mr. Frodo. <laughs> there, it's it's a lot of them. There's a lot. That should have been drunk. Three PO was sleep. That's what that should have been. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, just That'd sleeping be a difficult on the couch. Uh, no, <laughs> carry you, Black. Mr. J. Quarter Black shared this one. Make sure your messages aren't up. And that's like a <laughs> at least let me like fuck a up neurotic no. team thing whether it's gary or whether it's quarter black like yes. oh yeah got one of us DM showing one of us and it's always the most boring benign shit as possible it's just like yeah just like Nothing. thanks yeah, Every, yeah, yeah. everybody it, thinks it's, it's, not like, it's not like yeah. fucking n-word blah 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 yeah. no, it's just well thanks, that's like all the it. people that hate us that they, they, that that's what they think yeah. they're like if we could ever just get access to the messages <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll get racism oh, on full display. <laughs> so, oh no, look at the comics. Friday Night Magnolias. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. oh, shit. I like how Jeremy is the only one that doesn't have, like, Wig hair, it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hat. Hat. <laughs> you know, <laughs> what the fuck? that's beautiful. That's just well done. That's good. Thank you. Uh, oh, uh, devil made me do it. Is that what the account was? Good, good job there. Yep. Good yeah. job. Jesus. Holy yeah. shit! All right, so yeah, I I watched Halo. I don't know anything about the game, and it was just the same. You guys are right. It's it, uh, Jeremy will be accepting po apologies between uh, twelve and twelve oh five tomorrow, so you can submit them then because he was right. It's the same Full shit. Last Jedi, same fucking shit we've seen forever now. It's been yep. five or six yep. years. Uh, it'll be it. You're gonna see the same thing in Moon Knight. Uh, that that Ooh. new character who might be based on a Marvel character or not will probably end up being a superhero in the end and fucking be more powerful than Moon Knight. So whatever, uh, it, it's just gonna be oh, no. fucking ridiculous. Oh yeah, they're gonna get, bring a Daredevil. Uh, uh, yeah, that's, announced Daredevil. That's so disappointing because the whole aesthetic and everything about Moon Knight is just right up my alley, and cool. I want to be excited for it, but I don't yep. think uh, oh, it's gonna be the bait and switch. Yep, it'll be the bait and switch. Well, the yeah. director he showed us in the clip. The director yeah. came out and talked shit about the Black Adam director for not hiring Egyptians, and he didn't even get the the racial aspects of Moon Knight that correct either. So it right, you know, yeah, whatever. Oscar Isaac. Yep. Uh, yeah. whatever, and and yeah, it gets it gets worse than that because remember he uh, he he mentioned that like I hired all these people. Uh, he didn't hire fucking anybody. Uh, <laughs> Kevin Feige <laughs> yeah. hires everybody. That guy didn't hire shit. Uh, so uh, uh, Kevin Feige hires the catering. He hires the janitor. Uh, right. He decides the catering. Uh, so yeah, they don't decide anything uh, on Marvel sets. Period. End of story. That, there we go. <laughs> oh there my god! Go. <laughs> Good job. Hashtag winning. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> 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 Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. <laughs> it is if what it is. Just get to their messages. <laughs> no matter how hard I tried to keep that away from us, like, you know, it's what it's just gonna be the same fucking thing. <laughs> it is what it is. It's the magic. It's the yeah, magic. I know. It's what it, it is. is. It's it's the magic. That's right. Uh, the smile bit for one hundred dollars. Says hail FNT, hail Melanie Mac. Glad to see you made it on hey. FNT. I wish I could watch this live since I shield for you. Go boom. Uh, I'm sorry you can't. Yes, we'll be up. We're staying up. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Did it update? I didn't even know it did that. It's got like, a, if you hit the button, it's got a little rundown of how long your sound effect lasts. Or maybe I just didn't notice it. You guys you probably are, you just didn't notice it. You know what I'm talking about. I probably didn't yeah, notice it. Didn't know. 
you didn't. I don't know. Happy you didn't hit the clown horn at this point. Oh, I did that to open up my nooner yesterday. That was fucking (laughs) awesome. Yeah, (laughs) I got that out of my system early. (laughs) (laughs) Holy shit! Uh, Oh, Mikey, we'll get to yours in just a second. But uh, yeah, Uh, I'm not going to watch the rest of Halo either. I mean, like one shitty show on Paramount Plus is enough for me. Uh, Picard. Yeah. Was at least at, you didn't. At least you didn't have to change apps, Gary. This when is you true. Were, yeah. Between watching them, yeah, they consolidate all the shit into one. They did. It makes it easy for it. Is is uh that Oregon Trail show on Paramount Plus too, or was that on Discovery? The Oregon Trail show. What? Oh, I, like you I, get I, it's like seventeen seventy six or something like that. Oh, I, oh, yeah, oh. yeah, seventeen. Yes. Yeah, yeah. My uncle had it playing. Uh, Some at the Yellowstone. Oh, oh yeah. my gosh, it was it was unbearable. I could not handle any more of it. So I, I thought it was know. literally an J- adaptation. Jeremy really likes Oregon that Trail. Uh, I, I thought so not, too. I like Yellowstone. I like Yellowstone, but uh, the, oh, the prequel. Yeah, yeah, eighteen eighty three. Oh. I, it's way too focused on the female character. Um, right. Tim McGraw is in it. You know, he's the lead in it. Faith Hill, his wife, his real life wife is also his right. wife in the show. Um, but I've only seen, I've seen uh, five episodes, I think. Um, but I, I don't hate it, but it's definitely right. not Yellowstone. Yellowstone is substantially better, but Yellowstone season four did get a little loopy and a little wacky, a little cr- like a lot of crazy shit was happening in, in season four. But uh, 1883 is not as good as Yellowstone, but I didn't hate it, but there was too much focus on the female character. I, I tuned out whenever there was a tornado going on and the, the young girl, uh, she just decides that was the perfect moment to make out with this guy she literally just met. Like right in the middle of that tornado that was about to, to seemingly kill them all. I was like, what is this? I, I hate. I hate love scenes in in (laughs) movies in general, but especially when there's like a war breaking out, something catastrophic happening, and there's like a makeout scene, and you're like, "What are you doing? What are you doing?" It it just felt like a a cheesy teenage drama going on in this supposedly otherwise cool setting. Uh, I I just checked out. Our love is more powerful than the disaster that's about (laughs) to kill us all. We fight by saving what we love. Hey, I did. I did. I did. It's not about I did, emotions. I did rewatch. I uh, did rewatch Dark Knight Rises, and I do love that movie. But uh, oh my god, the cringe kiss scene towards the end. Oh, oh god. god, yeah. God, hey. uh, I can get it out over the water. I can get it out over. The Literally water. just taken out. Of I spot. cannot. Oh Hell my, yes. I, I will Still never the plastic on. watch. That oh, movie again. It smells like crack, and I love it. I watched Dark Knight. I watched the good Ass crack. Uh, Chris Nolan film, uh, Dark yes. Knight. Uh, just because hey, like there's two really good Batman ones though. It's there just is. The there's two, the but one. Dark Knight yeah. is the best. Uh, right. And uh, I, I watched it to compare and contrast with the Batman. And yeah, the Batman does not hold up to that movie at oh, it's fucking not even all. It's not, not even close. close. Oh yeah, that's like just not stop. Fair. Everybody, just fucking stop with your. It's the best Batman. Prisoner of the moment. If you like it, that's great. It's not better than Dark Knight. Um, no, no, no. It's just not. No, 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 no. I, I, I would still, I still argue. Like it. I still no, like it a lot, no, but no, nowhere I, close. No, I, I would still argue that that I think Batman Begins is a better Batman movie than The Dark Knight, but I think The Dark Knight is a slightly that. better movie than Batman Begins. Batman Begins has okay. the better aesthetic. I would rather watch style. The Dark Knight. If I was given a choice, uh, do you want to watch The Dark Knight or Batman? Or Dark, uh, Batman Begins? I will watch Dark Knight. Dark Knight. I will watch Dark Knight for it's entertainment value. Ledger, like for 100%. entertainment value, yeah. It, like As far as Batman's on screen, you guys know my opinion. We haven't seen it yet. We haven't seen it yet. We got close a couple times, but we have not seen the Batman from the comics that the best amalgamation is Batman the Animated Series. It's uh, I talked about this on Twitter. There's like fixed points of culture, of pop culture, of taste. And there's certain things, if you don't like, I'm just not going to listen to. Your whole credibility unravels. So Batman the Animated Series and, like, Lord of the Rings are two of them. Donner Superman. Yeah, Donner Superman. Stuff like that. Spider-Man 2. Original trilogy. I mean, there's people who have original trilogy. like the best as ever. Raiders of the Lost Ark. You know, just basic stuff. You know, basic stuff. I mean, if you don't like one out of those six, I'll like forgive it. But if it's two right. out of those six or seven, just nah, it's yeah. okay. I'll, 
I don't forgive disrespect towards the Donner Superman. I, I don't. I don't forgive that. So it's unforgivable. It's just every you, take you take. have is fucking contrarian, so, basically. So, Donner Cut of Superman yeah. too is so good. The oh, yes, yeah. yeah, so good. That's the best. Hell, Superman I even movie. I, I fucking That's the best just cut. because yeah. just because Christopher Reeve. I even think Superman four is is watchable because of reeve i own it because yeah. of reeve well, yeah, because he's, he's magic reeve is perfect as superman yeah. i mean he I is saw superman. that in the yeah. theater high as a kite loved it <laughs> yeah <laughs> did i i have wish you watched henry cavill got to play a... <laughs> I, have, I have i have and i was like mm, not very good <laughs> oh shit <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why do i fucking own are this? we on yeah. the moon <laughs> mm. what's going on here that was made by Canon, guys. Come on. But I was like, well, can I they took the nuclear bobs? <laughs> I still have a fuck ton of like DVDs that I own back when Blockbuster was a thing. Thanks, Netflix, wow. you fucks. Yeah. Back when Blockbuster was a thing and they'd have like the $4.99 sale or whatever they were, mm -hmm. like really cheap yeah. fucking used DVDs that they bought way too many of and don't rent anymore. I used to buy a shit ton of those. But and I have them all. I've maybe watched like half of them yeah, but i bought them at one good. time just on a fucking whim you know that's pretty good All to right, watch blockbuster's half of them. gonna come back though blockbuster's gonna come hey, back hey hey do you miss blockbuster I, now do you miss it well, yeah, i do we've, we've seen Fuck a lot Netflix. of support recently <laughs> yeah. on social I got, media i got so. ptsd from everybody with the fucking goddamn ukrainian colors I thought well, everybody was no, like Blockbuster's coming back. It's coming back. Everybody's been showing the Blockbuster. support. Okay. Yeah. Like yeah. It's, Oh, I thought that was is, the Chargers. Is, well, Sorry. I mean, Netflix out there raising prices and all that for people who share accounts and stuff. So I mean, they're <laughs> effectively yeah. going to Blockbuster themselves, and then therefore yeah. Blockbuster will rise from the ashes. <sighs> this uh, is great. Right. I usually Man, I, I can't I, wait to have the Blockbusters back the when they had the whole area. Where you could buy yes. popcorn and 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 snacks, and you can buy your to, DVDs, to and you can rent your games. Pre -owned oh. games. I used yeah, to get yeah. pre-owned games yeah, from Blockbuster dude. all the time, uh, man. Are they gonna, you meet other people there oh, that are also looking for movies, I, and you watch. I'll never talk forget. About Come on. I'll, I've talked about this before, but I'll never forget. So when I'd go to Blockbuster, there was no like you know Rotten Tomatoes or you know sites or social media where you could actually go see what movies were you know people were talking about. So I would go into Blockbuster and I would base like how many yep. copies Blockbuster had as to like. Yes. Oh, shit. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So I, I should watch that movie. I went to Blockbuster for a fucking month and The Fugitive with Harrison Ford was out every single time and it was an entire mm. wall of The Fugitive. So I'm like, this, that and Braveheart. Braveheart and The Fugitive, they were always out. And I'm like, yeah. I need to see these movies. Like, I couldn't wait. It built so much hype over this. Like, and then there was one magical day I went in there and they were both, like, there was like one or two copies yeah. of this. Like, oh! So, so like, this is this is this is why you know? I took a se I had a second job at the warehouse just so, and I ran the video department in San Marcos just so I could oh. fucking watch movies. The pay was shit. I just, just got all my shit there. first. That's all. <laughs> just I mean, to be there. Yeah, yep. Blockbuster. Some of my favorite memories from growing up is being a kid. It's just me, and my brothers, and my parents. We all go to Blockbuster <laughs> once a week get to pick out a movie or a video game. And I just remember one of the saddest days of my life, we walked into Blockbuster and like immediately after, dad's like, kids, we gotta go home. And we're like, why? He's like, I poop my pants, we gotta go home. <laughs> <laughs> what a turn yeah. in that story, wow. Wow. Like, but I Not that was expected. one of the saddest your, days of my life. Is your dad, that was an hold on. Night Wait Shyamalan minute. ending that one. Hey, wow. Is your dad no, it Jeremy about from the quartering? <laughs> yeah. Or Gavin, wait, wait, or Gavin McGinnis. What a twist. Gavin McGinnis or Jeremy from the quartering. One of the two. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sad <laughs> day. That's Coincidentally crazy. enough, that's the reason Melanie saw her first uh, outrage mob because she's friends with Jeremy from the quarter. So. That's right. Yeah, that, that's, yeah, a lot of backlash for that. <laughs> oh, as a matter of fact, Ryan, that, that makes me think. So I'm going to tweet this out and I'll show you. Like there was a meme the other day that somebody posted of me, you, and Jay. And they were talking mm. about the quartering. Wait till you see this shit, okay? This is fucking hilarious. Uh -oh. uh, quartering brings, if you're friends with him in any capacity, you're going to get hate. Okay? Oh, yeah. That's just how it is. Yeah. yeah. Confirmed. Um, did, I, did I send a draft on this? I feel one? like, give me if, a few minutes. I'll I, I feel it. like just give me six more months and he'll get more shit for being friends with the racist me than uh, <laughs> like he just, for, yeah, just a couple more takes from you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, but it's uh, this is how they view us too. If I could find it, really, I'm, I was gonna post it the other day because I was like, How stupid are these people that hate us? So somebody sent this to me, and I guess it was getting a lot of traction on Reddit. 
Um, oh, fuck Reddit. It's, oh, well, then you know it's, yeah. then it's accurate and reliable. I know. I know. So as soon as I find it, I'll, we'll move on and I'll, I'll post it when I find it. Retarded. So, that's what it is. Yes. Retarded. R, R slash retarded. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that's what it is. It's such a dumb joke. It is, but it's good. <laughs> dumb, dumb there it is. Found Dumb's it. Good. Found it. Too. R slash retarded. It really works, though. See, that's the thing. It really is the most retarded fucking website on, on planet Earth. So. All right. Here all right, here we go. I'm sure if I screen down. This was on Reddit. and <laughs> God damn it, it's so funny. Look at this shit. <laughs> That's good. That is good. That's pretty good, yeah. <laughs> the quartering's good friends. <laughs> That's like somebody trying to meme Reddit. I know, right? And Almost. It's like, it, it, a good joke. It's almost. That's a good except, job. That's right. awesome. You tried. You tried. I'm wearing the same it. shirt. I need a hood. <laughs> you are. Hey, no offense. Like, oh my god. The you end are of the wearing Batman, the same shirt. You know. Like, that, uh, David. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that's a different color hood than most of the ones I've seen memed on me lately. <laughs> good, good to get some color in there. Uh, uh, Unlike in the Batman movie. Uh, <laughs> I like that the black news channel is trending right next to it. Right. Right there. <laughs> oh, I, mean, I, I imagine they've news covered news? my <laughs> Batman review. Yeah. <laughs> no, dude, tell them. Tell them, Ryan. Tell them what happened in Vegas. I thought oh, no, Black that. News oh, to oh, shut yeah. down. No, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, uh, Suresh, <laughs> one, one of John's good friends, Suresh, uh, who runs 221B Tactical. We were, we were sitting there. We were in John's studio. This is the day before the memorial, and we were just chit-chatting and, you know, good memories and stuff like that. And uh, two hours in randomly, Suresh is like, so Ryan, and Suresh is a black guy. He's like, so Ryan, what's uh, what's this I hear about a Batman review? <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck do you know about that? This guy's just like 2A industry, whatever. And all of a sudden out of nowhere, he's like, yeah, I know that you went viral for your racist Batman review. So. And then he requested we had to take a picture to prove Ryan isn't racist. Yeah. Yeah, he's like, well, you got to take a picture with me. I got to help your cred. Yeah, uh, that, that always helps with the people calling you racist. Uh, yeah, it never does. Nope. Well, does. yeah, then they just get attacked because they're, oh, you're just a self-hating black man. I yeah. see. Even if you're oh, married yeah, to one. Goes. Yeah. We've heard this story before. Yeah. Yes, we have. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> then we uh, all know what the next word is. Oh, yep. That's their go-to. There's only a couple of them. What is it? To. As? Yeah. What is the word? <laughs> as? We're, we're waiting. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's that next word, as? I'll say it. I'll fucking say it. Mm, no. Mrs. Obama, get down. Uh, <laughs> it just says racism. <laughs> right. Oh, my camera's frozen. Let me uh -oh. fix that. You look really happy, though. Uh, my, I uh, mean, yeah. Like yeah, that's, that's, that's you're having a good time. Hold on. Yeah, that's, hold on. Just <laughs> leave it there. Leave it there. That's, hold on. That's what Melanie Mac freeze frames look like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right? not even fair. How the fuck is that fair? Jesus fucking Christ. Ryan was actually talking about this the other day. He was like, yeah. I cannot, because uh, what was it? It was a stream you were on, right, or something? And I was sitting, I was trying to. Oh, it was it was it was when Universal had come in. So I was, just, and you're like, I look like a fucking retard. So I kept trying to screen cap it. And he's like, yeah, every screen cap of me someone. looks like I look like a retard. I was like, yeah. well, it says something about yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. yeah it's it, no, I, I like, I feel like I don't because I move around and I'm so animated when I fucking talk that I, I, I cannot find a screenshot where I'm not like doing something weird with my fucking face. I fucking hate it. So it's shout out right. to John Trent. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Tom Bombadil. Uh, uh, I have. Uh, I hope they have uh, a Lord of the Rings extended extended cut, and they add you back into yeah, the yeah. movie. You know, yeah, I gotta put me, me in me there, Melanie. Extended. That does happen. So you probably have like a you probably have a Canon a nice camera. Like that. You have oh, a really yeah, good camera. I so do with the yeah. With it the happens with mine on stream stream uh, Streamyards uh, gets mm -hmm. messed up on good with good equipment. It happens all the time. So. Yeah. He just likes you to be like as cheap and tacky. 
Yeah, right. that's possible. <laughs> that's yeah, the yeah. only way it works. If you go with something like this, it'll never mess up. Be like my cheap seventy-five dollar webcam. Done. It'll <laughs> never go. <laughs> it's like three so. frames a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. At least the colors, motion. right? Yep. Each room yeah. actually looks blue instead of purple, like it does. I the know. Other one. I haven't fixed the white balance, which uh, one of your favorite words. <laughs> oh, I don't think the white balance. Um, so. I, 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 yeah, I like to fix usually, the white balance on a lot of stuff. Yeah, I tried to fix it in the Batman, but you know. yeah. <laughs> nobody wanted to listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> Look how that turned out. Hollywood needs yeah. to take constructive criticism. <laughs> Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, well, that's why I, I always got to give a shout out to John Trent because every six months when I'm in the news for being canceled for some reason, and he like puts puts a picture of me on the bounding into comics article. It's a freeze frame. He found like the one frame in the video where I don't just look fucking off. I still look racist, but I don't look. <laughs> oh, awful. okay. Can't help oh. that. Yeah. So shout out to John Trent. I appreciate it. When me and Ryan were talking about that clip, I was like, we were talking probably, I said, look, man, so let's just be like real. You do look like a racist. <laughs> so like if I was to see that yeah. clip and not knowing who you were, I would be like, yeah, this guy's a fucking racist. He's a horrible person. <laughs> I was like, so I get it. I get the outrage. I get it. You know, I would probably be fucking hating on you too if I would have seen that with you and your angry whiteness. Like I totally understand it. So for once, Twitter really wasn't that bad they were yeah i mean right. I, I i i get it yeah i get it yeah so. <laughs> it's like when that when that person had a go with when they did a video about me and they were saying or a stream they did about most of it, a lot of us but they were just like look he fixed the bill uh white shaved head i'm like it's called male pattern baldness you did. <laughs> <laughs> point I that out too much of a choice in the matter okay Look at it. Yeah. 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 Quite nicely, but it's. I'd like fun, to have this mate. flowing I mean, mane. <laughs> I think we all would, words. but yeah, you know, just not in the cards, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Uh, hey, uh, Mikey Gussler's here. Uh, Fifty dollars for my, Mikey Gussler. What's up, Mikey? Happy sixth anniversary uh, to one of the most underrated, misunderstood, and best comic book uh -huh. movies of all time: Batman versus Superman. Batman versus Superman. Every yeah. time I watch BVS, I find something new. Can't count how many times I've seen it. Ultimate Edition is the only edition. Well, all right, good for you. I'm surprised Mikey didn't talk about the the picture of Wayne T. Carr as Green Lantern. Yeah, that looked pretty. Well, cool. I thought that's. I could have sworn that's badass. what that. Super we still got was time. About. We still got time. That's true. Yeah, okay, uh, just... it's not. I, I mean, they're just teasing along. We we have no idea what's going to happen with Warner Brothers and like when the regime is going to change and what's going to happen. And I promise you, they'll make a dumb decision. But uh, they, whatever that decision is, yeah, it'll be dumb. Yeah, but um, mm, like I'll have news on that later. So, uh, like much I think, later, I think. Uh, I think YouTube yep. uh, might be a little bit squiggly at the minute. Why squiggly? Well, what's my current, doing? my Halo video is on. 9,000 views and it's got 3,700 likes. So, unless that is the most base they, ratio in the whole of fucking <laughs> YouTube, they've been uh, it's been weird. I actually had several videos over the past few days that said zero views for like hours, but it, it eventually fucking evens out. They're doing something, so they are doing mm -hmm. something, and, yeah. and it goes back to uh, with the super chat problems from last week. Yeah, we had an issue just yesterday with the upload. Yeah, we did. Uh, oh, yeah, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be talking to my partner manager soon about all of that stuff. See what's going on. See, well, I mean, check this out. Tell me I, he can't I, tell I me, but I, saw, I think I saw this on um, Instagram. But somebody just shared it on Twitter. This is amazing, right here. Check oh yeah, out. this is awesome. Holy shit! Oh wow! Oh yeah, we, we saw that one. Uh, yeah, it's on. Uh, I saw it on. One. It was on Instagram. I it was think. on Instagram. Yeah, so, yeah. We, we've seen uh, this picture because I, yeah, I don't know when we we looked at it on stream at one point. Is grabbing? Is Odin grabbing? Is Odin grabbing, <laughs> Odin grabbing yep. cross -titty. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is going on here? That is gorgeous. I love it. Whoa. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is cool. We got x ray Garage. She's Mulan. I love that I'm Mulan. That's basic, yeah, this is basically like a, t a main event f and Look at Dan Vass. Yeah, yeah, look Dan at Dan. Vass down there. Seducing everybody. Look at Mark. Mark the cyborg. Is that Mark right there <laughs> yeah. behind x ray Girl? We got Ivan on the Donkey of Truth. Quarter Beautiful. black. 
I'm an axe. <laughs> yeah. Who's Gollum? Who's Gollum? Yeah, ass is, ass is just. <laughs> yeah, who is Gollum? Who, who's Gollum? I can't who see. Gollum. And my ass. Who is? <laughs> Who's going? You, you, you might have to open it in another uh, like open image in tab like, so you can zoom in, Jeremy. Yeah, here. All right, let me let's see here. Uh, That's awesome. Those are, man. I think I'm Aragorn. You guys are so fucking talented, man. Yeah, you are. Yeah, they are. Fucking All right, here we go. Out there. Yeah, we had the best. We had the best supporters ever. All right, let's see. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. There you go. Okay. Ooh. Wow. So comics division is, is Frodo. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Hey, hey. <laughs> I'm holding an Ineos Zapper. That's what the awesome. fuck is <laughs> his goal? Oh, wow. Like instead of for Frodo, it says four Fazolis on me. <laughs> <laughs> four Fazolis. <laughs> uh, who is this? The age of the man is more. over. Which one? Uh, who in right the fuck is going a little more? Gollum. Control and scroll. Uh, control and scroll. Yeah, Can scroll you put your in mouse on, on your mouse. You're asking? Yeah. No, hang on. Oh, like oh. the scroll wheel, you know. Yeah. Um, What's it say next to him? Jeremy doesn't. It not says we want. We want it. We needs it. We must have the franchise. It looks like Jeff oh, Bezos is that to me. Bezos. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. 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 So that's Jeff Bezos. It's either Bezos. That's or awesome. Iker. Yeah. I can also see that's Iger Jeff in there. Bezos. Look at Ripa. Who's Gothmon? Look at Ripa. That's me. And then, me. yeah. Ripa's a black elf. <laughs> <laughs> My look at that black orc man. right there. Why, 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 yeah, why is Ripa going like West Sidon over there? Yeah, he's like, yo. <laughs> well, I mean, he's I think not, we it all know. Yeah. It should be that's south. It should be that's south. It should be south, not where West Sidon. where he came from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that Odin's grabbing the tit. Look at that uh, claw I, I he's got on that tip. Yeah. Go tip. Good job, Odin. Good job. Odin's not going to be happy about it. Look at that. how big Odin's head is compared to like what the face should be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It kind of works for he's me. He's got no brain space. <laughs> I love it as is an axe. What the fuck is that? <laughs> late, late and gay. It says late and gay up here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, he's got a microphone at the top of your walking stick. Nice. That you're <laughs> truly doing the spirit of Ian McKellen justice there. <laughs> 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 is that a that is, I don't know. I that is that I is try. super cool. Shout out to you guys. You yeah. guys are the best. Uh yeah, we appreciate all of you. Man, got the best, got the best peeps ever. Uh, <laughs> that is from uh art by on Twitter. It's uh at F grade art uh is who that was credited. Brilliant. To. So I know I know we saw it on, on Instagram. I don't remember how long ago it was that we it was what a couple weeks ago. I feel like we saw that. So that is cool. And I know we've got a, there's another one being, uh, we got an email of another one. I don't oh, know if yeah. he's ready to show that one. But I don't think it's ready. I think he says but, he's yeah, almost it's done. Yeah, so, so we'll wait. Good. It looks so, fucking great. Yeah. Yeah. Is this the Western? Um, this one's a Western. Yeehaw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That is looking so good, that one. Mm hmm. Let's see. Uh, d right. d director Deborah Chow reveals that Darth Vader won't be quite as fully formed as mm. the Vader shown in New What? But he was fully formed in episode three. He was <laughs> in Rogue and Ro this is going to be one. emotional. Well, Rogue One's and right before. Rogue, you okay, hope, but so. you're right. At the end of episode three, he's got his full on Darth Vader. He's, he's there. At the, at he's the, a full Sith. Yeah. Like, where, where else does he have to go? So here's what they're probably trying to say. My guess is they're going for both Obi Wan and Anakin. You know, they're they're mm. connected. And they're both like tortured or, or and thinking about what happened. And Anakin's still coming to grips with everything that he lost, like all that shit. That's probably what they mean. However, uh, it. If you're actually going to bring it into what they've shown us and who Darth Vader is, considering they use Darth Vader all the time, they used him in Rebels. Uh, it, he, mm -hmm. he seemed perfectly fucking fine there in terms of like, like comfortable with who he was. They yeah. used him uh, in Jedi Fallen Order. The uh, Ahsoka bit. That was literally just because of Ahsoka. Because because again, because Ahsoka is the fucking key to everything for Dave Filoni. Ahsoka's yeah. the Ahsoka's the original key to everything, girl. Uh, people are just finally it figuring all, it out, so. but. Uh, yeah, so I don't understand what they're doing with it, but we all know this show's not fucking canon. It's not real. It never was going to be real. None of, as soon as they said that this fucking shit, shit was, that they were going to have a rematch, anybody that still has any fucking hmm. hope in Disney Star Wars, you should have known them. 
but you're continuing to make excuses, and I don't Disney know Star Wars isn't canon, period, as far as I'm concerned. Right. Period. So. How many Agreed. times do I have to say Agreed. this is fan fiction? This is all um, fan uh, yeah. fiction. It's worse than fan yep. fiction. Mm-hmm. Really bad. Fan yep. fiction uh, is way better than this shit. This shit is yep. horrible. I won't be watching uh, Kenobi. Nope. Um, and I'm kind of at a point now where I'm not even, like, I don't get angry or mad or anything. I'm like, all right, cool. If you like it, that's your business. I, I have no, exactly, I'm, it's not. I'm beyond caring. I just, I'm, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I, I don't care about it because get... it's not Star Wars. If they were fucking with Star Wars, then I would care, but this ain't Star Choose Wars. Choose your battles. So. I mean, if you pe- if people still think there's a battle to be had over there, b- all, by all means, fight it. I, it's, I've got my energy's got to go somewhere else, uh, quite frankly, uh, where I think where, thing, where changes could be made with a fandom who believes in the source material, like right. Lord of the Rings. Yep. So that's where I will uh, put my allegiance. I'm not going to sit there and try to talk people in, uh, you know, who were just all about, like, fuck Star Wars after Gina Carano. Like, the minute they jangle a key in front of you, you run back. It's like, okay, okay. All right. That's, then that's, that's the way it yeah. is. I get it. All right. Uh, I, I understand. I'm a realist. Uh, I realize that this is a loss, a giant fucking yep. L. We lost. That's it. Yeah, just, Star Wars is done. It's gone. So. It's gone. Let it go. It's gone. That's, that's where I'm at with Tomb Raider as well. Because, you know, for a while there, I was like, kept fighting against it, kept fighting against it. And I'm at the point now to where I feel like I think it's 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 time to give up now. I think there's no hope now. Maybe we'll see. But it's sad. Yeah. It's sad when they get us to that point. But it is reality. Well, when reality they have, when they have a face. franchise that, like, quite frankly, was so I'm just I'm t- talking as an outsider here. I know Laura mm-hmm. Croft because she's got giant boobs and she runs right. around and does Indiana Jones shit with giant boobs. And that's great. Right. That's fine. That's her brand. And I'm I'm fine with it uh i watched the 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 first two films i was fine with them i mean you know they didn't blow Uh me away but right uh, now now they want to just make her a boy uh so okay great way to erase more women uh that's uh, funny because they make tomb raider a boy and then they made uh nathan drake a girl i know to a girl so (laughs) they're coming in the middle yeah well, I mean, yeah. it's it's the fight against masculinity. It's a fight against men, and these franchises just don't work without masculinity. <laughs> Even, and 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 Lord, uh, Tomb Raider doesn't work without sex appeal, uh, right? Well, and femininity. There's it's much a, it's femininity. Not a war, yeah, I, I it's agree. Not just a war on masculinity. It's a war on feminism. I agree. Being feminine. Exactly. They, they don't like either side. And they want us all to like meet in the middle, and they want us all to be like these amorphous blobs yeah. and genderless blobs. That's just where they're at. And then go fuck themselves. Yeah. yeah, look what look what look what's happening to Sydney Watson right now. You know, mm-hmm. look what what's going on with her. And, oh, and, it's ridiculous. You know, it is absolutely what happened to believe all women so, so, except yeah. for Sydney Watson. We're gonna cancel her. <laughs> well, you'd have to be her. able to define the word woman to be able to believe them. <laughs> you gotta be a no biologist. biologist, you know. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> we we literally went from the Supreme Court nominations. We literally went from believe all women to, to we can't I can't define a woman. woman. Is. Yeah. yeah, Jesus. <laughs> What is a woman? T- uh, we are flying down this <laughs> retard hill, man. Why? I'm far more concerned with the Supreme Court justice nominee's definition of what a child predator is than what a woman is, to be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, but uh, well, it doesn't matter what it is. It, they're going to give a lenient sentence. Yeah. Well, I saw this tweet going around right here uh, about Sydney. Um, if you're sharing, I'm sharing my screen right now, but. Um, Never heard of this person, saw this, and was embarrassed for her and ashamed that she is a woman saying this. Now, are you a biologist? First of all, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you can make that I don't claim. Know if you can no. make those determinations. This person is a so. transgender person, so, so they're probably not uh, a biologist, if so, I had to guess. Yes. And so yeah, I doubt I, they trust that. Now, now if you look, if you look at the uh, ratio, uh, you see that ratio right there: eleven hundred comments. Oh. Uh, yikes! So that was my response right there. That was my response. So, um, but, <laughs> You know, but this is this is what so so it's not just an attack on masculinity. It, it, it's it's mm-hmm. atta- it's an attack on you know basically anything that doesn't line up with the narrative. Yeah. And so Sydney Watts's Patreon was uh, shut down with no warnings, no nothing. Oh no. You know, so she was completely shut down on that. It's just. It's not. It's only going to continue to like. What didn't Destiny just get banned on Twitch? Destiny got yeah. banned on didn't Twitch it? because yeah. uh, transgender activists. Yes, to, to, nobody's safe. <laughs> Destiny, uh, you know who everybody knows. 
Destiny does probably doesn't agree with a lot of anything we say. Um, right. but on other things, the probably problem is saying, Destiny. The problem yeah. is that Destiny, although he is a raging leftist, he challenges other leftists. Yes, that's yes. the fucking problem. And that's a no no, but, but yeah, that's yeah. the point. That's the point that eventually they will come for you. It doesn't yeah. matter how much you pander. It doesn't matter. Like Destiny's on record. Like I think I don't know when the clip was. I saw a clip. I don't follow Destiny that much, but I mean, he's like, I, you know, I hate Trump. I'm this. I'm that. I, you know, but doesn't matter. Doesn't matter because yep. you had one opinion that didn't line up. You're done. Yep. yep. And it always, so. it, it for some reason, all of this over the past couple years has been directed towards this minuscule portion of the population that identifies as transgender. For some reason, all these rules, all these people being deplatformed, all these policies uh, are, are sending around. You, even a lot of the outrage about what's going on in Florida right now, I think that's a big part of it, too. It's not just don't say gay. It's about the gender identity, the fact that you can't talk about that. Uh, or you can't instruct about children's gender identity between kindergarten and third mm. grade. This it's, is crazy. It, it is it literally to be a reasonable thing to yeah. say. Crazy. You know, yeah. Crazy. <laughs> crazy. crazy. Yeah, it's all insane. And and what yeah. we're what we're fighting against is people who can't even respect themselves. So they're demanding respect from us when they can't respect themselves. Mm -hmm. This is all a yeah. personal issue that they need to work out amongst themselves or their therapist. Not with me. I don't give a fuck. Live your fucking right. life. Uh, I do what I, you want. Do what you want. Yeah. Th yeah. Just stay the fuck away from my kid. That's yeah. all. Or, or somebody else's kid, their third grade kid, their second grade kid, their, their kindergarten fucking kid. Like most, yeah. like, and I said this, and I, again, uh, sorry for repeating myself. Uh, I don't pull my parrot card much, but if you're on the other side of this issue and you don't have kids, shut the fuck up. Bye. Yeah. I mean, I just think about when I was a kid, I grew up with two brothers. I was, I was very, very tomboyish as a kid. And I would tell my mom all the time, I wish I was a boy. Why Why wasn't I a boy? I wish I was a boy. I wish I was a boy. Well, then puberty hit. And then, you know, I was, you know, embraced my femininity after that. And it was just like a little phase. And, and I, I am so glad that I was born in the generation I was instead of now, because the way everybody is pressuring a bunch of children that don't even know any better. It's scary yep. because yeah. especially when they're doing irreversible things, Oh Jesus! it's like, this is something that a, a child cannot grasp and understand. Yeah. These you are don't complex let, you don't let children decide what to eat for fucking dinner. Right. You shouldn't to that. allow them to decide right. what gender they are. Exactly. Are there to protect the children. Yes. Protect them not to be the fucking perpetrator. Exactly. These are complex issues that you don't just try out on young kids that'll wreck right. their entire Hormones. life. Yep. Let them, we, we, you know, become an adult and then make decisions we when they're We discourage kids from smoking pot, fucking doing coke and meth. They're not they are not going to have the effects that fucking hormones are going to have on little children. Right. They're bad. Yep. Don't do it. They will kill you, but yep. so will the other thing. You're you're yep. changing the biology of a human while it's still fucking growing, and adults mm -hmm. are pushing this on kids. Yeah, it's abuse. Yeah, thousand percent. Yeah, and yep. pushing a lot of them it's, pushing it purely because of the agenda. They don't. They don't care yeah. about the child. That. They don't give a shit about the child. It just it just and, goes yeah. towards their agenda, and they can go score victory. And it and it's it's evil. It's fucking and, evil. And what's sad is when when said parents are, are using their children online and just shoving them on social media like this. Oh, I'm such a good parent supporting my transgender child and all this. And they're, and they're putting them through all that. So then they, they can get some virtue points out of it. And it's child abuse. Mm -hmm. It's terrible. Yeah. Oh, and, and, and parents are doing this uh, a lot, uh, especially in the Bay area. I witnessed it. I, and it's like, uh, you know, your boy, Zach says the purse puppy uses that, that term, a purse puppy. They make a purse puppy out of their own fucking child. Yep, I've seen dark. it with my own eyes. It's infuriating. It's absolutely you just want to mm, really just. Yep, scary times. Say. Man. scary times. Backhand. I'm glad bitch. I live in Florida. But the reason that we're talking about this stuff is because they're putting it all in the media, and that's where mm -hmm. it starts. It starts in pop culture, then it moves into culture, then it moves into our academia and policy and all that stuff. So it bleeds from pop culture first. That's why I focused on pop culture. That's why I went from the politics news stuff to pop culture because it's yeah. something that I enjoy more, but it's something that I think is more 
infectious because that's where people get you want to think that you have your own ideas and your own view on life but you get a lot of that from the things you watch from the things you absorb from people that you listen to so pop culture they they knew it they fucking went yes. first and everybody yep. on on the side of freedom and saneness just didn't think it was a big deal it is a big fucking deal we all need to focus on it because when they f- infuse that shit when nobody's looking it will eventually become what is happening right now while we're flying down this retard hill to <laughs> yep. the bottom and nobody can stop it because it's far too late. Bottom line. I like that. I like retard hill. That bottom was. line. Yeah. It doesn't matter <laughs> if we change it or not. The culture, the pop culture in Hollywood at, at the it, it, ultimately we're going to try, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. We need to inform people. We need to tell you this has happened yes. because too many people black pilled the shit and walked away. I mean, the entire thing, the entire fucking thing. By all means, do by all means do your other stuff. Do your alternate stuff. It's all fragmenting. It's going to be part of this. And, and, but it's still important to talk about it because if people just ignore it. Well, we ignored it for years. Look what happened. We ignored fucking yeah. school for years. Look what happened. And it took a fucking pandemic for people to start looking over their kids' shoulders, and I'm guilty of this too, and looking at those Zoom meetings and going, what the fuck are they te- – what? What? Oh, well, I could teach my kid this shit. Honestly, yeah. Uh, yeah. the teachers were putting in minimum fucking effort for the most part for That's San Francisco school. Yeah. Like, That's the secret. You could do it yourself. I mean, if you're yeah. a good teacher out there and you did the work, I'm not talking about you, but I'm just talking about right. like what, what I witnessed with my own eyes peeking in on my kid in his Zoom meetings for the San Francisco school district. And it was just a no brainer to just like, well, shit, I might as well plan him in front of fucking a video game for the rest. If you learn yeah. fucking more. The problem is the culture has changed, right? Yeah. Like everyone's taking control of all these different institutions. So the people you have coming into the schools that are teaching are 24, 25, 26 year olds who have been completely indoctrinated. Not not all of them. We're talking about yeah. some people, but all it takes is a, a few lot. people to have a very big impact on children. And mm. I, yeah, I'm going to hear Ripa talk about this shit. If you think that the 30, 45 minutes that you spend with your kid at home after they get back from school is going to be enough to offset the indoctrination that they yeah. receive through yeah. eight, nine Not hours of school, you're you're wrong. No, it somebody brought work. up in the chat and there's a good point. It All this stuff, I say it starts in pop culture, but really, like they said, academia started in academia. They trained all of these creatives and the creatives went in with their heads full of all this garbage into Hollywood and infested yep. it. They infested every single piece of pop culture that yeah. we have and ruined it. And then we see that trickling down through everything else down the line. So, but right. I don't know what we can do about academia except for not go to it. Yeah. Don't encourage taking your kids to it unless they're going as they're, they're going to be studying a, a doctorate, like in a specific field. Go teach him a trade. Go yeah. like I know I have, I have friends that are like welders, plumbers, electricians, like making tons of money doing that. Way more money than they would be st- trying to pay all their medical, their not medical bills, but their <laughs> their student loans on all the right. medical training that they've had and all that stuff. Like, tri- go that way because they're not going to indoctrinate. All they're going to do is is be based more than likely in a in a trade school. Mm-hmm. And you can teach your kid most of the of the thing, all of the things I would say, all of the things that they need to learn up until they go off to learn a trade or learn a doctorate. You can do that yourself. It's difficult, but it is not impossible. You know what you're telling them. You don't have the influence of bad people around them. That's adults, teachers, other kids around them that are mm-hmm. in bad places. You can help them in that way and there's tons of especially now like when we were kids when I, even when i was a kid in like the 90s there was no resources for that right. like no resources for homeschooling or any of that now there's tons there's tons of curriculums and all kinds of things to help you out so you can do that and so that that's an option for we're you we're getting now. the same thing in entertainment so when uh the comics industry started it was just a bunch of joes it was a bunch of guys who like took their lunch pails like they were going to like make widgets Mm -hmm. right they they weren't like i went to art school like jack kirby right uh, uh, honed his craft by fucking drawing the german bases in france you know like that's the like Mm -hmm. he did shit writers used to do stuff now it's like i just came from cal arts academy and i want a job (laughs) 
uh, you know, and I paid a hundred thousand dollars to like learn how to doodle better. Uh, it's something I, you know, you can learn. Like, there's so many artists in the comic book industry who are just self taught. Just uh, yeah. most of them. Uh, uh, like something all, I saw somebody bring all. up that was really awesome about the golden age of comics is back then every superhero that they put out, every comic book wasn't this big story that they were trying to explain a, a political message to you. They were literally like going, okay, what about uh, this hero in green? He has a, a ring that you can do like crazy powers from throw it out there. We'll see if it works. We'll throw out this. We'll throw out that. We'll throw out this. They threw like a ton, tons and tons of stuff. And then whatever stuck with the audience is what they kept. It, everyone wasn't a fucking Kamala Khan, a uh, very specific political message about getting brown girls from Jersey. They to, had to, to get a, a hero. You, like it's just like, hey, Garrett, what works? Garrett, they got a they got a committee of people together with Sana Amanat <laughs> to create That's so Kamala dumb. Khan. And I'm not shitting you. I'm wow. not shitting you. Like they were just created, you know. Uh, man, man, man. Man, man, man. Guys, what are you I'm doing? Man, man. Yeah, the at the chat is like, what the hell is Az doing? Uh, He's working like, on his motorcycle. <laughs> I'm working really? on my motorcycle. I just, <laughs> I'm just, I fixed the things on the motorcycle now, and now it's, now it's a big one. That's should the I, should I go nice. get my Batmobile? Staring at you, you guys confirmed. got a minute during the show? I'll just, I'll open my, I'll open my, I'll open my Batmobile. Oh, I, I see the chat. I, they said Az is doing, Az is doing lines. Leave him be. Az looks <laughs> drunk. Uh, somebody gets a super chat. Sorry to derail the comp, but what the hell is ass doing? <laughs> they could see, I'll tell you, you why. It's because they could see, because I'm blind as a fucking bat in here. I was getting the light out. So they could see this light, light coming up. And... <laughs> multitasking. Yeah. Uh, whatever I... I'm multitasking as, I just do that. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh. We want to see that bald head. Well, I can't deprive people of this face. Come on. Yeah. We got to see that racist shaved head. Yeah, that's see, right. <laughs> got to see that, uh, you know. Nope. Aryan, but I do Aryan. like I, I I was listening to uh, to CEO of Daily Wire, Jeremy uh, Boring, as I said last night. Yeah, so boring. his whole Jeremy's razors is amazing and everything. He was on that commercial. Cast. Yeah, great. He was on Tim Cast last night and he made a point. It talked a lot and, about Star Trek. Well, he made he made one point in particular, and I, I don't I'm not going to quote him, um, but he basically is talking about now conservatives have this whole idea that we need a social media. We need a social media, yada, yada, yada. And no. he's like, and 20 years from now, maybe you'll have a real social media conservative platform. But he's like, the problem is, is 20 years ago, 15 years ago, if there would have been some, you know, college kid walking to you know, uh, you know, a conservative's office looking for an investment to say, hey, I've got this idea that I've got this thing where I rate college girls and how hot they are. And I think I could probably develop it into a, you know, maybe an app where people could start talking. He's like, they would have called security on the kid because they're so uptight and they're so mm -hmm. uptight in their own ways. And he's like, and the same thing now where you have this metaverse and you have these different things conservatives are going to reject it and in 20 30 years from now they're going to start embracing it because they're always behind mm, they should and reject the metaverse perpetually behind so so <laughs> just no, it's, it's going to be huge it will be massive it will be massive and that's just that's the way technology is going i'm not a fan of any like i'm a i'm an old school gamer you know i want the controller in my hand i want the screen in front of me but you know but the point i'm trying to make here is that this is why, and we talked about with video games and how conservatives always shit on video games and video game culture. They're always going to do it because they want to be like, oh, we're cool. We're cool. We don't play video games like children. I'm out having sex with women. All these stupid right. fucking conservatives are out there trying to be cool. Uh, right. And it's like uh, the video game. I don't know the about biggest, that. I would never the, know anything or anybody that acts like that. <laughs> Yeah, we oh, yeah, 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 Jeremy, no, Jeremy, Jeremy, no, one yeah. step, Jer <laughs> Jeremy, it needs to be one step further, though. They can't because, OK, we're talking about like the nerdiest, dork and dorkiest fucking rhino conservatives, which are dying out, dude. We also need right. we also need just regular people conservative too, who can discern good from bad in entertainment, too. Like there's trend chasing like I could be wrong, but I think the metaverse is just crappy trend chasing and right. it'll just be dead in a little bit. But there's video <sighs> games, which are the mm -mm. fuck like which is shit people recognized in the 70s as the future. OK, when they saw Pong, there were people going, fuck, this thing's going to be big, you know, yeah. and and that's that's part of it. Like everybody knew video games were around forever, just like when the Internet came along. There were people saying this thing will die out. And I'm, uh, there were people going, no, the world has just changed. Like, this thing is going to change our fucking world forever. And it did. 
Uh, it, it just, it, you have to be able to discern, you gotta have taste. So we need cooler conservatives. We need cooler people in the center too. That, that helps too, because not everything yeah. is fucking good. Not everything is good. Yeah. And I think Mitch McConnell's cool. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Isn't he? Oh, I, I, I love the metaverse. I want to go into metaverse and, uh, r- r- and vote on things. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah, know. This those, meta those, thing those does old rhinos like... that are dying off certainly aren't dying fast enough. Well, maybe Not I'm old, enough. but it looks like super fucking Term limits, lame. damn it. Term limits. <laughs> I think if I can go I in there and like that... push people off the uh, like the buildings like some people were doing, that's funny. <laughs> if I can go around there and do funny shit, that'd be <laughs> funny. Yeah, yeah. I think there's something to the metaverse. I don't know. I don't there's know if it'll take off something to with it. the metaverse itself, but something in that vein. Yeah. Like I, I have little brothers like from teenage years all the way down to seven. Um, well, no, oh shit, he's way older than that. Whatever, he, yeah. he's he's eleven, <laughs> and um, they are all into VR. The right. the not connected to a PC, they have their individual <laughs> Oculus Rifts, and they're in it all the time. So I could see the next generation really going into a field like Metaverse. I don't know if it'll be Metaverse because it's still kind of boomery to go into Metaverse. Have you seen it? Looks so it, it, but yeah, once that, they they're... find something that really clicks, like that, it's more than just it's 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 more than just games. video games. It's more than just games. Me and Ryan, right? We yeah, talk that's what too I'm much saying. It's a community it, like, thing. Yeah. I yeah, went into the metaverse Ryan yesterday. Body. I bumped into Brie Larson. She gave us a massage. It was really fucking weird. Whoa, yeah. yeah, did you? That's right. Yeah. She got yeah. fucking hammered for that. I, but, yeah, the, I just got up I, think that, I think that COVID has accelerated people's pushing for it because mm-hmm. with COVID and the remote working stuff, I think a lot of companies have realized that we don't need to pay for brick and mortar stuff. We don't need to have all these people here in the same place. We can give them a, a computer. We can pay for the, to ship them the equipment and they just set it up from home and do their shit. And I think there's going to be a lot of people working with the metaverse that way. I think the metaverse is a terrible thing for society. I think it's fucking yeah, awful. Easily, However, right? I do think there's some efficiency to it which is going to be a reason for businesses to continue to push it. So I think it's almost inevitable, as bad as I think it will You see be everything that they're pushing. They're pushing, um, not FNTs, it's us. In it. uh, <laughs> NFTs, yeah. cryptocurrency, VR. We should VR do an headsets. FNT NFT. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Go Ryan is about to chat. Like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. With all of your racism and sexism and horrible shit you have said, that's let's, never upset our audience. That'll be we're the about worst to turn thing. on you right yeah. now. Brie that Larson's is the worst audience that's, turned on her for that, okay? The, 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 yeah, you guys Ryan's, telling me you don't want a, a, like a fat ass like flying <laughs> You guys don't want that? Or a Ryan cat. A Ryan cat <laughs> NFT? Come on. <laughs> Million Chat. dollar idea right there. Well, they might not Chat. want NFTs, but I'll tell you what they do want. And Gary, we need to talk about this next week. Plushies. That is turned yeah. on you so hard. Plushies are plushies. great. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Friday night yeah. plushies. Shame him. Yeah. Boo yeah. this man. I like that idea. I was just reading a bunch of stuff. Happening? I was reading a bunch of stuff about the Facebook employees being pissed off and leaving over the metaverse. <laughs> Uh, their st- their person their stock is fucking sh- took a shit lately uh because that because a but bunch they of changed the fucking name of their company they do- yeah they're fucking company. dumb they're dumb it's fucking dumb yeah i'm sure yeah. there'll be a basis for something I, I much better later it, there's but, a thin line yeah. between I, dumb and ballsy. i don't i don't think that they're i don't i, I don't think, think that their company's struggling over meta and the metaverse no. and the name i think it's struggling over the privacy and the fucking uh, ship yeah. platform well yeah, yeah. For the, why do you well, think they the changed their name for the first time yeah 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 that's why they changed their name it wasn't for the first time ever facebook had a decrease in user base for the first time ever like the last quarter Good. So, God, God. <laughs> no, they're, they're finally, to peel fucking, off of they're that finally fucking dying. That's yeah. really I, what it is. Yeah, my yeah, my yeah, yeah. page is in Facebook trouble right now. I got my monetization taken away on Facebook because my uh, my uh, St. Patty's Day shirt said "Pinch me and I'll punch you." Oh no! Yeah, that got me. Uh, that got me demonetized. Yeah. Well, uh, you, know what? you should have wow. been sexual assault and threatening violence. You should have. <laughs> if you like, had that's it. what, like, that's what I imagine the the old ladies at churches go like, don't, don't joke yep. about punching. That's aggressive. <laughs> that's not nice. Okay. Unless Punching's you're Russian, nice. it's okay if you're Russian. Uh, right. You should have said yeah. that. <laughs> Unless you're Ukrainian and you're talking yeah, about cutting, yeah. castrating Russians. Yeah. That's a okay with me. I stand with blockbuster. Yeah, I- 
I haven't used I Facebook in forever. <laughs> yeah, I'll they use do. Messenger because so I haven't... do like Messenger, but actual Facebook, I don't use it. You haven't used it forever. I haven't used it forever. We use it for messaging. That's what most people use it for now. Right. I mean, like, so mm -hmm. like this this thing that it's they're been doing. Over Ten years. Gonna since I don't even have it. Like, no, don't have it. The only thing well. I'll actually pop on there is like the the sale, the garage sale stuff when you can trade. It's almost oh, like the uh, marketplace. Facebook, yeah, marketplace. the marketplace. Yeah, that's actually pretty dope. Yeah, that is cool. I don't know when the last time I made a post on Facebook. A lot of hookers there. Year. I don't know if you really? know. Really? A lot of hookers there. I'm like, wow. I'm with the, I'm like s siphoning through hey, all the hookers. The hookers will always find, find like, a way. Bless, bless, bless like, their hey, heart, can, by can the way. Can you hire them to like come clean your garage out for a couple hours or some <laughs> shit? Or? Yeah, just like, yo, can you like clean my bathroom? Can you yeah. imagine a hooker saying that I wouldn't demean myself doing that? <laughs> <laughs> can, 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 can you, you imagine if you're like, hey. Hey, I need you to come and uh, you know trim the hedges. They think it's like some co sort of fucking grooming thing. They're gonna jerk you off yeah, afterwards yeah. or whatever. And they come, you're like, no, literally, here's the hedge trimmers. Fucking get here. here's, here's some clippers. Get on out there. Also, yeah, I like this back back on the many first. Uh, uh, sorry, what, but when I see when I see Brie Larson and celebrities jumping on something, it just to yeah. me personally it auto makes automatically makes it the most uncool fucking thing I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. just like yeah. I'm like, oh, Fuck, dude. Oh, it's so punk rock to have an NFT with Brie yeah. Larson, you know, like, and I know I, I love, Hey, I love the fact that she's getting criticized for it. So I want her like the whole, the whole clown show over there is fucking great. Okay. So I hope they right. all just tear each other down with the woke on woke shit, hating it. I don't care that the yeah. NFTs like burn all the fucking energy you want, make all the money you want. I don't care about right. that. I just think they're just, I can fucking screen cap that. C click, yeah. click. Yeah. Oh, there's my yeah, NFT. That's the thing. They're like. The fact that people are like, oh, look, get an NFT as your profile picture. There is a there is a unique usage for NFTs in the digital world. It's not fucking for a cool little picture. That's not what it is. And that's what celebrities, that's what fucking game companies, that's what everybody are using it right? for. Yes. Like, you know, so that there is a usage for them to have that individual thing to track it. Like even in gaming coming out mm -hmm. in the next several years, like right. especially to play to earn games. But it's not what they're being used for. So people are getting fucking destroyed. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. The, the, I think you're going to see, you're going to see NFTs in the future, uh, but the problem is, is you're seeing them being hijacked Misused, by game companies yeah. and, and these yep. don't like, like Ryan just said, but I think it, it's, they're not going away. It's just that they need the right people that are utilizing them for the right reasons. And right now they're being completely right. used for scams and misused. They're trying um, to control. Yeah, once they find the, the internet, use case, they'll and it'll blow up. They can, they're trying to control the internet, and they can't. Uh, they will find a way, though. Unfortunately, they will find <laughs> a way. Like there's already like little things. Like uh, I can't screen cap off Paramount Plus on one computer. I got to use another one because the, they're they're starting there's to work a on setting. It's it's yeah. a setting, yeah. But that's that's gonna get that's that's gonna get worse. Uh, I don't th I don't think they'll be able to ever stop it. Uh, they'll never be able to stop people ripping stuff and putting it on. Uh, Tortuga at Tortuga, They'll, uh, but they're gonna fucking try, and they're gonna get better at mm -hmm. it as time goes on, which sucks, you know, because yeah. I like the freedom of the internet. Uh, I but would like, like to say though, uh, we are now finally done with intros, so the show is about to begin, yeah. everyone. Woo! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did we introduce sex right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So I have a million yeah. things to do right yeah. now. I can't talk. Yeah, I, I mean, we're missing yeah. like half our hosts, but uh, it's all right. I don't know That's where they are. I would like to. Uh, <laughs> Officially, put my son forth for the, uh, the fight. Right, let me. Let me <laughs> I want to put eight ball nah, against, uh, against Odin's son. Okay, no. he's gonna fight four. <laughs> oh. We're gonna fight dirty. Oh. You hear me? He's got so much dirty. hair. God, he's got That's a lot awesome. of fucking hair. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at awesome. Is he gone through puberty yet? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh. I, already yeah. on a show. Does he cry with like a really deep voice? He does actually. He does <laughs> really deep voice. He's pretty chill though. He's pretty <laughs> even <cry>. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <Mommy, laughs> I have relationships with women. Look at how cute he is. Can you peel his eyes open so we can look at his eyes? <laughs> wow. He's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> No, he's he's adorable, man. Congratulations. Aww, beautiful. Oh, Absolutely beautiful. Tell me. Tell me. He doesn't look nearly as red as he did earlier. I made a Native Dude, American I, joke. He goes earlier. back and forth. He makes he he turns into a little red man and, and then comes Is back. Is he just so. holding his breath for like, for, <laughs> like what is he doing? That's a burrito know. phase where they're just little burritos and just walk yeah. around. I'm trying that, to look as albino as uh, possible. 
Yeah, better, 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 better that they're red than yellow. That's for sure. Fucking wow. that is true. Huh? Yikes. That's that facts. Was, that was facts. <laughs> Shit, that wasn't that's actually an Asian joke. That was about that was about jaundice. That's a jaundice joke. That's a JFK joke. Wow. Oh, that's a you jaundice right? joke. Like that that's where my mind went with you when you made that joke. Yeah. No, I was actually in like oh. baby mode, not I got you. mode. I got you right. <laughs> 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 all right that was but good since, that was since good. i know we're known for having the incel audience uh <laughs> if your baby has jaundice they have to get this like flash and uv yeah. therapy it's fucking annoying as shit they gotta get a lot so, of sun exactly. but he passed all of his jaundice tests so he's good he's got hearing his eyes work he's not retarded i i got it x-ray girl later he seems really nice he's, he's nice got it man you know? i got it right i got it I, right I've been, uh, he's sleeping has See, he been my, sitting Next to you the whole time? No, my wife brought him in. Oh, okay. I was gonna say I thought you like had him in a little basket. <laughs> I just I, like, I just put fuck. him down on the ground. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little doggy bed on the That's ground. Where I go. <laughs> he's too young to roll over. He'd be all right. Uh, yeah. yeah, he's fine. He's not going anywhere. <laughs> this is like this is the perfect baby age. They 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 just fucking sleep all the time. They don't cry loud. So yeah, yeah. yeah. My oh. two boys, they're super chill. They barely even cry. My two girls, glass breaking cry. Oh, sounds over. about right. Yeah. So hey, let's read some that's super chats. And talk about Lord of the Rings because that's what I want to yeah. do. Uh, all right. I mean, babies are cruel and all, but I want to talk about Lord of the Rings. So, uh, Lord first, of the Rings. but first, let's talk about Meth Bear uh, on the Streamlab side for seventy five dollars. Thank you very much, Meth Bear. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, that's Cocaine Bear's uh, brother. <laughs> cocaine bear true story cocaine bear found some cocaine got really high died but had a good time oh, yeah. oh no Fa yeah found a like a, a shit of cocaine just ate it, it all and like went well, yeah i've got so many ideas and plans and died oh, um, cocaine bear sounds like a uh, a nickname you get at a gay club or something it, um, it probably <laughs> is speaking it, of hey oh no. we're fighting of gay. Not putting our kids in an arena we're going Every time. Christianity Every time. in the house. Representing Jesus. Oh, I heard you were making threats against my son, Porter Black. Ooh. <laughs> I will Only not stand for that. Baby Thor will destroy. Oh. Okay. I don't know if he's Baby. got the aggression, <laughs> though. Mm. Well, he can, well, he can turn yeah, his head on his neck right now. Uh, Odin, you can't, yeah, he, old, yeah. he can't he break his thing. bones. He's got yeah. rubber bones. Yeah. 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 yeah, I was gonna say. I think Quarter Black's child has a decent chance of having that Zulu warrior gene. You know, so uh, you <laughs> gotta be there. careful with that. That's right. That's also right. he's probably gonna be about twenty five percent better at sports. So <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's oh. the quick to switch uh, muscle fibers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And Isn't only 12.5% better than sports? And they'll wait till you, uh, he's going to oh, wait yeah, till your true. son is uh, ordering something or using an ATM and just pop him right in the back of the head. That's what they do in New York. Wow. So, wow. Wow. so he's yeah, already going to be part of like the game. like a great place yeah. at the moment. Holy shit. Uh, New York. Man. Mm, yeah. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. New York Comic Con. I think they hit me up for, uh, you want your press passes again? It's like, no. No. no yeah. I'm good. Mm, Thanks. No. I'm okay. No, no thank you. you. Well, all me and Gary did is went. We went for like twenty minutes, walked around, and hung out with fans the rest of the time. So all we yeah, did at New York con, Comic Con, the, we we weren't even at the convention. The con at, wasn't you know, very good. It's not. It's it was too crowded. It, it like was it's, super crowded. It was dude. really. Oh. It's not a aesthetically nice con to like. San Diego is like it's crowded, but it's effing big, and you you see a lot of cool stuff. Man, they were just. Fucking lines every it was yeah, it was, I, I, yeah. I thought New York Comic Con a little well, overrated. Sorry. All the all the panels were like uh pro communist anti mm. Yeah. Well, you they're know. getting that way too. Not a lot of fun to watch. You know, uh, the one time I know uh, Richard from Diversity in Comics probably just thought I was a nut at the time, but I'm like, dude, you've got to come to this panel because at the time he was called Diversity in Comics and they had a Diversity in Comics panel. And I went in there. I <laughs> got to find the video. It was the most insane shit you've ever fucking heard, including an editor from I think it was it was Lions, not Lionsgate, but Lion something publisher was up there, Ed. and she said, she said. If an Asian person comes at me with a uh, with a story about uh, black people, it's a hard pass. It's a hard pass. And I'm like, that's mm -hmm. uh, that's wow. actually um, that's racism. That's uh, that's yeah, against the that's law corruption. technically in California until they changed it. It's not against the law anymore. 
So it's, was that a different panel from the panel that we watched together? No, we where went they to the were Antifa about... panel at the New York Comic Con, and we that have was a video of that Antifa. too. It was an Antifa I f- panel. I felt. Like I was in a clan meeting. It was scary. It was, I was like, wow. what is happening right they're, now? They're, they're not that me. bad. There's usually snacks and shit. So. <laughs> no, no, well, no. <laughs> they didn't have any snacks here. No, they had no snacks. And uh, after you introductions would expect snacks at this panel. and pronouns, you would I mean, expect the, them. the actual panel where they were done introducing themselves was about 10 minutes. But uh, that, yeah. Dude, they was, talked about their pronouns fuck. and they're like m- the microaggressions oh, wow. that happened to them at comic book stores. And and, and, and the, the importance of fighting fascism in the comic book industry with all these people with black shirts on and shit. It's like, yeah. what? Uh, so Meth Bear says, uh, don't lose sight of the issues as important as those discussed on Friday Night Tights. Like, my four kids are my world. They always come first. I deserve a successful, childless man to make our dreams come true. Currently pregnant, done having more. Not even once, Kings. Damn. Yeah, it's not like quarter black. I mean, like he did his part, you know, 30 seconds of hard work, and then he just kicked back and watched. You? You know? 39 seconds. Thir- that's one second oh, more than wow. has. One second oh, more than Come on, why you got to one-up me? You broke the Friday Night Tights record. So. <laughs> well, I don't want to go any extra. There's no point in it. Uh, <laughs> my work here is dumb. <laughs> Uh, the quickening has happened. <laughs> <laughs> Marksman on the Streamlabs side for 4117. Thank you, my friend. Says, hail. Shout out to YouTube Absolute Unit. Oh, that's a name. Absolute Unit. Remember mm-hmm. Randy Johnson, the unit? <laughs> that was the, the best big unit. fucking. This is, this is like the 20-year nickname. anniversary of him uh, killing a bird. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, if you're a Venture Brothers fan, which I am, then you are going to love the character. I tagged you on Twitter, a two-minute clip for you to uh, get a taste. X-Ray also has a link. Could use laughs as other IPs burn. Uh, 20-year Halo fan. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Marksman. Oof. I'm sorry to hear that. Rough day for you today. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yep. yesterday. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, even, you know, of course we're not going to listen to the critics, right? Of, you know that yeah uh but if if th- that's who this was made for and they didn't even like it so <laughs> i don't know what to tell you but paramount uh, is bad i i i've i'm old hat at paramount okay because this is cbs all access they've changed their name three fucking times in the last two years for a good reason they are dumb organization there's a guy named bob cheeks who uh is on the board uh he's got a spray tan and he looks like a guy named bob cheeks and he's the one who said that as soon as Alex Kurtzman walked into the office, I knew he was the man to run Star Trek. That's probably one of the dumbest statements ever uttered in Hollywood, and this is Hollywood here. So these are the same people running Halo. So, I mean, I'm not surprised at all. Look what they did to Star Trek. Star Trek has, uh, sorry, a more storied history, uh, and, and it has examples of good stuff they could have just copied, but ne- they just copy it poorly. I don't know if you saw You're not watching Picard, right, As? <laughs> That, that, uh, <laughs> Picard hey. last night was just fucking god. T- it was terrible. I was cussing. I, I, I started... see the references all the time because that's if you go if you if you go onto Twitter, all they're talking about. And when I say they, I'm talking about yeah. Paramount and the and Discovery. All the they're cameos. talking about is the references that they made because they're they so shit. Oh. Uh. Yeah, know, they had, it. they had, you know, they had Punk from the, uh, the boss from Voyage yeah. Home, back. Yeah, yeah. But this time, when a woman tells him to be quiet, he says, "Yes, yes, ma'am. Sorry, I apologize," and turns down his uh, ghetto blaster. The same one. So he still has that one there. So yeah. Uh, uh, it, it's funny that you say that they've changed names so many times and talking about their their leadership because. It reminds me that even though HBO, you know, at the time had Game of Thrones, they, they had like all this success. You remember how many times they have changed their fucking streaming services? HBO Max now, finally. But it was HBO Now, HBO Go, mm-hmm. HBO at home. Like right, they were running them at the same time. They're at yeah. the same confusing. time. They had different wow. things. And people were confused as fuck. People couldn't get access. They had to like try to comp people stuff. It was frustrating and annoying. Yeah, but that's again Warner Brothers running that, yeah. so yep. it makes a lot of sense. And think about it: when you paid for HBO, like the actual service, it was so much more expensive than what you could get with HBO Max or HBO Go, yeah. when you got the same stuff essentially. 
Uh, mm, fucking was Warner good. Brothers was on top of the world at one time. They just finished, uh, however Dark Knight Rises ended, it was a successful trilogy. It made them a lot of money. Harry Potter just wrapped up. Game of Thrones, yeah. for a time, was the biggest fucking show in the world. Biggest scripted yeah. show in the world. They were like, mm, the streaming thing is coming, we're going to fucking rule. And it just all <laughs> fell apart. And it's kind of George's fault. And they also, you know, it's 2016 too. I, I'm working on a video. I'm doing something. Mm. I'm I'm working on a thing. Um, it's. I it, did just start, by the way, Gary. I I just started DS9. Ah, DS9, and, uh, good. First that I've ever it seen it. it. So I'm I'm liking. Oh it so really? Far. Oh okay. So it gets better. I mean, it's it's. Uh, I hear once I get to the board game episode that it's all uphill. <laughs> from there it's, it's like next generation the first season is a little rocky there's still some gold in there but it's a little rocky oh i like it a lot you there's move this on, what I, I forget better, yeah. the, i forget the name of the thing it's like the tusk or i think is what it is the tusk uh i love that episode a lot because it just i don't know there's uh there's just so many great moral principles and it's so sad to hear that that's the kind of stuff that's no longer in this new stuff now that no, i'm getting into track and i yeah. like i'll freely admit like when it came out at the time i was like what no oh, I, uh, I don't know if i like this yeah. it took me a long time to get into it uh but uh it's it's the one that's aged the best I, better than mm-hmm. tng much oh, well, they be- haven't touched it yet we'll see yeah see what that, paramount plus does helped. with it uh patrick stewart being a fucking idiot uh you know that that hasn't helped either so and the 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 cast the entire fucking cast of tn well not the most of them have been dicks so that doesn't help either i apologize for that Uh, i am so sorry uh, it was my white privilege you see (laughs) he sounds worse it's been with me all my life and I just made it so in my pants. I'm not in Doctor Strange. I want to make that clear. Not I'm I'm shitting shitting my pants. I just got a text from my brother. And he was like, guess where I am? And sent a bunch of photographs. And he's in fucking New York. What? Right now? Right now. (laughs) I'm just like, good God. Well, we played the knockout game. We can we can travel. That's that's the between our countries now. We can actually travel without quarantining and stuff. And if you're uh, if like you're one of the here. elites, if you're one of the elites <laughs> in New York, you're uh, allowed to perform or play basketball, or whatever, yep. with no proof of vaccination. Now, if you're a regular poor person, well, you're fucked. You know, sure. you can't yes. work, but you know, everybody yeah. else. Uh, uh, McKay, uh, is this McHale? McHale. Kevin McHale, what's up? Or did you? McHale? Okay, no, oh, it's, it's Michael. Michael. It's Michael. <laughs> it's Boston it McHale. <laughs> Mike, you know? Mikhail Burnham. Well, it's it's yeah, then <laughs> no now worse it's than fixed. what I did, Gary. Hey, when she I spelled said, it wrong. Uh, Ke- She's. Oh, I'm wrong. reading what she wrote. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. I'm gonna be literal <laughs> no, about Ka- everything. Listen, Ka- Calman for- sent Calman sent a fifty dollars super chat uh, uh, Tuesday, and so, but he was like. He sent. I thought it was going to continue because the super chat cut off, but it said "moo," and I thought it said "mo." <laughs> so everybody's been making fun of me because I, instead of saying "moo" <laughs> like a cow from Cowman Play, I'm like "hey mo." mo. <laughs> it just means the, to hell now. Hey Jeremy, thanks for the shout out, <laughs> mo. <laughs> and Jeremy just tried to fucking gloss over it. I, I, I totally tried to move past it so quick, and, and I'm like, like a, Jeremy. And as soon as Ryan perked up, he's like. Yeah. It's like, God damn it, Ryan. Yep. Yeah. Like, we live Jeremy, to give each other shit. <laughs> we wait for opportunities to give each other shit behind the scenes, on the live streams, at all times. We're waiting. We're ready to that's pounce. What, that's what friends do. Yep. We roast each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I can't wait. Yes. 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 <laughs> the White Panther is oh, here. No. <laughs> oh, no. He's the king. He's the king. He's the king. Okay. Black Panther 2, Return of the King. <laughs> oh, my God. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Damn it. I want it. Uh, what's? Oh, my God. What's up? What? I got what the one of talking about. What? I'm looking yeah. for Harry the Chan, fuck. save that sound bite. I got a I little weird. Film, I, got a, where, I was, I was looking for the there. fucking meme. Uh, where is it? Where is it? I want it. I want it. I want, I want it right now. It. There it is. <laughs> I found it. Word. That's an NFT. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> there, there's your, there's your NFT. There you go. Uh, yeah, well, you do look like Theodore Roosevelt a little bit right there. That's a good one. Uh, Michael, it's Michael for one hundred dollars <laughs> twice. That's two hundred dollars. What about Roosevelt? 
What are you talking about? There's a fucking meme of him. There's a. Uh, I'm an old man. And Mika I Sandwich put up same energy, Roosevelt and it's was Theodore president. Roosevelt, and it's Ryan, and it's pretty funny. <laughs> Don't you know what I'm looking at without showing to you on Twitter? Yeah, it's like, wow. yeah. <laughs> Like, I'm actually you can see the reflections in my glasses. <laughs> I've been bitching I, I, about if, the light. <laughs> so. if, if all of us are confused at this point, imagine how Melanie feels right now. She really has no idea what's going on. We don't know what's going on. <laughs> Gary's just explaining something. We're like, I'm looking at my note here. Gary? I'll show it. I'll show it. <laughs> I'm looking at my notifications on Twitter. Hang on, here we go. It's like, why are we talking about presidents? What's going on? Uh, what's yeah. Teddy Roosevelt got to do with anything? <laughs> That's what I was looking at. Oh wow! Oh, <laughs> Maybe now it makes sense. I got another one. For you. I I do carry a big stick. However, I do not speak softly. Uh, so. yeah. uh, oh yes! <laughs> oh. You have no power here. Same energy. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's great. It was Saruman all along. You have no power here. <laughs> I release you. Um, Gary, I have been meaning to do this for a while. Growing up, I was a big Coast to Coast fan, and all throughout uni uh, university, I would come home and fall asleep late into the night with Art Bell. When Art left... Coast to coast, sometime, uh, something was missing. Yeah. And then George Nuri came in, fucking toupee dipshit, uh, and sucked. That's what he did. Uh, and art then, and then kept, no, kept art out, like conspired to keep art out because he's a piece of shit. Fuck George Nuri. Uh, so the second one says, little did I know uh, the thing that had been missing when art would left, uh, was missing when art left would come back years later in the form of, oh, me? No, oh, I don't know about that. Uh, of Gary Beekler. Thanks. I enjoy your content, and while I support everyone in the fellowship equally, you are still my fave, Gary. Love you so much. Well, thank you, Michael. I appreciate that. I am no Art Bell. I am no Art Bell. Art was a, was a fucking god. That guy was great. Fuck George Norman. Yeah, sadly missed. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so thank you for the kind words. I appreciate it. Uh, visitor for fifty dollars says, "Finally, my favorite creator on on one panel. Thanks to you all for the great content and for not giving two fucks what the cry bullies, uh, the other woke Olympians, have to say." Hail Friday Night Tights and go boom. There you go. No. Yes. I, yeah. Melanie, I wanted to ask you about that. So you okay. obviously just recently created uh, a new channel. Yeah. So what was the thought process behind that? Well, honestly, I felt like for quite a while since I've been in the gaming industry and making content online for like 13 years now. And I've always felt like I've had to kind of filter myself because, you know, um, especially over the past up until recently, I was with GameStop TV for four years. And so anything I would say that would be even remotely against the narrative or nuanced at any degree, uh, people would be calling GameStop headquarters asking to get me fired and mm. all this stuff. Just talking about Lara Croft and saying like, hey, I like classic Lara Croft and her and her design and there's nothing wrong with her being curvy and all this. And yeah, people calling GameStop at HQ trying to get me fired for that uh, and then being friends with the quartering and all that. So I got so much backlash and GameStop at HQ got called so much that I just try to like suppress myself and not have to cause them any issues. Well, then uh, GameStop ended up laying off their hosting uh, team. Uh, which it happens, you know, it's part of the industry or whatever. Uh, no hard feelings. I, I had a lot of fun with them. But after that, I was like, hey, I can say whatever I want now. I don't have to worry about a anything like that mm -hmm. happening. So I want to make a new YouTube channel and just share my opinions on like pop culture stuff, social commentary type thing. And originally I was going to call it Melanie Mac Unleashed. And then it, it just, I don't know, one day when I was really thinking about it, I was just like, go boom. I, I go boom. I like this. Melanie yep. Mac, go boom. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. So well, that's, yeah. That's cool. I mean, uh, you should be, you should be fired for being friends with the quartering. Uh, just, <laughs> I, I, I agree with yeah. you. Yeah. Um, yes. but, 
the rite of passage. Really. Well, I mean, the guy who I, the guy who hired Lofty Pixels, yeah, I definitely. For sure. That's true. Lofty. Gary has been destroying Lofty, dude. It's been brutal. Lofty's a good sport about I it. Think, I think I uh, think Lofty's, Lofty's destroying himself. Nah, well, I, yeah, like but... Lofty. I do like the Elden Ring meme he made after Gary destroyed him on the real BBC. <laughs> I think was that the real BBC when that happened, Gary? Yeah, when, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then Lofty made the. Uh, the meme, the Elden Ring. Just him but getting Loth fucking destroyed. I, like yeah. Lofty, I like Lofty a lot. Speaking Lofty, of destroyed. I hate Lofty almost all of his opinions, but yeah. Yeah, Lofty, <laughs> Lofty just, man, some of his takes are, are so unbelievable. Yeah, strange, I stick to he, editing, but buddy. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Ryan's Ryan. first spring break was an eye uh -oh. experience. Ryan's mode. about to go. Or no, Jeremy's about to go off camera right now. No, no, Ryan, no, that's Ryan. That's, how you doing, Ryan? I'm, no, that's one of the worst <laughs> pictures of me as a woman that's out there. Actually, <laughs> I don't know what's going we, on. With we've your had teeth, man. we've had way better ones. Hey, your I, boyfriend's just asked you where you got those beads from. Hey, spring break. <laughs> You're not bad. Chrissy. Hey, Chrissy's in that picture too. You can see oh, the man. back of her head. Oh, Some would say that's the best view. Oh, oh my God. Happy, ah. happy, healthy, glowing woman here. Look at me. <laughs> Powerful woman. I bet she's a scientist or a general or a scrappy young resistance fighter or something. Yeah, I, if I weren't white, I'd be cast in Halo. Um. <laughs> Very Daisy Ridley like. <laughs> Um, Bad teeth and all. I got bigger tits than Daisy Ridley. So. <laughs> Whoa. You got a big, Ryan, yeah, can better we, can ass. Can we talk about Universal Studios? If you want to, yeah. Oh, my God. It, it's like you're a whole different person in this. Like, get you a butter beer, and you're like a happy. Oh, like, God, he's pathetic. Life. He's Yeah, pathetic. you put one beer into Ryan. <laughs> no, yeah, Chris, that's all you mean. Chrissy, Chrissy's lying. We were literally just making fun of everybody the entire fucking time <laughs> we were there. We were we were kind of a menace to society uh, when we were at Universal it Studios. It was great. Did you, did you mention that you almost got into a fight with a guy who had a woman in a motorized cart? I mean, I, I would, oh, but wow. I didn't almost really get into a fight. Like, I wasn't even, like, quite sure what happened. And by the time I we actually turned around, he was already walking away. He wasn't even going to defend his fat wife's honor. So, <laughs> and by and almost in a fight, I mean, like, yeah, like you were pre-beefing with someone. Yeah, so we, we were... Uh, all right, I hate fucking theme parks, and I hate theme parks for the reason <laughs> that all too. people should hate theme parks, the fucking people. Uh, there, there's yeah. too many of them. A lot of them are sweaty and fat and gross and disgusting. They're slow, and they're I'm not right speaking next English. To you, Ryan. It's I'm awful. Right <laughs> so... Unbreaded. One Wait. of the things Wait. that I do Wait. hate Wait. is the amount of people in scooters that are there. Some of oh them God. look like they like a scooter can't even handle it, like they need a forklift. And some of them look like they can literally go play in the NBA, but some reason they have a fucking scooter because they're lazy as shit. <laughs> um, so while Jay just starts recording randomly, it's like, Ryan, what do you think about this? So I start talking and I immediately start bitching about all the people in scooters that were trying to get by. Unbeknownst to me, behind me, goes like, uh, I assume husband or somebody who's related to her and this fat person in a fucking scooter. Right as I say, all these motherfuckers in <laughs> oh, scooters no. that are getting in my way because I can't fucking walk. <laughs> <laughs> and as me and Jay are recording, he says something. I, it didn't even really register me at the time what he said, but we just like finished recording. He had said, got a problem <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> like, got a problem. And go, yeah, time, what are you going to catch me? Uh, by, the, by the time me and Jake kind of turned back around, he was already like walking away. He was trying to clear a path for his fat wife and the scooter <laughs> to actually get through. He was trying to inconvenience 50 other people to clear a pathway. So, yeah, that was the story. Are you still of, wearing your king necklace? I, well, I'm wearing it now because people were talking about it. Yeah, oh, so. wow. Yeah. So, Chrissy got yeah. this for me. Oh, yeah. I, I obtained it. That's true. <laughs> Jay, Jay running a positive theme park channel, inviting Chrissy and Ryan on a live stream is the biggest recipe for disaster ever. I, <laughs> Especially I once Universal like Studios it. got in the park. It was or, So Universal Studios was in the chat of Park Hop and while we were streaming. <laughs> and it's like, fuck. I, I, I kind of started holding back a little bit because... Jay had this nervous the background, look on you just the start whole seeing, time. Like, Security officers showing up. <laughs> we were just yeah, we were ready to make so many jokes, especially because this was the day of the walkout. So 
like the entire running theme that I wanted to go with the entire time was, you know, there sure are a lot of gay people here since they aren't at Disney today. Like that's, that's what I wanted to talk about. <laughs> well, it's, it, but, dude, I mean, come on. It's Harry Potter too. Let's be real. They're just going to yeah, be there all the time. Uh, so we kind of had to, you know, tailor it a bit and back off a little because Universal was in the chat. I didn't want them to literally come right where we were and kick us out. Uh, it was worried. It, it was like, uh, he's like, this is, you know, this is a wholesome uh, channel. I was like, I'll put the hole in wholesome. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I got holes. Let's do this. Mm-hmm. So he might have had to bleep us out a few times. Oh, but yeah. Fun. Like, Ryan, you had like four beers. I was impressed. Why? We were there for like nice? four hours. It's like was a he, drink an hour. Was he, was he nice? Was he nice? Once he, he was getting... so nice. He was yeah, so Yeah, he nice. gets like that when he gets a little buzz. It's just disgusting. Uh, yeah. We're oh. literally talking about oh. me almost getting a fight with a man for making fun of his fat wife in a scooter. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah. You well, actually you really... nice to me. That's <laughs> I was I nice about. to you. I was nice you to you. have a heart of gold. That's what we're saying. Everybody <laughs> knows the story yeah. about what happened to Vegas on that live stream. Oh, yeah. You were complimenting everybody on the team. You're how thankful you were that I brought you jeremy's such a great guy and he just just being really it goes up to chris to nova he's like chris is great like you're great chris dude you're, you're amazing you're like what yeah, it's all a big grip Yay. it's a but big then at the end, no no no, really no we saved nice it because he saved it at the end I of the night he saved it yeah so krista sweetest person on the internet you know she says she's oh ryan was nice to me he's literally stumbling out of john bartolo's office he couldn't like he i don't remember this walk. at all no. and then Krista is like, oh, he's good. Chris is standing there all innocent, opens the door, and he looks right at her, and he says, thanks. F slur. F slur. Uh, ba- <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what he called. He called Krista. He called her a F. baguette. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Oh, with two T's? Yeah. A, a woman tried to open a door for me. For me. Fuck that. So I, had, I had, I realized, I even subconsciously, I realized at that point I had to kind of reclaim some of the toxicity. So. Too far. The toxicity there was a talking yeah, fountain, my... and I said, oh, my two friends just got married. And uh, she, the talking fountain was like, oh, Ben and Jerry, I love your ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, uh, and I was, I was like, <laughs> I just had to watch and be like, they're gay. They got gay married. Everybody look. And then she's like, how about I do a wedding shower for you guys? And then she just starts like squirting out like the top and the sides. Mm. You yeah, have to. Fun. So this was a talking fountain, just so everyone's very clear about what was going on. Yeah. <laughs> yes. With a guy's face, awesome. but a girl's voice, right? That's what I saw. Um, I mean, body, yeah, I kind of did. Yeah. The body yeah. of a male fountain. Tran- it was a transgender fountain. We okay. didn't ask yeah. any questions. So hey, we, we don't judge. <laughs> I'm not a biologist. We don't judge you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's up, comics? How's it going? I haven't seen you going, for like dude. a whole going day. Very good. Uh, I know, man. Yeah. 24 hours at this point. Yeah. We went to a steakhouse and ate some fucking cow flesh with com- uh, with uh, comics and uh, Culture Casino. Culture Casino. And nice. Mrs. Yeah. Culture Casino. It was pretty cool. Nice. Had a good time. Um, I am Dambo for fifty dollars. Says, "Hey all, unfortunately, this is my last day in San Antonio." Well, dude, I just got here, and like, <laughs> honestly, last night was like the first night I true. I mean, outside from going to a movie, like, left my house like miles away. Uh, as I am heading to my likely final USAF, so you United States Air Force, hell, uh, assignment. Hope to make it back. For Friday Night Tights events and definitely see you all at Dallas, uh, the Fan Expo. Until then, hold down the fort for me, Gary. I will. Uh, it, it'll be easy because I don't leave my house. <laughs> <laughs> I just stay at home. My nice house. It's great. Uh, Mr. Leland Drain for forty nine ninety nine because I told my girlfriend. That we should cancel our Disney Plus this week. When I asked what she thought about that, she said, we don't support people who go after kids. Screw these creeps, and I'm glad I found uh, a good one. Much love to Friday Night Tights. Yeah, that's a keeper right there. Yep. Yeah. Hold on to that one. Hold on. Uh, yeah, Disney's just had a bad week. They're, they have pissed yeah. off everybody. That huge protest, massive protest. My God, it was... Uh. Really impressive, with one fucking person, it, Dude, and most depict- ordering's opening. I think that Lofty did that opening was gold. Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> I think it was a good turnout. There's what five people there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> 
god. Oh. And, and the fact that they made any like noise over this, like because one person out there, we have our it, first protester. It, well, yeah, there, there's a bunch of them over protester. in California. None of them in Florida, shockingly enough. Yeah, Almost like this that. is a state bill and should be a uh, protester. Things are heating up, people. 77,000 employees at Disney World. Mm -hmm. 77,000, and one of them comes out one. there. What happened? Oh. <laughs> that's, and that's crazy because there's a lot of LGBT what representation in the Disney girl? staff. Right. Yeah. The Disney fan base. And the well. fan base. And you got one. <clears throat> it's almost like this bill's reasonable. Why, why did yeah. that one just x-ray girl? Oh, okay. I got I you. don't know. I'm just uh, some quarter black guy. Quarter black, did we miss your baby before? You did. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, well, I don't know about we, but yeah. <laughs> everybody got to see him. He was beautiful. Oh, congrats. Hey, we don't want to bring too much cuteness and niceness yeah, to the show. I had to, get out. I had to get him away. <laughs> got a reputation to uphold here. To bring the, the wholesome levels down, the yeah, toxicity yeah, up. Please stop. Uh, Sparks, one, five, two, four for $50. Says, hail, great neurotic and Friday Night Tide shameless ad here, my third mystery novel, and so it begins. It's Amazon and paperback and ebook April 20th. Oh, my God. Isn't that fucking Hitler's birthday? <laughs> How do you know Hitler's birthday? <laughs> yeah, I was going to wait. <laughs> yeah. he, he knows because it's, it's because 420. It's 420. Yeah. Yeah. it's 420. Everybody knows that. Okay. The title I is I know this is in my reference. family calendar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had it marked down. It's, it's marked a holiday, down. obviously. What, Hitler's birthday is uh, in your family calendar? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> clearly, clearly Gary's not doing anything to move away from the, the Britney Vinti joke from last week. No. The, the hail, uh, <laughs> the no. Joke. Why? At this point, why? Uh, why? Uh, the title is a direct <laughs> reference to Delenn's speech in Babylon 5, which was very good. The Parliament of Dreams. You all rock. I love that. I love that. Awesome. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Lord of the Rings uh, deleted a bunch of fucking comments. They got busted 20, by Disparu. Mm. Wow. By Disparu. Oh, wow. Right? thousand comments yeah i i got like i guess after he pointed it out i got a bunch of emails right i'm like well i kind of thought it was just the purge right because we had a huge fucking purge over the weekend um on uh <clears throat> make sure you're still subscribed by the way if we've earned your subscription maybe today's the day i don't know well Our and we've talked about that a little bit before too gary is that it, we think we don't know for sure but we think that if a if a channel gets eliminated in scrub for being inactive or because you said the n-word in a comment section like whatever reason there might be for like yeeting uh someone's account <clears throat> i think all of their interaction goes away including comments and likes potentially we, we don't confirm that's just kind of what we think but um the likes there were no like there wasn't twenty thousand dislikes that got removed but there mm. were twenty thousand comments that got removed which is what oh. and, and it was very like gradual um, it seemed very intentional to me. So I had a screenshot of, uh, uh, for other reasons, but I have a screenshot of my stuff from like a couple of weeks ago. So I just looked at it and like, if that was the case, if it was from the scrub, it would have, my stuff would have gone down a little bit. Right. And it didn't at all. So yeah, I think it, I think they just went in there and just thought, decided to delete Maybe that's all they had time for. Maybe they thought they could do like a little bit at a time and nobody would notice. I mean, they yeah. did private one of their fucking or unlist one of their videos. Uh, the, the super Aww. fan one in the UK. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, they're 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 trying to fix shit. Um, and the, and there's yeah, there's all kinds of I'm getting emails and stuff and I can't corroborate any of them. Um, I just I'll just say there's a lot of people saying that Amazon shitting them their pants right now. Over this because this is a this it's is too scary. late. We already know we, you took the <laughs> you made the video. To apologize. Why would you shit your pants when you know it's exactly what you've done, yep. exactly what you were going to do? And before we even saw the trailer, which Gary and I saw weeks before it came out, um, that you had already got your damage control in place. They didn't think it you would knew be this exactly big. what was happening going to happen. I don't think they thought it'd be this bad. It's bad. I, I, yeah. like yeah. I, I even we did didn't. Either. No, I didn't. I did. We did like I, well. What we didn't think was that a trailer like this, a thirty million view trailer, would get ratioed like this. Yeah, that doesn't. I've never seen happen. that. I've never seen it. Yeah, that's nuts. 
They like not be. like I said, Ryan's to re, me and Ryan have talked about it. You look at Captain Marvel, you look at The Last of Us Part Two, the opening trailer, you look at Rise of Skywalker. A lot of these big, massive platform these bla- big massive platforms that you know will share their initial trailer they never even get close to ratio so for oh. something like lord of the rings with this budget mm-hmm. with this you know brand with that amount of views to get ratio that's crazy that's yeah. crazy and keep in mind it, we always have to re- i try to remind people once every uh, every once in a while because we don't even think about it because we have the chrome extensions we can see the dislikes 99% of people cannot. Yep, if you're right. using on mobile, you yep. can't see the dislikes. So it's not like they're piling on. You know, it, it's invisible to them. They just dislike it that badly. And we have yeah. this kind of ratio, which is one of the reasons I do think they're doing this thing in the comments. Because since most people can't see the dislikes, if they just see a wall of the same exact message, you know, uh, from, you know, the tri- quote that they're kind of like attributing to Tolkien, right. you know, that's kind of worded differently and in different languages. If you come and you see that, you know, something's going on. And that's yeah. what they that's what they eliminated now. There's no longer wall to wall of the same yeah. message from fans. And I see Disbrew's in the chat. Shout What's out up, to Disbrew. Disbrew. Dude, so, going, buddy? Good job, dude. So, yeah. Disbrew should be it. something that everybody, you know, looks at. Like Disbrew reached out to me when he had less than a hundred subscribers, I think. And look at him now. And it's because he's awesome. He does he he creates great content. And he's your worst enemy, Amazon, because he's not even a Lord of the Rings fan. You pissed him off with another franchise <laughs> he fucked over. And now he's he's, he's exposing your BS you show that, like crazy. Thank you. So, so look we got at that. look at those. We got a hundred and sixty six. So it went up two thousand wow. since, uh, since your last video, uh, Ryan, because it was at one sixty four. Because I remembered that number. Uh, wow. So what are the what are the where are the comments now? Hey, Disparu, I, I I I don't know if you didn't see this or, did, or maybe see, I missed. See, look. These are from these are since we made the video two days ago, yeah. one day ago, yeah. one day ago. But boom, did boom, they boom, hit boom, the did they hit boom. the UK trailer? Did they do? The, did they delete comments from the UK trailer too? Did you notice that? That's what I meant to ask you. Hey, Lady Grave Master. Um, I I don't know. Oh, look uh, at Lady Grave uh, Grave Master. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, that's I don't cool. know if he checked it, but isn't it telling that all the comments, all the top comments on this trailer, which has ten hours million ago. views, are from the two past days. two days. Wow. One people day. are just putting it back. People are replacing yeah. what they removed. <laughs> yep. I this said that was going to happen happens, last night, man. Mm-hmm. Like th- you can't run from this. You can't hide from this. You made your bed. You got to lie in it. Tolkien can't fans stop are the not signal. Let this go. No. Well, well, one thing about all this is I have never felt so united <laughs> with that. people all over the world on the internet than when they dropped this trailer and we all stood together against it. <laughs> it's like it's if they did fan- one thing, they united the internet into hating them. It's mm, like yeah. it's like a brief mm, yes, look into what fandom used to be. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like we'd come together and just don't fuck with our shit. Uh, just don't. Yeah. You know, like make you want to go, dude. Amazon, you're a trillion dollar company. You can make your own shit all day yep. long. Uh, it, it's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> and and yeah, I'm so proud yeah. of Tolkien fans. Uh, they're great. And and oh, yes, yeah. there's bullshit going on. They're erasing comments. They are changing Wikipedia pages. By the way, you can see the changes. Uh, the edits you can you can see the edits being changed and they are fucking doing wow. it right now. Yeah, like crazy. D- Disparu, Disparu said, "I'm not sure. I have old footage of the UK trailer comments to compare. I can look. So I'll look, look too. It, I'll look too because so. I have a bunch of screenshots and if I see anything, I'll let you know, dude. Um, yeah, it's yeah. you're trying to tell me I mean, this is a small minority, yeah. a small minority <laughs> yeah. of mm-hmm. fans, right? That are I mean, toxic. That don't like wait, this. I miss this. Of Why is everybody putting this quote in the? In the comments. Well, okay, it's a misattributed quote. Number one. Yeah. Okay, so it's it's kind of a generalization of uh, it's what somebody else it, it, said based on something he said, which was a much longer statement. So it's a mis. It's something that he quote. kind of put also into yeah. the book. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yes. Like that's that's kind of where it's all coming. Yes, from. exactly. And and if you want to find a more accurate quote, go to his final quote from when he was reacting to a script that was rejected in 1958. I put it in one of my videos. That that's the quote where he just straight up says, uh, "You know what? Everything I put in the book, I meant to, and it means something." Yeah. End of story. And when you change that, it no longer is my story. Yeah. Yeah. And and this quote, although it uh, again, it's it's slightly misattributed. Um, Doesn't matter is, at this point. <laughs> yeah. The well, the message is absolutely correct. Yep. 
Like the message is 1000% exactly yes. what he's said. Um, and yeah, all these from a day ago. And the thing is, I'm at the comments right now. So when I made my video, was that two days ago, Gary? And when Disbrew made his video, it was at like 60,000 and something comments. Yep. It's only at 61, six, 61,006. I guarantee you they've deleted a shit ton still yes, they since have. then. Yes, they have. Because there, there's no way. All these we're looking at are still from the past. You know, yep. you know, every once in a while, you see a month ago. But for the most part, it's seven, seven hours, hours. Yeah, it's 11, 11 hours, eight, eight hours, eight. one day. Yeah. So and this isn't dude. the first time this has happened. Okay, as remind me, was it Doctor Who or Star Trek where they were d deleting the dislikes? I think it was Star Trek. I think it was Star Trek Discovery. Star Trek Discovery trailer came out for season two. There was like I don't know, like ten thousand, twelve thousand dislikes, and all of a sudden six thousand of them disappeared. Uh, I was doing a wow. live stream when it happened. I got to go find my live stream. So this is not the first time this has happened. Uh, Amazon fucked up. They dug too deep, man. CB you woke CBS, up the Balrog. CBS hit my get channel. The horns. CBS hit my channel mm -hmm. and other channels. They are the Balrog, dude. Yeah, they are. <laughs> uh, many years ago, uh, for for running with a, a couple of spoilers, um, and, and they they hit my channel. Uh, they gave me a strike. <clears throat> so they just do so, this. Just shit. so everybody yeah. knows, this isn't this isn't on a repeat. This is a straight up scroll is, through the comments yep. so. of the comments. <laughs> Damn. This is it. <laughs> keep scrubbing them youtube you're doing a good job yeah, yeah. Good job. just a fringe minority though just a fringe yeah. minority yeah. And basically just a it's just a bunch of bots it's I just when they, angry when they talk it's about a, a vocal minority and then uh if it's like if it's a vocal minority then why are you even bothered and focused on it in the first place mm -hmm. yep. because they know yep. it's not exactly yep. exactly it's, it's so candid it's I wonder if they're going to keep in that LGBTQ plus TIA representation. <laughs> that's well, they already announced it. it. They what are they going to do? They take it out now? I don't think so. I don't know if they've announced it yet, but I know it's going to happen. So uh, unless they take it out, I don't fucking I don't know. Uh, I wonder just, if they're going to keep it in. It's just a few angry white guys in their basements, guys. That's all it <laughs> right, is. Right, okay, yeah. that's all this is. Just uh, you know, Fat Steven Seagal. Here. Here. Actually, up? I'm upstairs. Okay, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. actually, I have the top up now. Uh, great. <laughs> Texas doesn't even have basements. Yeah, so. Texas doesn't have basements. We can't. Yeah. There's like caves. And it's a soil. Dinosaurs and well, it's limestone. It's, it's all limestone. It's limestone. Yeah. Giant sea bottom. Yes, I did yep. study the geography of the place I was moving to. I did. So what? Uh, <laughs> that, was, well, that was very smart of you. I love how it's actually. still going. Uh, yeah, thanks. It's still thanks, going. Dude, I appreciate it's still that. going. It's still That's crazy. It reminds me of the Gina Carano. Uh, quote. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Which is still they're, going. They're the, it's, yeah. still it's still going. going. It's, it's still so going. Rad. Yeah. Uh, wow. Let me look up Star Wars, actually. You know, yeah. if we could look only at all the different have, languages. If we could only had this with Star in. Wars and Doctor Who and Star Trek, or just one of them. Just fucking one of them. I mean, like, you know, uh, Star Wars is kind of like the one. That's the that's the one that gets to the most people because the most people liked it. Quite frankly, mm -hmm. it's not the most murdered, destroyed franchise, but it's pretty close. Um, and it ain't, it's never coming back. Kenobi's gonna just piss all over it. But yeah, uh, yeah, it, yeah, Tolkien fans just kind of made everybody else look a little bad. Well, it just again, it, it's it is. Uh, it's like we're I a man did bone. not. Like, I expected the hardcore fans to be upset. I did not expect this to have such this. a mass backlash. This is crazy. You know what's funny? And it's, and it's beautiful, actually. It's actually pretty damn inspiring. Because uh, for it the is. people that'll say, like, oh, complaining does nothing. Rah, rah, rah. Yeah. yeah, well, clearly, clearly, that's, clearly yeah. that is wrong. I, I, uh, Jeremy, don't you love when that, narr that narrative pops up once in a while, and every time it does, something comes out of the woodwork to just fucking smack yep. it down like kevin smith yep. will come yep. out and smack mm -hmm. it down it's great yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, I, I, you, me and ryan heard it on the whole last of us part yep. two and <laughs> and you know what do you know what they have not reported on the last of us part two since the first week sales which it oh, did yeah. do good numbers it was always going to do good numbers because the last right. of us was such a beloved game and it's an all-time great game but the right. second one got a huge bump 
and then they have never reported those sales again. We've heard nothing. Yeah. If it, you if you look it up, like the first results are still it sold four million copies in its first weekend. Like that's that's still it. It goes. Elden yeah, Ring like, sold twelve. Elden yeah. Ring sold twelve in what? Uh, first four weeks, right? Or the first no. three weeks? Uh, like first, first, it was but the first it was weekend. Two but, weeks, but it's, I think it was. Two but weeks, it's also yeah, yeah. but it's also multi plat. So it's multi platform. So, yeah, but remember the Last of Us Part Two is the most edited game of the year ever. Oh, it's the yeah. greatest. Well, I mean, Ghost of greatest. Tsushima, if you look like you can try to piece it together based on user base, because there's some things that'll show you like how many PSN people have like logged into a certain game. Like the, the user base for Ghost of Tsushima is now finally ahead of Last of Us 2. So oh. however you want to equate that for sales, you can find those those numbers somewhere. You got to dig for them. But uh, but yeah, but they're the ones who have been saying, hey, guys, we hit five million. Hey, we hit six. Hey, we hit seven million. Uh, but of course, Last of Us Part Two, uh, like it, massive disappointment. That's right. That's I can't now. understand why. <laughs> <laughs> I can't either. Big Abby Pump is your hookup. <laughs> Holler, <laughs> Abby Smash. <laughs> Literally. So yeah, let's yeah. Go, let's go well, over. Really it. Tried to destroy my career and my life over it, but I I can't understand why yeah. Sony would do yeah. such a thing. Why would you do that, Sony? <laughs> yeah, let's go over that a little bit. So yeah, we don't hear from The Last of Us two very much. You know, I mean, like it's not my thing, but we just don't hear from it. Um, Captain Marvel. Well, we are gonna Captain have a Mar we're gonna have a TV. There's a TV series set to come out, but uh, mm -hmm. there is no one and done, baby. There's, That's one and no, done. It's, it's DOA. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Pascal. I mean, Pedro Pascal. So, so, so we got that. And then, you know, Captain Marvel, big fucking billion dollar hit, massive hit, massive hit, uh, delayed yeah. films, uh, sequel demoted. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh my. <laughs> Is this safe to have on a screen? <laughs> Jeez. A good time. Oh, no. wow. It's just a couple of guys. He's so My happy. I had to purge. find him. He's so happy. <laughs> it's, yeah, if, if, like, hey, uh, a quarter black, that was heterosex. I think uh, that might be a problem, but it's not. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's okay if it's... Yeah. <laughs> that's Papa Pump happy. Bobby sex. That's what it is. Uh... That fucking uh, picture has that. been edited. Look how like pink my tongue is to make my cheeks <laughs> even redder. No, <laughs> you're just it's 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 all the Ryan, we're all pink on the inside, dude. <laughs> I'm not coming back until it's gone. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, we've seen Jeremy reach his limit. Uh yeah, yeah, wow. so. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I've built is dead now. Thank yeah. you, Ryan. <laughs> right. All of your racism cuckers. and sexism. It's all fucking apart now. Over that scene. <laughs> it's your fucking fault, Jeremy, you cocksucker. You're the one that told Drug Freepio to use that as a thumbnail. What he the fuck? You, How are you trying he, to pass this he, off? He sent you an apology, by the way, on Twitter. I saw. I fucking liked it. I didn't respond. <laughs> I liked it. I acknowledged its existence. <laughs> Ryan, were you making that face on the ride? Yeah, that was so. That was right after we had like got splashed, and Jay's like, "I thought I lost my phone," <laughs> and he started laughing. So I'm like turning and laughing as my hair's like fucking half wet. I like just run my hands to my beard because it was wet, and I I look fucking like an insane Asian retard with Down syndrome. Uh, you do. Yes. Why? <laughs> why? I don't know why. Today is just the, you know Asians are getting it today from Ryan. It's just his day. Ryan, I need to talk to you. <laughs> I like how quarterback black just looks high as fuck. I look high yeah. as fuck. <laughs> What's up? Dude. Thank you for taking that screenshot. <laughs> high I, as I, I don't know what, what to say. say. Uh, oh. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Whoops. Uh, I, almost got a, I almost have a doppelganger uh, out there somewhere in Texas. Maybe, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe. Uh, what was that? <laughs> oh, yeah. So we got, you know, Last of Us 2, don't hear about it anymore. Uh, Captain Marvel, the big hit, got demoted in her own fucking sequel, and it got delayed to February. Uh, there's no fucking trilogies coming out for Star Wars anymore. Star Trek, nobody talks about it. Picard's out in season two. It doesn't even trend on the day it comes out. They premiere another fucking show over Picard, which is hilarious. Uh, and they both suck. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm wondering, 
when people are going to figure out like we were it's not like we fucking right. hate this shit i like this shit we all like this stuff yeah it's just shit uh you know it takes a lot it takes people to a while to figure out i guess well i was gonna say the problem is like as a normie you just don't go on the I, I never went on the internet to find out like information so through conversations unless someone tells people about this stuff you don't hear it mm. like i would never have known that i wouldn't like star wars because of what was happening with the woke stuff i just didn't mm. like it and i didn't watch the rest of the the two other new uh new movies no there's going to be like books written and there are, there are, but there are just going to be more books written, and people are going to look back and go, people thought Terminator Dark Fate was a good idea. They thought that was a <laughs> yeah. good idea, that people wanted that. People wanted to see Sarah Connor as an anti-natalist cunt, and oh. her, her son gets killed in the first 30 seconds. And that was a James Cameron decision. People actually thought yeah. that you wanted that. And they, these are considered professionals, and they're highly paid and respected in their field, whatever. Um, they're all uh, Mikey out of touch professionals. Yes. Um, Mikey Gussler for $50. It says Hard Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, looks like the Harry Potter game that I have been waiting for for a long time, but shill websites are writing that the goblins are being the villains is problematic. Oh, because the racists see goblins as the as Jewish yeah. people. It's the Jews. Yeah. yeah. If you see a goblin as a Jewish person, you, you have the problem. The <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you, you might be the villain of your own yeah. story. Yeah. 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 What? Yeah. Do we need to do like a you might be a redneck? Yeah, if yeah. you see black people as orcs, <laughs> you might be a racist. Yep. But yeah. it, it is true. That game looks really fucking cool it really, uh, honestly. really good and, it does and, good. and it actually um funny enough the the tr premiere trailer that they put out you know months and months ago months ago ac actually has more views on playstation's uh youtube channel than god of war uh wow. spider-man oh, wow. than like than any other game that's on playstation's youtube channel which oh. is pretty shocking that it, it's that it, one it but it is shouldn't and it's be. not yeah. like it, it's not like it's because it got a bunch of mass down votes there's really no backlash like that like we've seen with amazon lord of the rings it's because people are interested in the game and uh between the jk rowling stuff so people are just trying to hate on it you've got game devs of other things like gotham knights and uh, one of the Warhammer games who are saying, if you're going to play the wizard game, just admit that you don't care about transphobia. <laughs> okay. Yeah, shit like that. So, I okay. don't what care about say? transphobia. Whatever you say, don't care. Don't give a fuck. <laughs> say what the fuck you want about me. Don't give a fuck. I'll buy right. 10 copies and I'll give nine of them away. Fuck it. I'll buy 20. I'll give 19 of them I'll away. Match don't it. fuck yourself. <laughs> I will fucking match it. Like, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, uh, you're now making people hate your own fucking cause. Good job. Uh, and this Harry is Potter progressive I, intolerance. This breaking is progressive breaking intolerance news, people, by right? the way, Harry yeah. Potter is massively fucking popular. I mean, it is like it is it is a generation Star Wars. It is there's a generation of kids who grew up with the books and the movies simultaneously, and and they're not they're starting to become grown ups now. And that shit is yeah. uh, you know if they weren't fucking stupid with their fucking Fantastic Beasts, I mean they're they shit they suck. Uh, if they go back to Hogwarts, where people want, if they have more kids, you'll see it be more popular. Look at how popular this fucking game looks. Well, Duh. I mean, I talk, Gary, Gary. I've mentioned this before, but like, um, I'm not like I don't like J.K. Rowling. I I, I hate her guts actually. Um, I, I think she's a horrible person. <laughs> um, but and I see that like she's now getting all the support, but it's like she's she's she hates your guts. She she will stab you in the back. But that's not the point. The point is is separating that. This is a incredibly successful person uh she has created something that few people like she's up there with like george lucas you know what i mean and the same crowd that tells you how we need strong powerful women and how we need to you know have powerful female voices that same crowd is doing everything in their mm. power to destroy yeah. this woman's legacy yep. yep so again what she has created is truly astonishing and it's something to be respected and i do greatly respect it and i like harry potter and i love the world she's created i just don't like her um but that crowd they are they are hell-bent on this woman who agrees with probably 90 percent of everything they believe because yeah. she has one opinion they don't like they're willing to destroy yep. her entire legacy that's the yeah. crowd of intolerance that we're talking about here.
And that just should sell every successful woman or potentially successful woman. That's your future if you pander to that crowd. Yep. No matter what you accomplish, no matter how great you are at it, no matter the legacy that is involved in it and the power of the fandom, no matter the fact that she made these people's careers, these people that starred in these movies, she fucking made them megastars and multimillionaires, and they have turned on her mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. over political propaganda. It is insane, but that's the world we're living. Yep. And I think that a lot of people forget in all of this that – J.K. Rowling, J.K. Rowling, she is an activist. Like she, she posts posts after she was done writing it, did things to characters. All of a sudden, now yep. this Dumbledore's gay, right? right? Even though there's really no indication, there's really no never any intention of that. And as a result, this new Fantastic Beast movie. I'm sharing my screen, quarter black. Um, with the the revelation that Dumbledore is gay, um, and this. Albus Dumbledore's obviously Aww. in these Fantastic Beast movies. Grindelwald's in these movies. They uh they had this big rivalry out. We know from the books that Albus the one that took down Grindelwald. Well, look at what they're doing now with this story. Do you really intend to turn your back on your own kind? Huh? It was you who said we could reshape the world. It's what we said we'd do. Ah. Because I was in love with you. <laughs> ah. Ah. Wow. Ah. Wow. Never said in the book. Never Hold said. They went extensively. Ones. We're back down to 10 copies. <laughs> extensively in the backstory of Dumbledore in the last book, none of this was said ever. Yeah, yeah shockingly, they, they never talked about his, you know, extensive love affair with Grindelwald. No. They talked about deeply with his relationship with Grindelwald, their backstory, okay, their friendship. Well, the backstory they was they spent help. like a they summer together. They spent a summer together. A summer right? together. A yeah. summer together. That's it. Then they were gone. <laughs> then he was gone after his sister died. It's like, uh... But that's but no, no. That's right. That's J.K. Rowling, though. She wrote the script, right? She, or did they take? Did they? She take was that involved. Away from she her? was involved yeah. with the yeah. story for this stuff. Yeah, she, she, sure. she canceled from that. But this was all done posthumously. That's why it's so messy and. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, like it's a dumb it's franchise like, too. It's I called. Don't care if it's Dumbledore called Fantastic. Gay. I don't it's give it's a called shit. Fantastic Beasts, and it's got nothing to do with fucking Fantastic Beasts. It should be just called <laughs> Dumbledore. So, like, it's just. Well, that's almost that's kind of my problem with this series. Well, it's bad. Like the first two <laughs> movies, it is called Fantastic Beasts, and I hate that part of it. I, I think it's dumb. I, I hate Newt Scamander. I think that he's intentionally made to be as he's Doctor like, Who, super it's supposed to be Doctor like, Who, super awkward and autistic as possible. Like that. That's kind of how they're making him, almost to try to tell everybody, look, anyone can be a hero, kind of thing. Which you know what? That was literally the entire story of Harry Potter. We are already fucking literally. Know that. Yeah. Literally. So. I, and then they're doing all this shit. It's like fuck. And now you're you're canceling J.K. Rowling. She's the activist that torched her own shit up in flames in favor yeah. of being woke. Yet it's not woke enough for you. Yeah. I mean, I would believe that those two dudes like jerked each other off once and was like, "Let's never talk about it." Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they pulled each other's ones. Not a whole. Uh, well, they like, just like, did it with their. Back mountain. Late, 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 what could, was say? I could, they, I could oh, always like. I could always, like sit here, Chrissy, trying to Wingardio figure out a way Jerkyoso. to come in with a joke like <laughs> that. <Jerkyoso. laughs> yeah. She's always just thinking about how can I make this a jerk off joke between two men? Like, yeah. <laughs> like, like there is no way in a world of magic. Same thing in Star Wars when people can use the force to make their body like do shit. There's no way people wouldn't use that stuff during sex literally all the fucking time. That would be like the primary use for a lot of this shit. Yep. Not moving rocks up and down. You'd make your cock stay hard for as long as That's possible. That's why everybody okay. went to the you dark side. Shit, like, the Jedi wouldn't let you do that. About Ryan. Don't mm -hmm. use the force of J.O. I will say though, the, about Dumbledore being gay, it, this is where this is a good example, a great example of having a character be gay and it mean nothing to the story. Right. He Dumbledore's awesome. If he's straight, I, okay. If he's gay, okay, whatever. He's still awesome. He is a great story. Mm -hmm. He's a great character in the book. Right. It has nothing to do with him being gay. Like, why don't yeah. we, we need more characters like that that are just I, I happen agree. to be. I agree. Because then whenever you make, when they try to introduce uh, characters like that and they make that their entire personality is like, mm -hmm. oh, by the way, guys, yeah. This character's gay. That's our whole personality. I feel like it's just, it's not something that's going to 
that that needs to be a part of them, but not their entire identity. Yeah. Well, the name I of this is I... Dumbledore Secrets. What do you think they're talking about here? Right. <laughs> That's what they're talking about. They focused, <laughs> they focused it about that. Like the like, people that already know. Then it gets his weird. Then that that's weird. Right. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I I keep referring to uh, Alice in Borderland. Um. If you've seen the the Netflix adaptation, well, it's not the Netflix adaptation, <laughs> Japanese adaptation that's on Netflix, and there is a trans character in there, and it's not even oh, referred to. At Alice all. in Borderland. Wait. Yeah. Which, more. That, I I actually really liked that. I yeah, liked. Yeah, it. I yeah, love exactly. That show. They just. I let thought the that was done really well. Yeah, yeah. They let the character be the character. Yep. And they didn't make the trans aspect of it any part of it. it exactly. Was just who they were, and it wasn't ever referred to, and nobody's just like. Hi, what's it like being fucking trans today? Or anything like that, or him walking around or her walking around going, I am a transist. No, they had a right. very distinct personality and character, yep. and that was the only thing that mattered. Rocky in the show. Horror Picture Show. Yeah, and she was, was one of the coolest Rocky characters Horror Picture there. Show, boom. I mean, yeah. they just, I mean, he murdered some people, you know, Eddie. Eh. Eh. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's but he's just a sweet trans. <laughs> yeah, from Transvents. <laughs> From trans- but that's what you do with story. That's what you do with story. Wow. <laughs> Stay for the night. Night. Or maybe. You, whenever you bites. want to try bites. and endear people of, make you that, of with the anticip- general audience. Patient. 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 But maybe <laughs> the rain is really to is blame. Really to blame. What the hell? So, so I'll remove is this your gay clothes. Song done yet? No, not the <laughs> symptom. Not being gay. The symptom. Share, my, share my screen. Share my screen. I'm sharing it. Oh god. I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Back up your eyes. The hilarious oh, no, thing is, no. Mads Mickelson would be Jude Law giving. actually looks his body looks like a male body. Oh, it does. <laughs> it totally does. It works. Oh, in a worst possible way. Uh, Congratulations, geez. Neil Cuckman. God. <laughs> Maybe Johnny Depp's kind of glad he got kicked off this role. Wait, I got a better. I got a better. I got a better yeah. sound. I got, a, I got a good sound effect for this. Hang on. So Matt Nicholson's taken over Johnny Depp's character because I don't watch this shit. What yeah, is, yeah, yeah. Mads Mickelson is uh, Green I can barely hear I think it, it's Gary. a better, it's a better cast. I could, actually. We can barely hear it. You couldn't hear that. Well, I could hear it. <laughs> that one. <laughs> yeah. Daddy, chill. What the That's hell the is even that? <laughs> 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 oh man! Shocking. Shock! Shocked! I'm shocked! Now it shocks me. I'm shocked. Uh, God. lag or is it? I, how do I say this? Slag. Lag. Lagging. Six 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 on the Streamlabs side for fifty dollars. I'm gonna. Oh yeah. I'm gonna come. <laughs> I'm gonna come. Oh. Hey. In Gorgio. Gorgio. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Gorgio. Ezio condom. The real one. Erupt. No, 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 no. Guardium jerky off of. So, I don't know. No, this not spell. that one. The the Gorgio Gorgio is. Is jail. If I don't know anything about Harry Potter, can I get into this RPG? Oh, Wingardium. Thomas, what are you doing? Just say J-O. Just say jerk off. Why are you no. saying it's, J-O it's like you're like an old YouTube church. video? That's the reason why I say it. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I, th- I think so, as based on what I've seen. I'm not a Harry Potter expert myself. I mean, I've, I watched the movies once and didn't really love them, but then I went to the theme park and I was like, this is incredible, so I really want to learn mm-hmm. more about it. So I'll watch the movies again and Read really the books. enjoyed them a lot more. Read the books. Um, yeah. The yeah, books yeah. will make you appreciate the how poorly the story is in the movies. Oh, right. There, there's so much, <laughs> the, the so much couple, left out that is like but, really great in the books. The first the couple first, of books, the movies. First couple of movies are yeah. pretty good. Yep. Um, and then I think... Yeah, I would say I, if, I really you're think, adult, if you're an I, adult, skip the first two books. You can read, you can watch the movie. It pretty much gets you there. No, and no, no. Then, fuck but, that. But read, the, read the but, goddamn but his, but his question yeah. was... Yeah, if I think not, if, if you want to get into it, I'd say read... But what I'm saying on. is, as was asking if he doesn't know anything about it, will he enjoy the game? And I told him, based on what I've seen, I think yeah. he would enjoy the yeah, game. Probably. So, yeah, probably. Maybe. Because yeah. all I know is Harry Potter, Hermione, and then when Hermione went onto the stage, she turned black. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the it never specified in the book. Even it actually it did. Yeah, they did actually. Hey, hey, that's not Hermione's true. pale face. It doesn't sound like a black person right. to me. Yeah. <laughs> Unless uh -huh. Cause I, if I'm because I know I I don't know what the timeline is. I know this takes place well before the the books. If I'm not mistaken, the time hundred years. I think. And do they really want? Do they want to give, yeah. they wanna give yeah. a black girl buck teeth? Because that's what they did in the first three and, and a half books. So yeah, that's right. And then she fixed wow. it. She magic herself. She ma yeah, and Ron didn't notice. Um, that's right. Ron. <laughs> Ron. Uh, lag six six six. He's, he's the redheaded one. Yes, he? he is. Yeah, yes. He is. Uh, yes. Gary loves Harry Potter. Uh, love this. We need real nerds right. who talk nerd stuff. Are you thinking of starting a board game channel? Hail. And that's, of course, that, uh, you guys are. Ge well, Geeks well, and gamers well. Is. Geeks and Gamers. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Geeks and Gamers Tabletop has Thank already you. started. Actually, uh, Extra Girl, did you create your character the other night? No, they, they ran really <laughs> late, and I had to wake up in, like, all right. Six hours, so we rescheduled. So we yep. are we are creating characters for a little a little mini D and D playthrough that we're gonna do just yeah. for some people on the team that have never played D and D before. Yep. So we're doing that, but yeah, we are doing a tabletop channel for geeks and gamers. Yep, mm -hmm. it's already up. You can Excellent. Get that, so, um, so yeah, I'm I'm happy with that. You know, we uh we had a, a dungeon master, you know, come to us, talk to us about everything. i uh, had a few interviews with him and convinced uh, me and Ryan that it's way to go. Um, I know nothing about that world, but it's obviously a world I want us to, to be in. And uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens with it. But I'm excited. It's a sphere that needs you desperately. Cause yeah, geez, that's uh, what I've yeah, heard. It's, yeah, 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 yeah. it's kind of that's dead what I've there. heard. That's uh, why it came to us. So yeah. Um, and that's what I like to hear. I like to hear that. I like that the Geeks and Gamers has that type of, uh, you know, impact on people where they think we can make a difference. I still just wonder if I can get a thousand views on a video when I upload it. Yet here's everybody like, <laughs> oh, we can make an impact. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> right? you know, so, so, so shocked, say you. shocked anybody cares. Yep. So, oh, and, and Ryan, yes, I do love Harry Potter. I do. No shame to my game. I don't know if I love it yeah. enough to play a video game. But uh, we'll see. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah I mean, you. You, yeah, we you, still, you, you still, yeah, yeah, it's you. I mean, we need you to play the witch. Yeah. You still, you did tell me you're gonna play Mario Kart with this one. I, get I will eventually. I'm holding Dude, you to that. Here's the deal. You to nothing that. against <laughs> video games. Video games are, are fucking the rad. They're killer. Uh, I don't have time. I don't. Have no, I totally time. understand that. I don't yeah. know how you guys play at all. I don't have time to do I, that shit. On stream. I was barely seeing weeks. my family right now. You know? So. I was four, four weeks, weeks late. late he was getting Elden, Elden Ring. So. Yeah. I, I was watching you last night playing yeah, Elden yeah. Ring. I was actually entertaining. Well, watching Ryan, I understand because he works. But the other, you know. Uh, yeah. But. So. Uh, <laughs> As was in the chat. As was watching me play. He was helping me out yeah. a little bit. Mm -hmm. I watched the whole thing. Those much. little those little fat goblin things look like X Ray Girl's dog. I fucking hate it. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually a lot of creatures that look like my dog. There's like this yeah. <laughs> There's like the the big dog looks yep. just like your dog. Yep, yep. Yeah. It makes a lot because they're all like sense, doesn't it? Yeah. That's the, the the part the part where the part where he was uh where the the fire uh goes on and off and the and the the green guy jumped down because the green guy's up there on the wall up top. Yeah. And when you walk in that room, you don't know it and you're sitting there focused on the fire and yeah. he jumps down and he scared the fuck out of you i was just laughing myself stupid <laughs> <laughs> god yeah that's uh, fucking frustrating <laughs> when you got caught in a corner and they're like three of you gang raping you <laughs> yeah that, that one's <laughs> awful dude I was dying laughing yeah because they're all sitting up there on the wall fucking <laughs> like, like well, a man is that like the gargoyle thing <laughs> that's too? Wrong, yeah. 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 Oh, that, yeah. oh, that yeah. was yeah. frustrating yeah. That yes. was, yeah, that was tough. Yeah. <laughs> I prefer a straight fight to all this sneaking around. Um, <laughs> it took yeah. about 10 minutes to go around the corner at one point. <laughs> well, because well, then I got, like, used to it, and I was, like, rushing it. So then I was just, like, fucking, oh, well, I, I have time, and I fucking immediately just got right. hit by the fire and shit. Oh. I was all at arrows, too. That didn't fucking help. Could have oh, used so my range attacks. You, you I played did the whole a samurai? Yeah, it was Samurai did the whole thing without arrows. Me too. That, uh, yeah, Samurai. Hey, uh, Samurai. Yeah. Thing. Samurai. I'm doing dual katanas right now, though. Oh, Ooh, nice. Nice. I'm dual That's fun. Uh, That's I got Elden. two hands. Yeah. I'm on, uh, okay. I'm on the Elden Lord on New Game Plus. 
rad. Ooh. Elden nice. Ring is a it, it's a it shows that you don't have to you don't have to dumb something down for the normie audience. Yes. For normies yeah, to yeah. Enjoy I have my it, I have my hell. chat to help me. For real? Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. It is like the normie help, audience help. though in uh, terms huh? of a Dark Souls S game. Mm -hmm. What's right. that? It is. And this it, is the most accessible. Oh no, that's Dark what I'm Souls saying. F no, that's what, that's what I'm saying. You don't need to dumb it down to no. to uh, to get access to the normie audience, and that's right. what like Elden Ring is. It's not easy. It doesn't hold your. It doesn't tell you anything Dude, it when you start. You it tells you nothing. It just throws you out there. It gives you full kind of freedom to do whatever you want, and it has had mass appeal. Like yeah. I would say, this game has hit a level that uh, that few games hit that are triple a titles of this level in terms of like the mass appeal and the normie audience and er, like x-ray girl's been playing it you know what mm -hmm. i mean like every it's been it's been great and that's that's what i think hopefully developers will look at and say oh yeah everything doesn't need to be fortnite nothing wrong with fortnite the, and the law behind but, it i'm like delving into the lore aspect of it now and Really piecing all the story together and oh yeah. man, it's so good. Shit. Well, and that's what is so frustrating when people act like Elden Ring doesn't have rich lore or a story or anything like that. And it's like just because they're not hitting you upside the head with cutscenes every five seconds, mm. it, it, you know, it doesn't mean that the, that it doesn't have a rich background and you have to story. find it yourself. Yeah, the whole, yes. the whole point of the game, yeah. Yeah. And, and and of the game is, and... is exploration. You have to yes. go out and find out. Like I mean, like in reality, you yeah. go out and talk to people yeah. you find out right more and, and like in reality they call you a virgin they call you a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got no like, name hey, you ain't you're got no maiden bitch you're punished <laughs> you're laying down alone motherfucker <laughs> well, i feel like the way that so many people want games to be or at least like from like the journalist side and all that they want these short games that just throw a ton of cutscenes at you where you're gonna get almost an identical experience just watching a youtube video of someone else playing it Yep. And I just don't understand why people keep asking for that and asking for that. Because they want a nice, concise, ready review for the release right. of the game. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. The sooner they, they wanna, can get it out, the better for them. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I think it's exactly. the key thing. They don't want to work for it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. That's awesome. See his reply. <laughs> Being <laughs> mean. <laughs> Aww. Being mean. Aww. You mean? Aww. He's fucking thrilled. <laughs> yeah. That's less work. More nap time. Yeah. More nap time. <laughs> more nap time. Am I getting more free publicity? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> Never mind. I'm just going. I can't share that. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sharing it's that. Gay. Uh. It's gay. <laughs> uh, I love that Odin came in and like sang a little few bars of, of Rocky Horror and then like bailed out. That was nice. He's all Where, yeah. Oh, full days work for me. Fucking, oh, there he is. Yeah, I think he watched the stream. I was like, I didn't even know he was gone. But yeah. no, he's still here. He's <laughs> gonna run upstairs real quick. <laughs> yeah. Y'all were talking about something I had I had no idea what it was, so uh, it was a good time to take a break. It was. Big big Tlink fan for one hundred dollars on the Streamlab side. Let me make sure I'm getting my fucking right down. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I had a thought the other day. I try not to have those. They yeah, get <laughs> um, and Not related to anything, but if a group of crows is a murderer and you kill them, did you stop a murder or are you a murderer? What does that uh, make you? Congratulations, murderer. Quarter Black. You're a good guy with a gun. Yeah. And you <laughs> murder you the murder. Kill, you would have to kill all the crows in the group except one, at least, because that's the only way you could get rid of the murder. Yeah, there's only we can bros, stop the murder. You gotta do bros before crows. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Quarter Black, on the new kid and Chrissy on the album. Hey, uh, how's the album oh, doing? Oh yeah, there, Chrissy. Still number how's one, bitch. Nice. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. Damn. And that and that's competing against men too, right? You're like Leah yeah. Thomas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> reverse, yeah. Yeah. You're the Leah Thomas of music. Yeah, the Leah Thomas of comedy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. I think Leah Thomas is the Leah Thomas of comedy. Yeah, right, maybe. <laughs> uh oh, are are the Oscars Sunday? 
Uh, yes. uh, I believe so. <laughs> Amy Schumer, Wanda Sykes, and oh, Regina Hall. God, Can't wait. That's right. Oh, so I, so that. if you want to not watch that, but watch another <laughs> award show, I'm doing my fourth <gasps> annual Raven Awards on Sunday. Yeah. Where we award actually good films and also crap films for worst films of the year. So. Oh. You're going to yeah, have a lot of choices. Dead. You have a it's lot a of saving choices. This weekend. Yeah. What is. Oh, for you, yeah, oh, you for you, yeah, fucking finally <laughs> catch up. Catching up to us. Yeah, I just googled it. It said daylight saving 2022 UK begins at 1 a.m. on Sunday, the 27th of March. Do you fall back? Why does it take uh, so spring long? Forward. Spring forward. So why are you like excited? So because get more daylight at the end of the day. Oh yeah, Ryan. Who the it, fuck cares about that? Ryan, Holy shit. Ryan, Ryan. In the UK, the, it's like it's like being in the fucking North Pole. Okay, so like it can it can look Dark like all the time. It looks like three in the oh. afternoon. Barely get daylight yeah, all day is. in September. Ugh. So the only time I fucking go outside is when I'm driving to the fucking gym, honestly, uh, or I get dragged down to fucking Universal Studios. Because Chrissy's there. Uh, don't you Yay. have much? Well, I guess, and, 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 about, and I guess once a week when I have to fucking mow the lawn and shit. As yeah. don't you have days with only like how was it maybe seven or eight hours of sunlight? Uh, like in the in the middle of oh jeez, yeah, we wish in the middle of winter it like gets light eight ish, and it starts getting dark like three thirty yeah, four. Yeah. So it's crazy. It's just like yeah. Sometimes sometimes depending on your sleeping pattern, you'll never see daylight. Uh, yeah, if you're a YouTuber, a, a little bit of daylight isn't going to change my mood on anything. So I, I doubt say, it. Fuck that shit. Stop making me change my clock. Um. <laughs> clock tease. That's right. Ryan's going to get rickets. Ryan's yeah. now mad at clocks. No, I'm mad at daylight savings time. Yep. Sure. Weston 487. Oh, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> X-ray girl, yes. What the hell? Like, comics is just sliding <laughs> away. <laughs> just off the camera. Yeah. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, is this when you guys were talking about Elden Ring monsters? Yeah. 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 You were like, hey, this is what X-ray girl's dog looks like. <laughs> I won't oh. deny it, okay? That's a pretty good representation. It is. I think so, yeah. I think working on it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Weston487 on the Streamlabs side, avoiding, uh, circumventing Mama, Mama Susan. That's good. Uh, hail Gary and panel. So excited for tonight's, fi tonight's Friday Night Tights because today is my brother's birthday. Uh, he is the one who showed me all of you wonderful people. Oh, hail. Thank you. Nice. Uh, so happy if you would be so kind happy to birthday. give him a happy birthday and hail to my brother James. Uh, we'll say happy birthday. We save the singing for much later. Because we like our audience. So happy birthday, James. Congratulations. Yeah, I mean, it's Gary's birthday. being nice. Like, you're ultimately, we don't want to hurt damn vast feeling when he yeah. hears us sing because we're so much better than him. We're saving and, the pipe. We're saving you know, the pipe. Quite frankly. Right. That's, his, that's his career. That's the only thing he has going for him in life is his voice. So we don't want to take that. <laughs> yeah, we've been carrying that. his channel for so much time now. Yeah. You know, me. <laughs> Like the charity. Well, I mean, Jeremy playing, really you know. made his channel. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. I mean, he, you made all of our anyway. channels, Jeremy. Really. <laughs> Even before. Well, I, I knew did, him, but then it channel. turned into where Gary made all of our channels, and I'm part of this where Gary. So Still it's does. like I can't keep up with who makes who channels anymore. Like a chicken the, in the yeah. air. Yeah, it's just, just, yeah. Whoever, whoever my producer is on IMBD, that's who I assume it was. Yeah. So yeah. it's whoever. Yeah. So I'm 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 happy to take all the credit, but then it gets taken away from me and given to Gary. So it's like God. Not grifting hard enough. Yeah, I guess. And I don't want so, the credit. I really so, don't want it. Yeah, I don't want. I do. Credit for anything. I certainly <laughs> do. So. <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, well, yeah, it was Krista's birthday. Uh, like, so happy birthday! Two hundred and sixty years old. Two hundred. Wow. She looks great. She looks great for two. Yeah. <laughs> Widow world. Yeah, she, looks pretty, she looks pretty good. Your boyfriend's yeah. running. Um. <laughs> Chrissy, hold up, there's a widow world. This came out of the window. I don't know. Oh, like, wow. Window, window world. I've been running away. Right now. It's, I thought it said widow world. Oh, <laughs> widow world. <laughs> that just has death we on the mind. Get the hell out of Dom's there, dude. She's going to kill you. Run. <laughs> Run. <laughs> She's going to kill you. Chrissy, you have some splaining to do. Yeah. <laughs> I just got this brochure from widow world. <laughs> Uh, Chrissy, if you do makes more sense than it was on the window. <laughs> Here, I got a, I got, I got a little happy birthday 
clip we can show for her. Here we okay. go. Elden Ring right here. <laughs> this is my favorite. <laughs> this is so oh, good. <laughs> yeah, this is really good. This is funny. I'll be a crab. I'll walk like this forever now. Yeah. Hmm. They're nice. See? You don't kill them, though, do you? What happens if you kill them? What happens if you slash them like... Yeah, what I'm happens? I'm scared to find out. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Uh, it's, a, it's a, like a dragonfly. It's a dragonfly. It just hit her. Yeah. She's all being like, "Oh, yeah, they're so nice. I don't want to kill them." That's and like Ryan right right last night when he's going around the corner. He's just like, and then his goblin jumped on somebody and said, like, "Ah!" <laughs> that game scares the fuck out of you sometimes. Oh yeah, Dude, the oh, music. Yeah. Went, so I love how the music. As soon as a boss or an enemy in that music, it oh just, yeah, you're like, oh shit, and shit. You start getting chills. It gets and intense. Like, oh, God, yeah. The adrenaline go. rush. Uh -huh. That's a stupid fucking cat. Finally killed him. <laughs> you doing all right? Did right? You did all right, mate. Did all right. <laughs> I, I'm not good at those games, so I, I, I was I was happy with how it turned out. So. It was fun. I, I actually can't wait to play again. I want to fucking play right now. So yeah, it's a fun really game. Good. Yeah. Well, that's why Mahler's never on screen. It's not like he's. I just go go to show his face. He just plays <laughs> games all the time. Oh. Ghostwire. Oh, is it good? Have you played it yet? I don't know. Okay, no, yeah, of course. Extra girl it. perks up when she hears Tokyo. I still haven't even touched it. Oh. The Final Fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is kind of like be a bit Dark Soulsy. I think. Final Fantasy's version of Darky Souls. Mm. I want to have one I'm going to read a super chat that I need you guys to shit. vamp for five minutes. Uh, yep, yep. Horror Arm Amarada. Horror. I just want to say whore. For $50. Oh, that, was bad. That, that sounded like a cracked out version of Halo. <laughs> <laughs> That, that sounded like what the makers of the Halo TV show did. Yeah, yeah. 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 We've, we've never listened to the song ever, so we're just going to <laughs> You had to wait to the very end scene, I think, of the fucking yeah. episode before they put a shitty version of that into the fucking show yes, as well. Exactly. No. Well, Gary, you need to read the super chat first before you go. Yeah. Okay, so cool. it says Hail Friday Night Tights and Melanie Mack. I've said Yay! it before. But passion is my favorite part of the fellowship. Melanie's point about projection is completely on. And to that point, see my next super chat. Oh, I got to read another one now. Uh, it's right. one more down. I got it. Here we go. Ladies. Part two for $50. <laughs> oh. uh, if anyone needs help getting through the middle of the week, come watch Sheep Sidian and myself, the Shagworths YouTube, and my Odyssey channel to the midweek hump. Hump day? Is that hump day? Hump a day. Show, hump day. Hump day. A show where we hang out, laugh, talk serious about our passions. All are invited. Thank you very much. Horror Amarada. Horror Amarada. Or the rural juror. Oh boy, I like Chief Peeps, just click, oh click what I've linked in the, in the private Bye, chat. I'm not sure oh, that we I can actually you. show that. Go ahead, Gary. We got it. Okay. 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 Jay Long, okay. Jay Long, put above it. Oh no, Jay Longbone. Oh, I'll be no. back. What BRB. Okay. Right. Oh, where is getting a pineapple pizza right now? <laughs> Are y'all gonna share it? Are you gonna share it? I'm gonna share it. Oh, no. I'm gonna share it. Oh, oh. oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Mold me gear. They've even Mold he's even graffiti the fucking oh. millionaire as well. Oh boy. Oh, oh man! Only again. Jeez. But does he have a certain swagger of a black teenager? He does. Yeah. <laughs> he does. <laughs> the best, the best review he, ever. He's uh, got the, the he's got the swagger of a I don't know. It looks like he's got prison tats now. Uh, I don't know what's going on <laughs> well, there. Well, are they saying that? I mean, what are you trying to say by the fact that Milne has been graffitied? It means yeah, I mean, what if a young black teen got a hold of it? Uh, <laughs> Then yeah, I guess Ga you Gary's, do that. Uh, Gary's, you Gary's tweet was the best. Uh, you know, what if uh, Spider Man was Miles Morales? <laughs> yeah. So um, that was that was, <laughs> that was <laughs> hilarious. What? If, that was so good. That was so good. Yeah. Uh, They've done this, and they're also doing Miles Morales's evil in a different multi multiverse. Multiverse. 
I am almost convinced that they're only doing this specifically because of that tweet. Specifically Probably. because of that tweet. I it's not out of the ballpark to think that would happen. They watch our shit. They follow the shit on Twitter. Everything they do is 100 just a reaction because they're this not planning reaction. stuff out. They're actually totally they're not fine actually with them planning stuff out. Their yeah. IPs to the ground. Yeah, burn it all, baby. Yeah. Burn it all. Yeah. If, if we can help shoes, fuel that, shoes. by all means. <laughs> yep. Absolutely ridiculous, man. But that's – is anybody shocked? So, no, not I, least. No. <laughs> Good Lord. I mean, but here's the thing. All right, so you got somebody – and our special guest, Melanie Mack. So um, what – as 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 you have continued to get more and more hate for your opinions, right? you know, what do you think the future of gaming and female characters is moving forward? Because every time you get a prominent female character that's respected and it's well-written that people like, they seemingly ignore it because that's right. not what they want. What do you think the future of female characters are? I honestly think they're going to keep trying this whole boring, relatable thing uh, for a while, but eventually it's going to implode because people aren't. That's the thing is, is it just it's not memorable. And I don't think that it's going to sell well over time, especially. And I think they're yeah. going to have to at least take a look back and take some sort of inspiration. I don't know if we'll get the exact same type of femme fatales that we used to have, but they're going to have to start getting a little more creative and even looking at other things like anime and manga, like look at how they're succeeding Oh man! and, yeah. and, and how, how well they do female characters. Yep. And you know, it, it's, it's where the money's at. That's what matters the most at the end of the day. And they keep throwing all this woke trash at us and it's been going on for a while. Well, all this other stuff is doing much better. They're going to have to, they're going to have to run where the money is eventually. It is. It's. I'm. I'm just so sick and tired of them ignoring. Uh, like again, we don't care, and and we repeat it so much because why? Because we're accused. They accuse us so much of the nonsense. But you right. know, all we want is well written characters. Yeah, that's it. Well written characters that we can connect with for mm -hmm. the reasons of the character within the story, not for the real life stuff, not for the mm -hmm. real world yep. politics, none of that. Everybody's sick and tired of this, and I just don't yeah. know when it's going to change with these people waking up to it. Um, but like, if Lara, if Lara Croft was just a pair of tits, she right. wouldn't last as a character. Exactly, hundred percent, hundred percent. She's lasted so long and gone through many iterations because she's a good character. Exactly, right. and yeah. particularly back when in the in the nineties and early two thousands. Right. Yep. when they were developing her and yep. and so yeah you know the the whole grave digging is something you know it's exciting we all like it we all kind uh -huh. of like that indiana jones but we've got a kick-ass female here right she uses her wild she's she's athletic she's intelligent she's got all all very positive um mm -hmm. you know uh attributes about herself not just like i said a big pair of tits right but they don't like that because not only do men like that but uh, not only do women like that but men like that as well right so they like her smarts, they like her sexiness, they like her sass, uh, they like the fact that uh, she she does all the things that they kind of gravitate and like and, and, and fantasize about if I was this kind of adventure or that kind of adventure. Right. And it was bloody Nathan Drake that came along when Tomb yeah. Raider was in a lull and mm -hmm. went, hey, hey, I'll be your two, I'll be your Lara Croft. And that's what he is. He's, he's essentially right. a male Lara Croft. Right, yeah. and then when they reinvented her in the early uh, two thousand, uh, early two thousand teens, twenty thirteen. Yeah. I thought the first game was fine because I thought they were then gonna the next right. game we were gonna see this self assured Lara. So yep. I was like, I'm okay with Lara Croft going through shit, being right. vulnerable, building herself up, and towards the end of that game, she was like kick ass. She was, you know, she was right. running towards the fight. Right. But the second game, they just regressed, yeah. regressed her again. They did. They did. Just totally regressed the character. And, and she was now this, like, fucking freaked out kind of person. Yeah. And then in the, in the third game, you had, um, what's it called? The Samoan guy. Jonah. Uh, Jonah was, like, shouting at her because I she know. was just fucking up all the time. It's just like, she's she's not growing in the trilogy. She's regressed right. in the trilogy. Where's and, this growth? Yep. And every single moment that they give her a little bit of a powerful scene and where she gets to be really cool, they knock her back down and she's crying again right after. Yeah. It, yep. It's just getting really old. Yeah. 
It is. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually really good. <laughs> yeah. My hair yeah. almost like looks like it's going the right way yeah. for that. Me and, also, and, also, and also, I say the N-word so often, so it's perfect. Yes, yeah, so I'm saving that. Uh, that is saved. That you have a fun thing. Good. That was good. Uh, Pair this one with the Rippa where he's holding him. Uh -huh. dying? <laughs> oh, God. That, is, that is fucking awesome right there yeah. holy shit well done <laughs> thanks guys and gals I'm oh back. man I'm back. <laughs> gary's back i'm back hey is the room complete hey. gary no not even close okay it looks, it looks good. good it's looking good it looks Thank really good. good it's filled out yeah, mm -hmm. I like you where you move the Lord of the Rings figures. It's a good spot. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. This whole thing is gonna be Lord of the Rings right here. Nice. So the Lord uh, of the Rings. It's a solo layout. It's going to be. This is like the first layer, and we've got like four more layers to go. <laughs> Ooh, yes! Explain, explain your toys. <laughs> I am a sick, sick man. I have a bad <laughs> habit, and I just took drugs, and I put it to toys. End of story. Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keep it up. Keep buying toys. That's how you stop addiction there right go. there. Or that that's not how you you don't stop it. That's how you shift it. To yeah, I like the Tommy machine in the back. That's another Rocky Horror reference right there. And you don't even know that. <laughs> shift it. Uh yeah. Uh I have that's lots awesome. of action. I like toys. They're, I think they're art. They are art to me. So I agree. Um, hey, it is. Know. Somebody sculpted them. Yes. Yep. Somebody yeah. built yeah. Them. some little thing. four year old girl in China chained to a table, sculpted, painted them, and did a great job. <laughs> yeah, they painted them. <laughs> yeah, it's a little fun. Come beautiful. on. Beautiful art. Don't be so tight. Those awkward moments. Yes. <laughs> How did you find out my job? We're used to, yeah, we're used to Ryan <laughs> saying stuff like that, not you. <laughs> You're the Gandalf of the show. Oh, yes. Oh, Gandalf gets pissed That's off. Facts. That's where they build Gandalf them. yells at people sometimes. He's a grumpy motherfucker. They have motherfucker. The tiny hands. They have tiny yeah. hands and get in small places. <laughs> Rid us of your uh, okay. stupidity. Um... Logan, for uh, my son, is uh, leaving Super Chats now for $50. Where's you, where are you getting that, boy? <laughs> Good job. Uh, hail that's to the fellowship. That's why he wants to use his allowance. Yeah, it, that's <laughs> fine. That's fine. Uh, hail to the fellowship. Just found out Quarter Black had his fourth child. That man, can, uh, that man can't pull out of a driveway. <laughs> <laughs> See, my that, secret that, is I never pull out. Oh, uh, in all seriousness, congratulations. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> May all of your families dead. live long and prosper. Oh, Logan. no. My son. That was perfect. Damn, chip off the old driveway. block, that one. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to make a joke about him and Extra Girl having a lot in common, but then Quarter Black went on to continue to talk about coming, and I was like, well. Yeah. <laughs> well Save it for later, man. You never waste a joke. You always go. You always got to know when to pull out. Okay, it's just important. Uh, you gotta know when to go. No, I'm cutting the know breaks. Know when to pull. Know them. when to pull it out. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Melanie. Uh, I'm Jay walking. Oh uh, no! Oh my. I'm God. not gonna apologize to X-ray girl and, and Chrissy for sure, but Melanie, I'll apologize. <laughs> I'm not the worst, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no! This is no! This is no! 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 Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! No! Yes. And it's gone too far. Ryan, I thought you would be the pitcher, not the catcher. <laughs> At least that's the saving grace I of this. I took a turn. That's the saving grace of this. Blood will change you. Wow. <laughs> but I am not hey, happy Jeremy, right now. Look at, look at what you've oh done, God. Jeremy. This is literally your fucking fault. So... <laughs> <laughs> you were taking credit for it earlier. Look, earlier. look what you yeah, made. You were so fucking happy. You Ryan. were taking credit for Ryan. it earlier. Ryan. Uh -huh. All I'm saying, all I'm saying, at least it looks like you're enjoying it, buddy. I mean, okay. I, I'm like having a good time. I, can Jeez. someone hold on? Can someone put a speech bubble on there and have me ask, "Is it in yet?" <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh. Uh, Uber Geek and Renee and uh, who? Uh, 
Dolomite are all fighting to do it as fast as they oh, can. There's going to be more goodness. than one. Great job, Dolomite. Bubble. Dolomite. Oh, man. That's a great reference, too. I like that. Dolomite. Yeah, Dolomite. All you good. guys are trying to call us anti LGBTQIA, whatever the fuck. Well, there you go. What did that, what did that caption say? Hang on, I'm trying to find. Uh, let me see. Where's it at? Who, who did, I didn't, did I get tagged in that? Tuesday night's main event. Took a turn for worse. <laughs> oh, the seal club. Oh my god. That's Steven Zagal. A lot happening in this picture. <laughs> it's a lot to unpack here. God. We Mel- 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 Melanie's never coming going. back. She's I'm never sorry, coming Melanie. Back. She ran her all. Right, no, this She's, is great. Oh. It's been lovely having you, Melanie. Uh, we, appreciate, we appreciate it. Look at the LGBT <laughs> representation. Yeah, that's right. The fact that they're using an image where they cut your microphone <laughs> That's the best part. That's why it's great. That's why it's great. That's so it's hard to tell. Bad. That's even from Rocky Horror. It looks more like you're like a, on a Britney Spears or something. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> My first Photoshop. Uh, well, hey, hey. That, that, that's like when people Keep when, up, when, uh, when you great. have those when you have those uh, those those corporate images where they kind of put all of the watermarks, the watermarks. over it. People started oh. people started using those as memes, <laughs> and I was like, "Fuck yeah, dude! The internet will always even win. Better. Okay, Undefeated. don't ever try to beat the internet. Don't ever mm. try to do it." <laughs> always someone smart. Yeah. Always. <laughs> and there's always oh, somebody to give you more sh- willing to give you more shit for sure. Uh, uh. Jay Schwalbach <laughs> on the Streamlab side for one hundred and seven dollars and twenty five cents. <laughs> Very specific amount. Thank you. Thank you. It's brilliant. Hey Garrett, how about uh, what is it? Oka Bola. Oh, I'm not. I can't say that. You can probably say it. <laughs> What? Does it just sound a, tribal or something? It says Oka 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 Bola. N- Nergo. Nergo. Okay. N E R G O as a name. Okay. Uh, 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 Oka Bola Nergo. Oka Bola. Uh, yeah. Oka it, Bola will, it will work Oka. great in Texas, <laughs> but on a series. I don't even know what that is, man. I'm totally missing something there. I There's think po- he misspelled Nergo, oh, if I had Ocho, to guess. Yeah. Ocho, Ocho Bola. I think that's supposed to say Negro. Okay. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, I wasn't gonna pronounce it that way. <laughs> yeah, <but. laughs> that's Spanish. It's Spanish. It's Spanish. Ocho bala. Negro. 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 Yeah. Negro. Uh, it's on the crayon. We're doing proper Spanish here, people. Come on. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's not what I was interpreting it as. I know. That's because you're a racist. But on a serious note, <laughs> is there any way you guys could set up a calendar of events page? I hate it when I have to find out from someone else about. That's a good idea. And I don't get an alert. Yep. Hail. As far as like all the, all the, well, we, we don't even know when the fuck our first meetup is right now. We've been talking about it for four <laughs> fucking months. Listen, guys, I, I, I mean it in all. You I, think I we're organized? We, we may Ooh. have, we may have channels with, you know, hundreds of thousands of subscribers. We may have tons of people watching us. We don't know what the fuck we're doing. Okay. We don't belong here. It's an accident that we're here. We're just <laughs> like all of you. We don't know what's going on. It, it that's just the truth of it so Daddy chill. Daddy but chill. in all reality yeah we do need to kind of have some type of it, this is what you're supposed to be here for x-ray girl what the fuck did i bring you here for you <laughs> didn't ask me to organize this <laughs> yeah. you're gonna get the canadian to organize the events happening in the states <laughs> at, at, it's better at, than at, us at, the, at this rate vegas will probably be the one pinned down first uh, cause that's the easiest one to pin down, uh, quite frankly. Yeah. And all the work I did, I put into but, that was a couple of emails. My wife did the rest and I gave him some money. That was all. If you're yeah. in Orlando and you have a location, email me. That's as simple as it gets. Like right now, Ryan and I have a meeting with someone next week uh, for two events, uh, two venues that we're looking at. Now the whole Megacon thing has thrown a whole kind of different equation to it because I, yes, it's Gina it's, Carano and everything. That's like, essentially so two Ryan. events. Yeah, so there's like that's smaller yeah. meetups wait, wait, in Orlando and, and one in yeah, Dallas. There's, so there's so. two events in Orlando now that we have to think about. Uh, essentially, yeah. yes, the, the, yes. The problem is that May is fairly short notice for a lot of people. A lot of people are already looking at October. They're saving for October. They're planning for yep. October. 
May also with Megacon <laughs> being there, that means there's going to be a lot of people in hotels and a lot of people that are doing the same thing. So yeah, good point. Um, just looking at some of the feedback, that's kind of what we're getting. We do have, I, I talking to people, we have a couple venues that have basically given us the go ahead for some times in October. We just need to actually get some final details. And then myself and Jeremy and someone else are actually going to go take a look at them. Uh, hopefully within the next week and a half and then maybe we can get some details to you guys but we it's yep. we promise we're working on it um so i don't know so yep. i got yeah but i think the two that we can you can plan on are orlando comic-con megacon and the dallas fan expo those are both definitely going to happen they have dates we i don't know if we're all going to be there at each one but some of us will be at both of them yeah so yeah. plan There'll on that if you're in the area there. Yeah, there'll at least be people yeah. there for sure. What happened to we'll do small ones on the way? Um, he heard <laughs> about <laughs> he just, he he's, what he, he passed out. I was um, putting a book away. I was, I'm sorry. I was putting it's okay. I, I kind of wanted the, like it was the I Bible. Think, he I, just got done. You mean, <laughs> oh, no. I, oh, no. I had my Bible ready because y'all were going off for a while and I was about to start reading I, from the book. I kind of, of think it, I mean, it's good to have something attached to a con, but I also think it'd be better if we just did our own thing separated yeah. from other stuff because yeah. cancellations also, when's happen the, when's the may events event? happen that are out of our control and then this way we could just make it our thing and it's our yeah. in our control may is like what is it may, it's like like may 19th, 19th and 20th, 20th or yeah. something like that oh yep. 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 So, yep. Yep. um but we are active so just so you know we are actively you know trying to figure it out but you know really like the biggest thing is because someone reached out and they had a venue you know like i'm trying to find one which it's pretty expensive for the amount of people that we anticipate might show up. Yes. And we're not charging anybody. We're not charging anybody to come to this event. We're not doing a head count. We're not showing like, oh, you got to yeah. pay. Like, we're going to, we'll, we'll handle it. But it's expensive. It's a lot to commit to. So that's why we're just, that's why it's taking so much time. So it's not a lack of trying. Uh, it's just a lack of, of, uh, you know, trying to find the right place. Yep. Yep. We'll find it. It will work. It'll yep. work out. It'll work out. But until then, June 17th through the 18th in Dallas, and then May 17th, 18th yeah. in Orlando. You'll find some of us. That You'll might be uh, after my school lets out for the summer. That would be good. May? Oh. Halfway through May, you guys let out? Damn. Yeah, but I would I would have loved to get out in oh. fucking May. There's a cat Holy shit. behind Melanie. I see a cat Unless... behind Melanie. Yes. Yes, Coltrane. Oh, we see your puss. <laughs> Coltrane. Wow. <laughs> Come here, Coltrane. Oh, now he's hiding? Where are you Aww. going? Coltrane. That's Come here, Coltrane. Name. There's his tail. There's his tail. Yeah. Oh, 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 I saw Coltrane. it. Coltrane. Is he also addicted oh. to drugs? <laughs> <laughs> he's named after Augustus Cole from... Oh, uh, oh I see uh, him. Piers. Aww. Yeah, Coltrane. Oh, that's a cool I, name I, for I, a cat. I like that. I was thinking the jazz artist. That's what too. everybody asks all the time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he hey, did drugs. So. Hey, all jazz yeah. artists Aww. did drugs. That's why all they the played jazz. It's the only Miles way to, Davis. That's the only way to enjoy jazz, by the way, is being on drugs. <laughs> yeah. Music for musicians. Okay, I'm just saying music for musicians. Uh, Jason Platten for $200. Oh. Uh, the reason why we are getting this trash riding for all of our favorite franchises is because, is because the universities are cranking out these brainwashed, uh, you say kids, I'm going to say dipshits, uh, <laughs> that the studios are hiring. Yeah, uh, who True. don't, under the, uh, under the complexities of being human, who don't understand the complexities of being human, to them, being human is all about skin color, sexuality, and well, I'll add one more, emotions. Whatever emotion you're feeling at right. the time. Mm. Uh, which excuses your behavior, your horrible fucking behavior. Uh, yeah, it's a bunch of fucking brats. I mean, that's yeah. it's yep. just a fact. Um, Old children. I think, I mean, it's going to take time to show, but I think there are now parents going, you know, maybe I don't want to go into debt sending my daughter or son to a university and they're going to come back hating me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, the novel concept. Thank school. you. Thank you, though. Thank you. Thank you, Jason Platten, for the $200. Thank you, Jason. Very generous. Thank you, please. Thank you, Jason. Oh. Uh, the Clever Fox <laughs> for $50. 
says Halo. Oh, whoops. There I go. Halo should have been easy. Start the series with focusing on John's childhood and the Spartan 2 program. Move to Dr. Hulls. Is it Halsey? Halsey? Halsey. And, Halsey. and creating Cortana. Uh, then move yep. to the Covenant attacking Reach and moving on from there. Stick to the effing games. Like what the fuck? Uh, it's such a it's such an it's a layup. It's, it's yeah. a layup. You have the story. You have the smelted. Just yeah, you have the story. You have the fandom. You have the oh. lore. You have everything. You have the icon at the center of it, man. You have every fucking thing you need, and they still fucked it up. So no, it's just like they're, they're they're fixing, they're correcting the mistake right. of Halo. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. there's a checkbox you have to go. Okay, well, is there a right. female general in it? Uh, well, let's <laughs> add one. Is there a female villain? Like, it, are they aliens? Pff, fuck it, doesn't matter. Put one in there anyways. Uh, yep. What is this? Uh, do we can we fit in a, a a female scavenger that is a leader of resistance? Can we do that? Yeah, let's do that. Let's add that in there. Did Daisy Ridley okay. go? I'm free. <laughs> no, no, you've already been used. I can't bypassed. Use you. I'm sorry about the that. Uh, uh, actually, we're trying to go a little more, you know, uh, Eastern. Can we go maybe? Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's go Asian. Let's go Asian. There's a wow, lot of that, that in the Twitter sphere. They're talking about Asians a lot. Let's go there. Okay. All right. Well, dude, and then uh, that's black how representation. Think. Okay. Let's put that in there too as well. They're, 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 uh, it's like Hollywood collectively All I want is, is, is dead. Uh, Elites. That's autistic. All I want. I want. Okay, so Hollywood <laughs> is autistic collectively, and they can only think about like right now. Our favorite race is black people, but we're transitioning right. to Asian people. We will get to <laughs> yeah. Mexicans and Hispanics after that. Okay, in about two more years, because we, you know, we can only do one race at a time to be diverse. So that, that's how stupid tell. they are. When there's yeah. when there's something that went on like last year, whenever there was a lot of gay, not gay, uh, Asian hate going on <laughs> yep. on Twitter, I, I mix those up all the time. Asian, uh, there's a lot of you know, uh, Asian, Asian hate on Asian? Twitter. <laughs> they're about the same, right? Yeah. yeah, they're the same. Then all of the all of the Asian movies came out. You see, notice that they have like turning right. red and stuff. And, like it, that's all that is. All yep. they do is go. I, yeah. This is what's in Twitter. Asians now are let's so try hot right. now. That hole. And then so what you're a, saying a is year gay late. Asian movies are okay. <laughs> gay Asian movies. <laughs> and That's what I we're getting in a year. Thought, when I just first saw Turning Red and the, the, the weird Gaysian. art style that they went with, Damn. I thought the main character was white for until I was told otherwise. Because <laughs> it's just like that Wallace <laughs> and Gromit art style, <laughs> knockoff art style. I was like, oh. Knockoff. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, share, yeah. Sharing my screen. What is happening right now? This is gone. This is <laughs> oh, my oh, no. God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, you've gone too far. <laughs> Why so I'm, many? I'm, I'm, I'm offended. Far in some places. Um, <laughs> what? Ryan, I think I'm good. I think we're gonna replace the screaming SJW in my thumbnails with like, with that. Grandma's date gone wrong. Right, you look like a better Joker than the Joker from that clip that they released. He does. <sighs> At least I'm fucking funny. Yeah. <laughs> More terrifying, really. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. Oh. And the earth was void and oh, empty. Oh, relax. And, that was really dangerous. Dangerous. <laughs> and then cut to now, we see Ryan getting blasted by Jeremy <laughs> <laughs> on a meme. Memes are images shared on the internet. Okay, we have a we have a page. more we have a more accurate memes one now. two thirteen. Okay. We're all going to end up as pillars of salt. We have a Jeremy. more accurate. Oh, there we go. That's the, oh, oh, the white slavers yeah. winning. Uh, <laughs> that no one look. <laughs> See, that reminds me more of the, Star, uh, the uh, South again. Park, the South Park episode. <laughs> That's With the Indiana more Jones. accurate one right there. Who there made the go. best coffee, George? <laughs> <laughs> it was me. It was you, Kathleen. It was you. I was legitimately shocked. I didn't know that Kathleen had a twin. I didn't. Me yeah. too. Is it Gollum? It so crazy. <laughs> Neither. Did That's she play Star Wars? Did girl she... posted that, and I was like, "What is going she... on here?" I wonder if she's you, better Kathleen. at her job. It's fucking tape work. Yeah, I'm wondering if that's the one who worked for Spielberg the whole time and was the high school quarterback. <laughs> they just switched, switched out. <laughs> that that might have been the case. Uh, and yes, Hollywood collectively is Mugatu from Zoolander. 
Okay. <laughs> Asians are so hot right now. I Black created people. the piano key <laughs> next yes. time. I invented it. I invented it. <laughs> everyone's so everyone's so focused on the pills? everyone's so focused on the kathleen kennedy twin they didn't even fucking like listen to what she said in the award speech which george goes up there and he's like you know producing films it's awesome because you set out every day to do something impossible and try to figure everything out and everyone that works with you is so important working as a team and creating something incredible kathleen kennedy gets up there and says well, we just we we lived in a time that was revolutionary. And now as a woman and with all the people of color and all the gay people and all the all the, the people that have been oppressed, it's incredible to be a part of something and creating something that people can see themselves in diametrically opposed views on how to create <laughs> these stories, which is why Disney Star Wars is Disney Star yep. Wars. Yep. 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 Yeah, and, and they were never, and, and they were never interested. And and I, I again, it'd be <clears throat> pure speculation on my part, but they were always about making George feel like they cared about Star Wars. Yep. In the negotiation process, like this is a place for it to continue to thrive. You know, we're going to honor these. They, they were never going to actually like sign anything specifically that was going to tie them to his story and everything. They just wanted that property, and it was Behind always the going to. They, they were, were like always going to. Yep, they were always going to move it in this direction, but they never wanted George Lucas's <laughs> fingerprints moving forward. They never wanted that. No, disgusting. No, it was, but you're right, and, and that, that's the way they always are. That's the, and that's the way they've done everybody that they sell <clears throat> and and pass things on. Look, Bob Iger's feeling that way now, you know. And oh. uh, but dude, did he not fuck over Chapik by showing support to the fucking to the whole uh, or talk uh, shouting out? He like came out against the bill before Chapek said anything. That's like, how could you fucking do that? How could you be saying anything as a former CEO from Disney politically? Uh, right. It's, it's, I, Biger's a piece of shit. He's a weatherman. He's a dumb motherfucker too. <laughs> it, well, it looks, well, to be fair, it looks, the worse Bob Chapek looks, the better Bob Iger looks. That's just the reality of it. Yep. Because everyone's going to be comparing them. So when Chapek mm -hmm. is doing things that people are upset at, and he has people like with signs at Disney World saying, where's Chapek? Fire Chapek. All it does is make people think more positively upon his tenure there. Well, Bob so. wants to come back maybe because he can't run for president now. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I go uh, if Marvel did Halo. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, I, somebody, I, somebody had to put my Halo music over. It. <laughs> it's so perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Well yeah, done. Go. That was good. Fetch me the goat on Twitter. Oh. Everyone else who got I their kinda... stuff seen today, we didn't shout you out at all, just went, for fuck's sake. I well, 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 usually, well, usually, I usually their names you can in. see the name, like yeah. you can see the name on the screen. That one, right? I, that I didn't doesn't know, stop yeah. the complaints. <laughs> well, <laughs> I kind of wanted it to be, uh, what's his name from the man, uh, not for the Mandalorian, from Boba Fett, Boba Fett uh, the book of Boba Fett, which is essentially Mandalorian season three. Uh, what's his name? Tamora Morrison. Morrison. Tamora Morrison. I kind of wanted it to be him just with his like really bad teeth, just Go smiling. Ahead. Yeah, yeah, just <laughs> like a banta, 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 yes. Banta, banta. Oh, fuck off, Disney. <laughs> yes, like a warthog. Like, uh, a warthog. <laughs> like a warthog. Oh, the clever fox. Uh, for, did I read this one? Already? Like Ryan Canal. <laughs> so, I did read that one. Okay. <laughs> uh, waffle. Uh, he's got uh, two, or they have two, sorry. Uh, for hey, 150 <laughs> shekels wow. each. So that's 300 shekels. Holy that's shit. Israeli shekels, that's right. Uh, <laughs> all right, so this is part one of two. It says, how many uh, of you remember watched uh, movies from the year you were born? So if you were born in 1990, do you remember watching movies from the 1990s? Uh, what about mm. movies from the 70s? Well, I was born in the 60s. Uh, Whoa. Waffle. So uh, my point is that people who will be 
in their 20s at 20, 30, 20, 40, how many of them will be familiar with the older and better non-woke entertainment from 2010, 2020, or even older entertainment? Well, okay, to, uh, there's a, there's a this is a complex question, Waffle, and I have an answer. Um, scripted entertainment is on its way out. It's It's ending. We are seeing the beginning of the end. It'll take a long time. There'll be forms of it around, but as far as it being prominent, the main thing, cinema, done, over. So, uh, streaming is here. Theaters will eventually die out. Uh, we've seen this when every ev- every industry that has gone digital has drastically changed. Record stores died with uh, the you know with with the uh, Napster and all that bullshit, and now the the music industry is still around, but it's not as prominent. Uh, comic books are going to shit. Comicsology just took a dump, and it's hard to fucking read the comics, and those that's slowly dying too. So we're going to see the same thing happen here, and it's going to be you know your home theater and everything, and the entertainment is going to be fragmented. It'll still be good. There'll be some good stuff. I don't know if Hollywood will be the one making it, though. That's the question. Gary, uh, do you have any thoughts about... I, I saw this recently. Uh, Jack White coming out, calling out for the... Uh, the, the different companies to start making records again. I did see that. <clears throat> yeah. What do you think? Do you think that's going to have any impact with, with the kind of influence that he has as, as a musician? I think uh, it's a good niche. I, I think they've, uh, they're actually producing a lot more now. You can get records in target. You can go yeah. get, you get a, you get a yeah. vinyl in yeah. target now. So there is that, that they must be <clears throat> selling and they have free record store day. So they're making a big comeback. And I think it's more packaging than anything else. Because mm-hmm. a lot of people will say, well, I just really love, the, and I do too. I love the sound of vinyl, but it's not as good. It's just not. It's not as good as like a, a well-mastered CD. Like it's just yeah. not. But um, the, but the yeah. art is fucking. Well, you need to have the sound system in the player to you go do, along with the Still, the vinyl. it's not going to be, it's, it'll be good. If you like that more pure the sound. sounds more natural. It does. And it's, it's also it's, just, it, it's also just. Good, bro. It depends and on the music. We don't, we also just don't sit around and listen to music anymore like, yeah, like we used to you, you, you know what i mean like mm-hmm. you let you you have like your th- whole setup in your like living room your family room and you actually set that up and that's like what you're doing now we're listening to music while we're at the gym we're listening to music like maybe in the car or a podcast in the car maybe we're listening to it as we're like editing a video or some shit like it's just yeah. no in the 70s people used to sit down in their chair and listen to albums light up a cigarette yeah, and mm-hmm. they wouldn't do mm-hmm. anything else <clears throat> they don't do that but they made it collectible they they've got like you know colored vinyl and yeah the packaging of the record is some of the greatest ever made and it's beautiful art so it, I think it'll st- remain a niche yeah. like everything else. I don't think there will be prominence. I don't think there will be a dominating art form anymore. There will be a bunch of niche art forms, and maybe that's for the best. And something to say about the the super chat there is, I think the the cream rises to the to the top, right? So they're not going to remember the shit Halo series that came out because nobody's right. going to talk about it. No, they're going to remember the good things that came out. The good well, things that like, you pass down, like, it all has to do with how you pass down. Like, like the Godfather. Well, it depends is, on how it is. It to other people. It's got to be like people will remember remember Spider-Man No Way Home. I'm sure it'll get criticized in the future and stuff, but it was a fun right. movie. People will remember it. Godfather just yeah. had its 50th anniversary. I just got the Blu-ray. Right. Uh, it came out when I was three. Mm-hmm. When I was fucking three. It's, it's one of the greatest movies ever made. It's still one of the greatest movies ever made. That has not changed. Same with Lord of the Rings. So, you know, right. uh, we haven't had that in a while. We yeah. haven't. And, I think and, you know be the change you want to be. Yeah. Show mm-hmm. your kids, show people that you know great things that you love. Yes. And that's how things will continue. But then also when we get stuff that are remade all the time and they're not even that good, it makes people want to check out the original before it. So there are yeah. younger generations <laughs> who are still appreciating some things cuz I know a lot of people in the Tomb Raider community who were weren't even born when the original game came out, but after playing the new ones, they dove into the old ones, and then they like the old ones better. Mm-hmm. So that happens too. Yes, How many people watched No Way Home and went, "Who's Tommy McGuire? What is this right. Spider Man? Let me go watch yeah. these old movies." Yeah. Oh, I love these. These are great. Yeah. So it's just, I you think guys the, can bring... the good shit rises to the top, and people yep. will yep. remember. Yeah. You guys can bring all those points up, and those are fair. But obviously, Ghostbusters 2016 is the standard for Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah. it is. <laughs> and what you got to say about that? Can't argue, you know, can't argue. I mean, <laughs> you know, they wanted to. They clearly wanted to move forward with that universe. No one talks about the the 
Bill Murray Ghostbusters. No one's worried about that. No, nope. no, no. It's all about whatever her fucking name is. Well, you're only, yeah, that's you, the you point. Are, is, yeah. You are half right. They they still continue with that marketing to this very day. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that marketing technique. But yeah, but it has though. Yeah. But like that 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 film, you know, like people Ghostbusters will be remembered as Ghostbusters, not that piece right. of shit. You but know? it's just right. it's just the, the weird knock on. Man, and he, obviously you, you're deep rooted in Tomb Raider, right? Uh, so if we if you use Tomb Raider as an example in this case, it's not just somebody buying a Tomb Raider video game. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you know, you you have all the merch and everything that goes along with oh, that. Yeah. T-shirts, posters, uh, figurines, yada 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 yada, and, it, and throughout all these years, and that's what a fan does when a fan yep. gets into. A franchise they pick up all these stuff i mean i've got all the black label tomb raider mm -hmm. stuff down there i've got all the tomb raider games down there i've got lara croft bloody play arts kai figures statues yep. the whole the whole fucking job lot in buckets uh in that room over there i've got the top cow comics i've got you know the comics from from uh mm -hmm. i think it's image was it image who picked it up yes yeah, image uh, image and then there was a recent well i say the recent, dark, Hor about, dark horse got it dark horse mm -hmm. yeah yeah mm -hmm. so uh I, i've got all of those this to me is the short sightedness. I mean, then now let's take Star Wars as an example. Mm -hmm. This is the short sightedness of it all. Because when The Last Jedi came out and The Last Jedi was such a divisive flop, it wasn't just the movie that was a flop. The franchise, the, the, the merchandise died. Yep. yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and I, yeah. <clears throat> Go on. I thousand percent agree because if you look at like Tomb Raider merchandise and stuff, the classic stuff sells more than the reboot stuff and the classic like we haven't had classic tomb raider since 2003 and it mm. still will outsell anything and, and just look at like halloween time and all that kind of stuff how many women are dressing up as reboot lara croft versus classic lara um, it's almost it, it's just such a drastically high amount yeah. that that recognize classic lara and she hasn't even been around in so long but she still has a bigger impact in society I think our own Nina Infinity last Halloween. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. she did. Uh, yeah, she, right, she she did. did uh, she dressed up as Lara, and it was like OG Lara. Yeah, she took, took lots of pictures. She looked great. Mm -hmm. uh, but that, I mean, to me, to me, Lara Croft is khaki shorts. Yep. Turquoise top. Yep. That's mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. Lara Croft. Now you can put, you know, she might have a jacket in one <laughs> bit and not in another. Fight. Right. Boots as well. Yep, nice boots. big fucking boots on, on the holsters. On there. Yeah, yeah, holsters. Yep. That's Lara Croft. Yeah, it's iconic. Uh, it's recognizable. Exactly. But that, but that's a that's a brand, and there's nothing there's nothing wrong with that because right, she spends a lot of time in very hot places. So you know, yep. you don't want to be dressed up like a. I could say yep. words which I won't say. <laughs> but you, you, <laughs> you don't want to be dressed from head to tippy toe. Right. Okay? Yeah. You know, you need you need your skin to breathe. So it's it's in perfect line with what we saw with her uh, in the franchises and, and and like the first Tomb Raider one, two, three, four, and Origins to me were just like, boom, they were fucking great, right? Uh, I mean, so why destroy that? Exactly. And if you just look at the basic fundamentals of character design from like an art perspective or anything like that, you want your character to stand out. And if you if you want someone to remember your character, and I remember seeing, I can't remember where, but uh, back in the day, they were like, okay, picture a shadow of, of your character, just the silhouette. Can you recognize them just based yes. off that? Then you got a yeah. good character. And the problem with what they're doing with female characters now is, is that a lot of them are, they're trying to make them more relatable, but that's not memorable. So if you well, saw like a silhouette. Them. That's yeah. what they're doing. And, and so you're you're creating all these new characters or remaking characters like Lara Croft, who used to have so much impact and was so recognizable around the world. And now she's just so forgettable because they took away was, all of the big things that made her her and made her stand out. It was, I, was it Idos that she first. It uh, was a uh, court. Core Design and uh, was the developer, and Idos was the publisher. Yeah, was the publisher. Yeah, yeah. Right. And uh, didn't was it Ian Livingstone at the time owned Idos? Right, uh, right. Ian Livingstone from Livingstone Jackson Books, the right, uh, right. Games Workshop, and uh, they bought like some kid, some student drew uh, a Lara Croft. And because they said we're looking for this female, right? Uh, you know, da, da, da. and he did this like this this rough design of of Lara. Croft. I sold it to fifty quid, and they oh, took wow. that design and they you know they tweaked it and they changed it a bit. 
right. But Toby Maguire? You know, is that who you're talking about? Toby? Who, like, created her? Or, like, her design? Her, it's just some student. Just some regular, oh. just some student oh. dude. Oh! Oh, uh, I fifth, heard just about fifth, that. and the, yeah, that he he put this design together, approached Idos with it, or whatever they they, well, they were saying, you know, we're looking for something like this, and they said, oh yeah, like we like your design, we'll buy the, that likeness off you for fifty quid. <laughs> and that's that's how that. that's how Good Lara investment. got uh, birth. Yeah, well, for them, yeah, sure. Uh, wow. But now she, you know, we got this. Yeah. Schizo- God. Tank top wearing. It's like James Bond now, isn't it? It's, just, it's, just, it's sort of just this broken character, right? Mm. And and the thing that that I appreciate about classic Lara Croft is that they weren't they weren't so preoccupied with trying to make her some perfect hero. Mm-hmm. They they she there were so many things that she did that were so questionable. But she she had selfish ambition. She was kind of mm-hmm. like an anti-hero of sorts. She did what she wanted because she wanted to. And sometimes if that aligned with with being a good and noble thing and that happened to work for her, she was going to do it. Um but she didn't go out of her way to try to be a hero and and she now, raids tombs. I yeah. know exactly. You can't <laughs> She's a tomb raider. Exactly. Yeah. That's my thing. Is like you can't create this noble, heroic character yeah, like... and a Tomb Raider at the same time. They can't coexist. Yeah. They, you know. And so now with how what they try to do with Lara Croft is is they want to make her like so goody two shoes hero. I want to help people. I just want to help people. That just goes totally against how she was created to be. You know, I think with the the new. Uh, the, the new recent trilogy that they had, it was right. the, the main problem from the very start was they showed off, I think it's Crystal Dynamics that made the new one, was it? Right. Uh, they, yeah, they showed off um, a small clip it. And they showed off the small clip it where the guy pins her by her neck uh-huh. and and uh, they insinuated that he was going to grace right. her. Yep, yep. And that yep. just caused such a stink uh, um, amongst amongst the journalistic community and uh-huh. whatever. Yeah, I was I so just, into that when they released it. I was I got excited. Right, all of the the interviews and everything talking about this, it's that they wanted to paint Lara Croft as as a victim, and they want the player to want to protect her. And yeah. and you'll see it; they spell it out exactly like that in the interviews. And it's like you're you're taking. Like such an iconically powerful female character and turning her into a victim, and this is supposed to be progressive. Mm, I don't yeah. understand. Well, the whole it. beginning I mean, of I, the I first like, game, I, the whole beginning I, of the first game is her like getting fucked up and you trying to get her out of a situation where she's not on the top. Yeah. I remember well, the original I, games where she was she was in the lead at all times. Oh yeah, she was the one going she, forward. She I, was, I don't. Yep. I, I don't have a problem with them showing her getting like. Uh, getting into a situation, legit getting like over strength, right? Overpowered by someone right, who is physically right. bigger. And I, yeah. I actually think that that's like a yeah. good thing that doesn't happen enough. Right. And that's that's one of the things like watching the Batman that was like, you were worried when Zoe Kravitz, when Catwoman and Batman were facing that she was going to like get the better of him in a physical fight. And he like completely overpowers her, which right. is cool because yeah. you don't see that enough in current day. But yeah, they did right. kind of take it to the next level with it was just constantly with her... Mm-hmm. In, in that position of weakness, I guess. Yeah, I think there's a way to do it. And in the way that classic Lara Croft, what kept her from being a Mary Sue was the fact that she was uh, so A, selfish, and B, um, she was overconfident. And so she was getting herself in trouble all the time with her overconfidence. She would do yeah. things that were just purely stupid because she don't think first. And I loved that. I thought that was fun. And you don't see a lot of female characters character like flaw. that. Yeah, yeah, it's an actual character, character flaw. Though, anyway. Yeah, it's yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, when it when it dealt with the, the the origins game in itself, you know, she she had a bit of a dodgy upbringing anyway. Right. Uh, when it when it tapped into the uh, the slightly younger Lara, so yeah, it it just frustrates that you have such great characters that have been done well mm-hmm. and very well in the past, and due to and it is, it's due to current day ideology yep. uh, that we can't have those those legitimate strong female characters back. Right. Well, I think and we have Lara a strong female character has, right here. 
opportunity. No, no, no. Master no, 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 powerful no. image, yeah. <laughs> No, 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 no. Such a powerful image. <laughs> so powerful. I didn't know Time Amazon had that. Time to get underground and mine that stuff. Paramounted. <sighs> Amazon's Just get my daily dose sorry. of melanin and before we go back underground. It takes a while to stuff that fro into the helmet, though. I was just difficult. about to ask, how does it all fit in there? <laughs> it takes a while. It's a work in progress. Yeah. I was looking you at, don't need no helmet. I was looking at Michael Malice's uh, poll on Twitter. This is a pretty good one. Not the Seinfeld one, but the one before that. You're so looking was, at his poll, were you? Which, I was looking at his poll. <laughs> uh, which of these people would be you consider the most evil? Uh, Vladimir Ooh. Putin, Jeffrey Epstein, Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump. Epstein. Epstein for sure. Epstein. Yeah, he is yeah. losing to Hillary Clinton. Forty-eight. I mean, that's a tight race. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> yeah. To Hillary Clinton. I'm not that surprised by that. So I like, don't know how many kids she's diddled. You know, uh, I know Epstein right, definitely right. did. So probably killed a bunch. How many people Epstein. she's killed? Yeah, yeah I think it's yeah. killing. Yeah. Diddling's bad. Killing's only slightly worse than diddling, unless you diddled and killed. Uh, how many options can we take? Well, it's, it's, I mean, it's, I mean, it's, Hillary's just a bitch. Hillary is he, winning he or losing. Children. That's a, at 48.6%. Um, uh, the island owner is 41.8%. Putin at 9.1%. And Trump is at 0.5%. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. But yet, so he's the worst. That's the only reason I bring it up is, yeah, that was the Let's hope to Biden's laptop on that. <laughs> Yeah, what about that one? Uh, it's, I think it's like 60 or 70% of Americans think it's kind of an important issue. So that's, that's the last poll I saw. Yeah. Kind of an important Almost issue. like we had all of the information back during the election. I know. Like, oh, we don't want to talk about <laughs> it. Whoops. Almost like it would have made a difference in the outcome. Who knows? Who knows? Fortification, <laughs> y'all. Know. Yeah. Knows. You beat me to it. Fortification. Fortification. So we need to do our own fortifying. That's what I say. That's what I say. Uh, the Waltman four for forty nine ninety nine. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. The Waltman. Uh -huh. uh, so when will Friday Night Tights, Geeks and Gamers, and Midnight's Edge, etc., Kickstarter their own shaving companies or beer companies? Uh, well, I don't think any of us would use Kickstarter for one. Just for starters, I wouldn't. Yeah. Um, no. I would use my own. I mean, website. I, it yeah, I, I would I would work on and I you know we and we are ta have talked about that. I would work on building my own infrastructure into geeksgamers.com to to do something much like what Rip is doing, yep. you know, with the Riververse. Um and and that's a big that's a big, you know, project obviously to undertake, but it's something I've I've considered. Um and I've had people ask me about crowdfunding a lot of stuff and I'm not against crowdfunding at all. For for me though, I'm a little reluctant to do it because our like and maybe it's a, the wrong way to look at it i don't know but our audience and i speak to all of us you know not just like my audience on geek and gamers channel all of our audiences have done such an incredible job of giving us so many opportunities that none of us would ever have dreamed were possible and you don't want to ask people for for money for another project uh but maybe that's short-sighted of me you know maybe we should consider projects I, like that for next time but i i just i'm not comfortable with it at this point yeah i i agree with you jeremy i think if it's yeah. something you're doing or if it's a it's somebody who's been a geeks and gamer supporter for a long time you know that's something you think about you know it's just an individual mm -hmm. case you can't you can't do it with everyone i mean and it's like it's like yeah. having a guest on friday night tights or tuesday night made event not everyone is going to get on I, I wish but like it's just not going to happen that's because we're again uh, just to repeat we're just regular fucking idiots i am an idiot mm -hmm. so i am just uh, constantly juggling stuff and i feel yeah. the exact same way like something with eric eric's our friend we're going to support eric eric's nice I, I like i like what he's doing um but you know there's a lot of people i know who have crowdfunded projects that uh you know what i've done i funded them i gave them money that, that's usually how i do it as i just support it i'll just throw some money at it uh, because yeah. uh, it's a shared audience. It's a shared audience. And um, they come, uh, you know, I figure people go to Geeks and Gamers, uh, Tuesday night's main event, Friday night tights, real BBC, whatever live streams we're doing for entertainment. Not to be 
you know, I think that's part of the you you like. There's already commercials on YouTube, and I'm try, I try to keep them at a bare minimum here with like coffee, or I'm gonna help one of you guys out, of course, with whatever you're doing. But like that, yeah, and and plus, who's got fucking time to make razors? I, I don't have time yeah, to make razors. Like <laughs> this is this is like a this is a signal to everybody, like like what Jeremy Boring is doing, and the fact that Harry's dropped them, right? Dropped their sponsorship of him. He's making a point. He's sending a message. Mm -hmm. uh, they have the capability of doing that. They obviously have the time and the resources, the infrastructure. F for us, it's like. Yeah, it, it almost gets tiring sometimes waking up when everyone's like, oh, I guess we can't use Wonder Bread anymore. They they put a black bar on their social media. Oh, I guess we, we can't drink Coke anymore. You know, we 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 do what we can when we can. You know Choose what I mean? Your we, we, well, we, we can't Choose create an battles. alternative for yeah. every single thing but we, that we exists. We do have plushies coming. And yeah, that will plushies be. are good. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the Jeremy... Through the website. The, the, I and think the Jeremy's have, Razor the, the, idea the way, is yeah. fucking awesome. It is absolutely brilliant, and uh, if I ever shave again, I will buy them from Jeremy's. I will not buy them from Harry's. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and everybody, and, and, everybody, everybody do what, you, what you're best at. You know, what Thank you're you, best though. at is I, making well, hang on, content for, for you guys. I don't want to sound ungrateful. I mean, that's people asking for us. I'm like, I, I'm not going to make incredible. beer. I am obviously not going to yeah. make beer. Maybe Ryan makes beer. And, right. like, we're super grateful that you guys want to support us. Oh. That is, And, like, the coffee is, like, my thing. Like, I drink coffee. I love coffee. I'm addicted to coffee. I drink it every day, multiple times a day. Can't you fucking tell? Uh, so thank yeah. you for buying the coffee <laughs> from Geek Grind. I really appreciate it. I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but, like, yeah, uh, it's – I think once in a while, sure, and if you guys are willing to support it, just I think we all want you to know that like we're not going to take you for granted. Okay, that's that's just yeah. it. Like uh, it's quality over it. quantity. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quality yeah. over well, quantity. That's that's it because I mean, ultimately, and look what Daily Wire did and what uh, Jeremy over at Daily Wire did, uh, absolutely incredible. If Epic. you listen to it, like it took him a year to pull all of that together. I watched With that commercial his four times. In a yeah, row. With his with his <laughs> resources, it. with his money, which is far more money than any of us have. Yeah. I mean, the Daily Wire is a mega, mega company. And it still took him a year from the moment that Harry basically told him to go F themselves. It took him a year to kind of pull all that together. And that guy has a lot more connections than any of us. So, you know, the way I do it, like, I, and I don't even talk about it that much, like in terms of like the, the options, like I just basically with our premium membership on the website, I basically said, you can give me a minimum of 10 a month or you can give me 10,000 a month. But I don't it's I, I just, that's your option. But I don't sit there and, sp and spend every day talking about it because the audience does enough for us. The fact that as can sit there and stream Elden Ring for. 22 straight hours or whatever the fuck he did you know <laughs> and and you've got seven eight hundred and nine hundred thousand people watching you know huh that's just two shows yeah that's just yeah. two shows it's so it's so <laughs> it's trust me parts uh, out there yeah, just none of none of us thought we'd be here none of us think we deserve what we have and we're all thankful for every single second of it so anybody that wants to cancel us, trust us we are way ahead of where we thought we'd be yeah anyway. yeah so it's all gravy it all now uh, you know, so, I mean, we're just thankful. And, and again, maybe we do need to uh, at times and be aware of maybe there are other options. And at the end of the day, if you guys voice it enough, we're going to listen. If, if we continue to hear you say, hey, we wanted this, we want that. And I, I say, I don't have the money or the resources to do that. Well, then, Jeremy, build this and we'll help you fund it. Then you say it enough. We'll listen yep. and, and we'll look mm -hmm. at it. Your voices are ultimately the most you want pillows thing. we'll give you pillows damn right body yeah look you asked for pillows. you asked for racism me and gary we scoured the country we, we, we found we found the best we found the best we did we travel coast to coast we travel coast to coast we did the scientific experiments we did the science we did the math we even asked asian people and uh, I, I imagine if he did state. some sort of yes. like mathematical equation like try to get a computer to make what a racist looks like it would be me it would, <laughs> <laughs> it would. flag on your t-shirt right ryan, Look, dude, ryan, hold on. ryan, ryan find ryan find that picture that we took him no There's no shades. no find the one yep 
<laughs> oh, you're talking about the Matt the Damon fact. one? <laughs> yes. Well, I mean, like, God, when were we in Vegas? Ryan, no, that was Boston. Uh, that was Boston. Ryan, you know, with Ryan gone, I just see a fat. A close second is a close second is Nick Ricada. Okay, I'm just gonna say that's a yeah. Close well, second. we look really similar. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, I got a hat up there. Hold on. <laughs> it, it's it's. It's really nice not to work for, I mean, like we work on a corporation's platform, but uh, I, we don't have to deal with any of the corporate bullshit of working for a corporate. I'm sure we've all worked for corporations at one point in our life mm -hmm. and uh, I don't yeah. fucking yeah. miss it at all. It was, uh, it's, it's so it's like, thank you for allowing us to do this. It's been the greatest gig mm. ever. Seriously. Yes. Yep. Uh, yeah. The I'm, greatest gig ever or ever. 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 This is legit, though, the bestest ever. It really, it really is. is. It is. And you guys do afford us to do it. And that's, that's, uh, like I said, just the, to me, the waking up, just the waking up, being excited to do something, uh, not waking up with that, that dread, oh, fuck, I've got to get ready for work. Uh, having not, to be able to, yeah. to wake up not to any of that anymore, it's, priceless it's absolutely priceless jeremy said you know playing elden ring shouting screaming teddy tantrums elations going through all the all of it like eight nine hundred people just watching it like virtually mm -hmm. every single stream it's it's not blows our minds Blo yeah, dude crazy. i've been playing i've been playing mario kart since 1992 on the super nintendo i get to play mario kart every sunday we peaked at 1750 people watching us on the youtube channel last what like the fact that I can have twenty yeah. people watch me play Mario Kart blows my mind. The fact that we have that many people, my life is great. It's incredible. It's it's and that's all because of you. That's just insane to me. So, I maybe we need to do more though because I think we do have uh, we have such a huge you know opportunity and and people are wanting oh. something to support and they want us to take things to the next level. Your words. Those are what we're listening to. That's why this conversation is even happening in the first place. What the hell, Ryan? He's a fan. He's a fan. He's been there the whole time. I got my plate carriers. What do you want? I got my plate carrier ready to that go. That looks like a baby so. Bjorn. <laughs> Unless I can hold Harley right in there. Oh. No, there's no room for that fucking piece of shit. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. That all the time. Uh, I mean, you ever I'm, wear that shirtless? No, I've never worn it shirtless. Yes, but he has. I mean, I would. He's a liar. If, if like everything goes to <laughs> shit and I'm just fucking rolling around, yeah, everyone else Dude, is dead. Be no, the I'll next do it. Roman Reigns is that the proper Halo <laughs> show. Come on. Uh, okay. That's, that's uh, your new theme music. We, is the Roman, the old the Roman Reigns Halo theme. Show. <clears throat> Oh, the sh yeah, yeah, Bad and the shield, shield days, yep. yeah. Can you do that? Right. Do I look racist enough yet? I can grab a gun if you want. No, you look proper. Yeah, you gotta have a gun you in the proper. area. Quartering's good the friends. The quartering's <laughs> good friends. Yes. That's right. Someone needs to just take this picture of me and put it in a little circle to make it in the people who hate Colin oh, Kaepernick. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there you go. Colin Kaepernick doesn't belong in the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, no, I'm like okay, the guy that's uh, walking through the crowd going, whoa, if I were you, I'd get all mad and start smashing some shit up. Uh, that'd be terrible if you did Why that. don't we go inside yeah. the building? Um, I, I, yeah. Yeah. I'm a medic. Does anybody need a medic? <laughs> Any, anybody need medical uh, yeah. attention? You're missing the gloves. So, yeah. I'm in Kenosha. <laughs> um, there is, I still have some super chats to get through, but we are at the four hour mark. It's as is bedtime. Wow. Uh, and we, this is where well, we, we get that, early went, today, dude, so that just went by fast. Fun. It did. Yeah, I just want to give anybody who needs to go an opportunity to go now, including our. I got about 30 guest. minutes left. Okay, we can be done in 30 minutes. Well, <laughs> yeah. You always say, oh, yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. <laughs> X-ray girl, remind me in th when it's thirty minutes, and I'll stop, and I'll give remind me in I'll give somebody else another opportunity to leave. Okay, can we do that? Okay, I'll give you I'll give you an extra word. I'll give you an extra word. Is that a good deal? I already used them. You've been, you've been, you've been you so good. Did. She has she has done such a great job this week, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. She's stellar. So she she got a bonus. So we we love it. Sam. <laughs> Actually, the whole uh, Nerd Rock for, team for, for, is fucking killing me. it. Absolutely killing for it. Every, for, 
for every bad decision that Ryan highlights that I make, X-Ray Girl offsets it. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> Hey, let's do an awkward super chat. You want to do an awkward super chat? I want to do an let's awkward do super one. chat. Hey, sure. we read them all, baby. And uh, thank you. We appreciate this. So, honestly, Reckless, for $50, <laughs> hey, Friday Night Tights, is just some guy going to be returning to FNT anytime soon? <laughs> Rumor has it he's banned. From who? From who? Uh, let me finish. Uh, he's okay. ba- He's had some bad takes recently, in my humble opinion, but he's also made some of the best videos I've ever seen. Friday Night Tights welcomes alternative points of view, right? Hail to the fellowship. I don't know where the hell anybody I, I can heard. Tell you, I can tell you where, Gary. There, okay. There's a couple people like uh, on Twitter, whether it's because yeah. they hate me for some reason or they hate Jeremy or they hate all of us for, for whatever. There's some people who are trying to stir up shit and be like, oh, look, uh, the rumor is just some guys out front. Like, that's a fucking joke. First of all, I've said it multiple times. They're like, why are they silent about it? We don't have to talk I, about every little Twitter fight that happens. Have you followed my Twitter? I, I talked, talked about, it, a lot about, talked it. about yeah. it Tuesday night. <laughs> yeah, you know, I've, I've talked about it a couple times on streams. Yeah, I, I vehemently disagree with what yeah. just some guy is saying uh, about the Florida bill. I made that clear, but I also don't think that that's necessary to come and make a declarative statement about something like that. Who the fuck cares? That's his opinion. I disagree mm-hmm. with it. Yeah, I also yeah. watched the fuck out of his Lord of the Rings video that he put out the other day. Like yeah, yeah. everybody. I watch all those videos. We're the same content. group. So, like that, yeah. we don't that have to answer Uche. each other. Wait. Who's the king of bad takes? Yeah, yeah. I oh mean, God. and Uche is the I king mean, of bad on. takes. And uh, but I, uh, for just some guy, as far as my frame of references, I saw what t- what goes down on Twitter. I saw what uh, Quarter Black said and everything. And that's between Quarter Black is an individual. Okay, just some guy is an individual. Horrible takes. Totally disagree. Totally fucking disagree with that. I totally disagreed with his takes about cuties as well. And I still had him on. I still had him on because uh, the interaction I've had with just some guy, I know that he and I behind the scenes could have a conversation about things. Probably disagree and still move on. Yep. Um, mm. I, I know where he's uh, look, coming I, from. I, I, I know. I know. Him. Hang on. I know where just some guy is coming. I, I don't didn't like some of the rhetoric. I thought that was kind of dumb. But, you know, I would tell him that. I would tell him that. But. Uh, I know that just some guy is not uh, a diddler or a groomer. I know that for a fact. He's fought against it in multiple cases, multiple cases. And you might want to, you know, he hasn't talked about what he does for a living, and I'm not going to say what it is here. But it's it's not, he's just taken a very uh, interesting point of view on this one and probably got his heels dug in, and we all get, we all, that all happens. Remember the, remember the felonying? Does anybody remember the felonying? Uh, on this, yeah, on apparently, this. me and Az hated each other yeah. to the point where <laughs> yeah. we were like, "Really? Okay, let's go on a live stream and <laughs> yeah. pretend we hate each other for a few was minutes." Over. We're just cool. We're absolutely well. There we go. I think halfway through the stream, we're cool with each other. <laughs> and look, so I I had a disagreement with just some guy. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I yeah. I don't have any hate for di- just some guy. I fucking love just some guy. I have a lot of respect for just some guy. He can have a bad opinion. In my opinion, I think it's a horrible opinion, but that's fine from his point of view. I don't give a shit. Like, we can, I've had him on my channel. We've talked about movies. I fucking do it again. I like just some guy. I don't know if he likes me. I, he hasn't talked to me at all. I may be a homophobe, but that's, that's up to him. <laughs> I have no problem with just some guy. I think he's still good. He still has a lot of fucking great things to say I, about I, Lord of the Rings and comic books, and he's really smart. I, One bad I, take is not going to yeah, make me yeah. hate somebody. And I don't like, I'm, not, like a, I'm not a fucking on, SJW. I feel like what's going on with him, and I can't speak to this directly. I mean, I haven't spoken with him, but I'm cool with him, as I said, you know, when I was when this brought up on Tuesday. But I have no problems with him. He's got some opinions that I yeah. viciously disagree with. But I kind of, and again, this is speculation on my part, so I'm not speaking for him. I feel like what's happening is that he's kind of like his takes are obviously so drastically different from the base audience that he has. And I feel like he's getting a lot of resistance. So he's kind of just really going hard on doubling and tripling down on the position. And that's kind of what you do when you get a lot of resistance upon your opinion. You kind of your 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 kind of first instinct is to just be like, oh, fuck that. All these motherfuckers are coming after me. I'm going to you know, I, I feel like mm-hmm. that's what he's doing. But. I remember the whole Rakeda thing that happened, you know, when him and Rakeda got into it on Flashcast a long time ago. And, mm. you know, those were some really like those were some uh, 
did not agree with anything he was saying in that instance, and I fully a- agreed with Nick Ricada. Yep. But it yep. didn't change my opinion of him, and it's not going to. And again, uh, <laughs> Odin's already said it. Uh, Uche, <laughs> you yeah. know, he's on he's on the Geeks and Gamers team. I think Uche's even been up in Melanie Max comments before, like aggravating her. You know, like mm-hmm. that's just Uche's that a doesn't Uche. sound like Uche. So, so. No, no, yeah, <laughs> that definitely doesn't. Sound. Uche's <laughs> Uche, essentially Uche, a Uche's actually. Flag. Uche's actually uh, African for fucking retarded. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so but uh, U- Uche's my uh, he's on he's uh, he's my boy. He's on my team, and I'll I'll stand by his opinion, his his ability to have his own opinions. Mm-hmm. And we are not that in our yeah. world. We are, bro. That's a bad fucking take. But I don't. I'm not it's responsible not for anybody else's opinions. It's not opinions. It's who yeah. you are. It's right. not opinions, it's, it, it, it's who it, it, you are. And I think, because right. like I see a lot of people saying a lot of different things in the chat, it's like, it's who you are, it's not just what your opinion is. It, it's, yeah, I'm not, I'm, yeah. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I, I, I listen, there was some rhetoric that was uh, not good, not good that he said, okay, because that's the kind of stuff that's been thrown at him, and he needs to remember that. Yeah. Uh, throwing that oh, rhetoric it's, around, it's bad. It's bad. So, like, whatever you guys have, I mean, your opinion out there is your opinion. I respect it. Um, but as far as this show goes, it's one week at a time. I I am very rarely choosing the guests for this show. Uh, and, you know, not everybody gets along. And if I, I promise you this, I'll always have good reasons. Uh, but I'm willing to talk to most everybody. Uh, there's some people I won't. Sure, I won't. I have no time for, like, a, a pedo. I have no time for pedo at all. Right. I have no time for that bullshit. Sorry, I Vito, to... you're out. Yeah, I have no time for it oh. ever. Uh, but, yes. like, uh, you know, that's that's a rare occurrence. That's a guy who tried to, that's a hypocrite piece of shit who tried to take down my channel and then ended up on InfoWars the very next, uh, within, what, 72 huh. hours? So, yeah, that's that's yeah. a rare case. Um, Whatever, uh, any issues, I uh, like, I'm not going to publicize my real issues with people. I just don't talk about yep. it. Yep. So <laughs> that's really what that's it comes it. down to. Other, other people choose to publicize it. That's fine. That's their business. It's one-sided most of the time, right, Jeremy? Yeah. It's one-sided so, yeah. most of the time. I'm here yeah. to talk about Hollywood. So that's it. Yes, yeah. and I, I can tell you that there, there's always going to be people, whether it's because they they think that they deserve a spot at the table, or whether it's because they think that oh, this guy's fake or this guy's phony. There are people that are mad and just want to stir shit and split people up. Yep. Yeah. That, that just exists. It always will exist. It exists in real life. It exists online even more so. So you just kind of got to They have no place to roll that. with it. Got to roll. Yeah. Like yeah. That, that's yeah. The, the, for one, that's not what this show is not going to talk about. Like other YouTubers, I'll ask a question. I'll be honest. Uh, but like, honestly, I did the just some guy thing. Like yeah. the last two arguments he had with Ricada that uh, he died. Just fucking wait till it's over because uh, I just disagree. Um, and I can't wreck him any more than he's already wrecking himself in all of the fucking tweets. Yeah. That so is true. <laughs> I can't ratio him harder than he's ratioing yep. himself. I, usually, I don't think you oh. can. I don't. Well, I don't think he can wreck himself as bad as is Ricardo wrecked him. <laughs> oh, dude, and desk, Cecil. Was, yeah. Cecil got him pretty good. Uh, Cecil. Yeah, oh my goodness, Ended what it. Cecil did was that was like. You know, that's kind of what Cecil did is what Star Wars should have done. It just should have ended right then and there, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> like because that's that's it right there. So we're going to we're going to take we're going to take what Star Wars should have done with George Lucas's story. And so Cecil ended everything <laughs> yes, with he that did. conversation. <laughs> uh, but thank you for the super yeah. chat. Thank you for the donation, by the way. Um, circumventing Mama Susan uh, Lane from Canada for 50 Canadian pesos. Thank you very much. <laughs> Says the Gillette ad is gone. I took a screenshot November 10th. For a ratio montage when YouTube canceled the dislike counter. Uh, so th- is that true? Wow. I'll have a look. Uh, that's, that's, that's good. Uh, Odin, what's your Bible version? I'm old school King Jimmy. Also, you might like my I, YouTube I series, it. The Drunk Creationist. Drunk Creationist, I have not heard of them, but I use the uh, good old, it's the Dewey Reams translation. It's about the closest to the uh, original uh latin uh vulgate that you can get so good and solid uh inflation. yeah holy shit uh, k biz uh did you get the yeah i just got K-Biz? it biz uh, okay uh, holy shit shit dude it, it's still there but it's not on gillette's site on gillette's page so gillette uh, took it off their site i'm gonna jump into gillette's let's get this to k biz real quick k biz holy shit man 
299.99. Says Bravo, Jeremy. Wow. Well said. I agree. I agree. Thank you, KBiz. Oh, KBiz is awesome. Yeah. KBiz is, is, a, is amazing. Amazing support. And yeah, I mean, that's, I just, we, we really do appreciate each and every one of you. We, we are, is, we are as shocked we're here as, as anyone else. So. Yeah. Especially me. <laughs> uh, my, no, like, my wife is shocked every fucking day. She's like, what the uh, fuck? And I'm like, <laughs> do, do you remember when uh, we were like talking about us associated to the quarter? And do you remember the first time quarter was on this show? And he was like, Ryan, you got to calm down a little bit. Uh, <laughs> hey, remember when you uh, you made Anthony Cumia cringe before a show? <laughs> yeah, I did. I, I told a joke that was so edgy that Kumi was like, "Oh my god!" Oh. Uh, that was that yeah. was like one of my accomplishments in my life, right there. Like, that, that has to rank up there. And, yeah. and considering um, him and Gavin McGinnis uh, about two days ago had an epic show, fucking epic show. One of, like I. It was like 2016. Gavin McGinnis was great. He was ripping fucking Howard Stern for like a half an hour. I was loving every minute of Good. it. I have to watch that. And then Gavin McGinnis, uh, Gavin McGinnis wore fucking Depends on the show, so he didn't have to go and pee. <laughs> so he was, oh my god! Yes. Ew! Yes. He's such a weirdo. <laughs> He's such a fucking weirdo. I like that, love that guy. Uh, all the gel- <laughs> all the the trans advert, the toxic male advert, they are gone from the Gillette. It's true. I do have black wow. friends. Let's put it out there. That's that's. Yeah. Is that progress or is that just like the, the ads old? But what? Okay. Are there other <laughs> old ads on Gillette site? No. There's. Uh, if you go onto their YouTube channel, there's. They got stuff from five years ago. Oh, okay. Uh, and more. So they they have been specifically deleted. Wow. Mm. Wow. Curious. Wow. I mean, the, it only wow. knocked wow. eight. Wow. It only knocked $8 billion off their stock value. That's all. Have they recovered? Well, the CEO said it was worth it. And then the, probably the ball went, go fuck yourself, bitch. We need to sell razors. <laughs> Imagine wiping off $8 billion from your share price. <laughs> because you wanted to do a, yeah. a fucking toxic male advert because you wanted to go to your fucking yeah. base and say sexist it's, yeah. al- it's almost like <laughs> disney like that completely ignoring response. parents rights you know it's crazy <sighs> oh wow oh it's well be boys well i'm supposed to pre-weed pre-weed oh, god man. pre-weed this pre-weed, pre-weed. This this sounds like the, you already did it's all the fucking <laughs> weed i smoked trust me load. Okay. uh X-ray girl, I love you looking out for me. It says pre-read next one. Not sure if it's okay. It's from Cunderthunt for fifty dollars. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm gonna get Krista to read that a super chat from that account if it ever comes Cund- in on Geeks and Gamers. Cunderthunt. <laughs> That's a cute name, Cunderthunt. I like that. Is that a magical nice. creature? I like that yep. name. It's in Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry Potter. Buckbeak the Cunderthun. <laughs> oh. uh, here is fifty dollars from I my fell in love with a Cunderthun. Here is 50... hello everyone. Here is fifty dollars for my broke ass that would have gone to my cable bill. TV sucks. The internet is slowly starting to suck. Pineapple on pizza is wrong, but no, uh, but do fact. black olives These are matter? Facts. But do black olives matter? And it's all lives matter. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of thought, thank you. Okay. What do you yes. not okay, know about we, that? We need what's to. Unsure about that. The, yeah, what's the pineapple about thing. You, have, yeah. Have Black you ever listened matter? to the show, X-Ray Girl? Like that was that was hey, too far. She's away. looking out. Don't you know? It's better, better safe than sorry. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what was that? What was that noise? What was that? I would like. I would like to apologize. <laughs> I'd like to apologize to the audience right, for all up. the girl noises we've gotten from the babies <laughs> and the squeals and stuff. Bring your baby back. My baby was we're, quiet. Okay. We, we need the one making baby noises. We need Melanie yeah. Max opinion mm-hmm. on pineapple on pizza. Oh, <gasps> oh yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I love it. Yes. I, yes! She's coming back. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Woo. We've had two calls. Oh, 
Yeah. No, 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 no. We've had right. two yeah. polls, and both have shown that pineapple that pizza is not is poll wrong. Poll wrong. Is <laughs> Melanie, <laughs> Melanie, totally Melanie doesn't count because Melanie's whoa, 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 whoa. diet is. Something so collectionist. I think we need a Florida. What's her diet? This. What? It's leafy or something? Yeah, yeah probably. Well, me, well, oh. No, Melanie. No, it's all meat. So the fact yeah, that so whenever there's a possibility for her to get fruit, she's gonna want to take that like all natural sugar. So right. <laughs> Well, yeah, but even before I started carnivore diet, I still I love it. pineapple. On <laughs> yes. Yeah, I thought I had like an argument. See, I'd win she right is. There. She has yeah, a thing. You know. No, she has a thing called culture. Uh, okay, it's okay to have a little uh, culture. You can remove yourself uh, from the kitty table no. eventually. No. No. Order a no. fucking pepperoni no. peach just to counteract what? this Whatever. garbage right Simpleton. now. Simpleton, <laughs> better have pineapple on it. Oh, gonna, right. show, I, I might go to the place wearing this, see what they go say. Get your, <laughs> go get your chicken <laughs> nuggies. <laughs> go get your chicken <laughs> nuggies in your juice box, today, Ryan. So. <laughs> I'm in Florida. I wouldn't get arrested for this. <laughs> uh, uh, DeSantis well, may give him a medal of freedom for that. He so might. Uh, he he's going to declare me the winner of a, of a swim race or something. <laughs> there you go. Here's one for you, buddy. Just like the way you're dressed. DeSantis does walk a little bit like Vince McMahon. A, just he's, got the, he's, got the like fruit walk. he's got that grapefruit wall. He's got that grapefruit wall. Yeah. No um, chance. Holy shit. K, <laughs> K Biz is losing. K Biz. K Biz. K Biz on the Streamlab side. Holy shit. Three. Hundred dollars. My favorite crew on Friday Night Tights. Get it. Get it. Thank you. And then another hundred dollars. And he says, Happy birthday, Krista. I'm gonna forward that to Krista. Then we'll give it to that'll be a Krista present there. I'll be your Krista. I I would have kept it. Uh, (laughs) I I know you would have. I mean send her a card. I am (laughs) He was just talking about the text. Happy birthday. I should do that. I was talking about the money. uh, (laughs) Right after this, we're just gonna go live. Krista Nova's birthday. Do a birthday stream (laughs) for Krista. She's not there. (laughs) Keep it all. We were streaming the other day. That's what we did with Mark. It was X Ray Girl's husband, Mark's birthday. And we were just (laughs) milking (laughs) him for super (laughs) chats. Happy birthday, Mark. Happy birthday, Mark. So everyone kept super chatting us going, Happy birthday, Mark. uh, And we go, Happy birthday. I mean, a small fortune was great. Unfortunately, we can't do like hundred dollar shots on this live stream, you know, because for obvious. I mean, you guys could. I I wouldn't care. You know what? When is Brie Lars's birthday? I'm yeah. gonna go live on her birthday. That's a good and, idea. And oh, tons of super no. chat, dude. Jeremy, <laughs> Jeremy, <laughs> Jeremy, no wait. Jeremy, for one, I missed uh, I missed Rubens there. Could you? Oh, there's Rubens. But uh, Jeremy, dude, how come you did not make a video October first on her NFT I, and her fucking me, uh, meta whatever the fuck that is? Like I, I did. I'm like, what I'm, the fuck? I know. I'm waiting I know. I by limited. my computer. I got limited. My- Creatively, I am I'm trying to do some different stuff, and I am missing out on a lot of shit right now. I know that. Hell, cool. most of the videos I'm uploading are just like clips from main event. Like I'm not even make I hardly make videos anymore. But is I it will. Elden I Ring? Will. I will. Is it Elden Ring? Be Je- Je- no, Jeremy. Oh, Jeremy oh, told me he feels he feels all. shame <laughs> for all the women that he's attacked uh, in the lifetime <laughs> of geeks and gamers. He's trying to fix his image. It's so. atonement. That's what he's doing. Okay. Uh, yeah. You know, I'm trying to hey. I'm trying to turn it around. So there's yeah. a there's a great guy out there that we've uh who, who we've met at meetups, big time supporters. Name's Ruben Christopher. Haynes. Ruben, what's up, Ruben? Ruben, Ruben. thanks for the hundred dollars, yeah. buddy. Ruben, we love Ruben. Show. Oh, he did. Oh, that's oh. awesome. I'm nice. glad he made Dude, it. Dude, he makes it to all the shows, and like it's He's not. That's... Yep. I didn't even make it to Tampa, and I know Chrissy. And and it's not. Easy for Ruben, so it makes you a, yeah. kind of a double pussy, uh, Ryan. I know. <laughs> wow. Double pussy. Uh, big media Double-a-pussy. wants. pussy. <laughs> big media wants to kill our heroes, but my heroes are real. I stream with my heroes. Uh, my hero, the ex-con. My hero, the <laughs> forklift trainer. My hero, the nuclear engineer. My hero, the retail worker. My hero, the teacher. My hero, the X-ray tech. My hero, the comic. My heroes, the fellowship on Friday Night Tights. Oh, that is nice, man. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thanks, man. I got something. Forklift eyes, shout out. I'm feeling that. That's what I'm talking hey. about. Forklift right. drivers' lives matter. That's right. So there was we one, do. Yeah, there was one forklift and there was one retail. And there was retail. So they, I don't know who the retail Jeremy? Was that both me? 
I don't know. So that, I'm the only forklift trainer here. Well, comic I literally got into an argument on my Sunday stream with somebody who was trying to argue about nuclear power with me. It really fucking pissed me off. Oh, I'll argue <laughs> with you. What's, are you for or against it? He's for. I'm, 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 I'm for it. I'm absolutely I'm right, for man. it. Yeah. That's the only correct opinion. It's the only way. Yeah. Yeah. I am for it as well. I lived next to a fucking two giant nuclear tits my entire life. I'm perfect. See, I'm perfectly normal. <laughs> Look how it turned out. <laughs> I come from Chernobyl. I, I don't like it. <laughs> I have three arms. Yeah, but it's like, don't, don't fucking, like, don't come and argue with me and try to argue about safety statistics regarding nuclear power. It's, that's what I fucking did that's for 11 job. years. That's his job. Yeah, like, please. Did you bond Especially with it Especially when their the stats DNA are from, level. like, decades ago. Uh, yeah. Comics Division doesn't usually talk about his profession. Uh, Keebler Elf. And he works in a tree. Makes cookies. Yeah. <laughs> makes cookies pretty good. God pretty damn good it. Cookies. Gary, why did you, why did you dox me, dude? I totally doxed you, dude. <laughs> yeah. I love your crackers. You need yeah, to share you. the cookies. Wow! Can you stop being <laughs> racist for just one minute? Look at how I'm dressed. <laughs> uh, Equal opportunity races. Yes. Well, that's what you got to be. Uh, is this two parts? I even hate whites. <laughs> I hate everybody. Oh, white people are the worst, especially in prison. They're fucking terrible. Uh, All right, Leo Goldilocks, simmer down. Hey. Dude, that gives me PTSD, bro. I just got him triggered. That was a trigger. That gives me PTSD. I know. I, I cut. <laughs> should be careful in case it does trigger PTSD. I had this long, beautiful, straight, blonde hair. It was like, just like naturally blonde. I look like uh, I just. I don't know. I was a bass player for Soundgarden, but the good-looking one. <laughs> <laughs> but I was, I was in perfect shape too. I, like, it was perfect fucking shape because uh, I don't know the drugs didn't kick in that hard. So, and I was in prison. <laughs> so some guy says, "Hey, Goldilocks, I want to eat your sack lunch." <laughs> that was oh! the first words I heard. Oh! Oh! That's no. when Gary cut his hair and got all the Nazi tattoos. <laughs> yep. So did he, uh, did he Just a bit in. Yeah, they're no. all on my skull. They're all under the hair. So yeah, when, when, <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, that's why it, that's why he's got the beard. Yeah, like that, that'd be so funny if Gary shaved it was literally just all just like prison tats. <laughs> <laughs> I got a couple left. I got, I got a couple uh, like that one. Yeah, but uh, yeah. You hid that pretty quickly. You were like, "Oh, maybe I should." Like, that one. like this one. <laughs> I have a. I I did a tattoo over one of them because it was pretty awful. Uh, that that's a story <laughs> us, for another more. story like for another it, day. It was like offensive and bad, story or it just time. looked like shit. Well, a little both. It looked like shit, okay. and it was offensively bad looking like shit because it was done in prison. So, <laughs> uh, Leo Fisher for $50, Washington at Valley Forge 2024 remake. Whole movie at Mount Vernon where every 250-pound black female actress speaks Detroit. A gab, where, dat, whitey, George. More complaints, Chris. Meeting with Martha. Reads George's letter. Final complaints end. So that's the George Washington story from Leo Fisher for fifty dollars. Can't wait! Can't wait! Well, apparently, according to Vikings, uh, there's a black Viking queen, uh, and there was, yeah. a, and, and all of a sudden, according to biologists out there, or whatever, there's there was all kinds of uh, diversity back in the Viking days. Although I just completely missed my bloodline. Crazy. Like hmm. I, I did the twenty three and me, not a, not not a trace. Not a just, as you can the see, the white line is pretty aggressive. They can take out the black, you know. Only a right. couple lines down, where they they're gone. only just discover this now in a in a uh, woke, uh, identitarian uh, world that we live in. Just crazy that suddenly somehow, ah, did you know Scandinavians are black? Lots, lots of them, lots yeah. of them, wow. just out of nowhere. Splat. Well, yeah. they're taking what some is... really obscure references and they're trying to apply that to justify it. Is yeah. Oh, issue. I know. Well, I, we, and I think there's also a difference just... between a, a random black person being found in Scandinavia who may have been like taken as a slave or who, who yep. the fuck knows Which what happened, happened right? Sure happened. And then, and then between that do. and then literally making them the fucking leader of like this town in Scandinavia in your fucking Netflix movie. You know well, what I mean? And not just a leader in this show, in an actual real life historical character who was a white man it was, was a white, white man he was yeah. a yarl but this is a, so, a middle so. a middle ages uh, woke <laughs> progressive 
a non rapey that's the main thing uh it wasn't non they had rape studies apparently oh uh, that's what i heard <laughs> that was my rape minor studies. in college ah. <laughs> oh <my laughs> expert what's the this, vikings this this okay. Viking village had yeah. grape studies and, and gender studies. I don't make the rules. My God, it was just the Middle Ages. That's what they did. Uh, Daniel Zamansky for 150 shekels. Zamansky? Zamansky. 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 Z A M A N S K I. I want to go to Israel sometime. Hey, I really Zamansky. Do. Um, hail y'all. I first saw Melanie on Drinker Stream. Her earnestness and overall personality is a breath of fresh air and in increasingly cynical in an increasingly cynical world. I am not even sorry for simping. Even enjoy Aww. the beef jerky money. Ah, oh, that's good. Thank you. Hey, if you're gonna do something, don't apologize, right? <laughs> so Jeremy says, don't ever apologize. Oh I, no, I apologize Gary. for this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yes. oh, no, no, that's not right. That is not oh, right. God. Oh, my God. The Gary face. Oh, I mean, can we get an isolated Let's be Gary honest. Face. That's, that's, that's how I felt. Well he looks well. so traumatized. Well done. I'll be real. This that's how I felt. All y'all get, y'all are fucking laughing at my picture, that stupid freeze frame. <laughs> this is what all of you fucking get. I could laugh at it because that's pretty much how I felt after that's I watched it. Doctor Who. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love her I got face. An upgrade. Oh. Look at her face. She's great. She's, oh, she's, she's oh, coming. Yeah. She's coming right now. Look Would at you her. Like what the hell is even that? Macoom face. <laughs> Macoom face. I got one more. Yeah. Times are changing. The ladies can do stuff now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Pegging Carter. What? Were you saying something? Look, I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> Uh, God, remember when comedies were funny? Like Ron yeah. Burgundy, you and remember old Colin school. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's been so long since we, uh, like, comedies, like, well, it's alive. It's just not alive in the mainstream anymore. Uh, what, well, yeah. Amy Schumer, she's presenting the Oscars, Gary. Oh, that's great. Yeah, she got a new yeah. show. It's a comedy. Why yeah. is she's got a, a new vagina joke that what? she's going to test out? <laughs> steal, that she's going to fucking steal. Like why do you guys see see this? That supposedly she has a disorder where she pulls out her hair. Oh, well, wow. is that wait her actually or the character she's playing? No, her. Uh, supposedly she has trichotillomania. Oh well. Wow. Came out on Twitter. I think she <laughs> has. Well, I mean, oh, okay. Maybe she Who converts that cares? to pulling the yeah. fat out or something. Yeah. Be helpful. Is that? Is I, that? Can you please feel sorry for Amy Schumer? Uh, Amy Schumer because yes. she's fucking shit. Oh, I'm gonna watch. And she's Aww. presenting the Oscars tomorrow. I am and she's watching. Gonna be about as funny as a fucking poke in the eye. Every fucking second of this, right I'm gonna watch every fucking second of this god awful piece of shit. Uh, it's gonna be such a train wreck with uh, that trio. That fucking trio. It'll be bad. It'll They're all bad. political activists. It, yep. uh, Amy Schumer said the one person she really is like pushing for, and they even like they talk to the producers, everything. They want to get the president of Ukraine. They want to get Zelensky uh, to make an appearance. Uh, like, uh, how, how much more overtly political can you cares? fucking? Well, get? I mean, Holy Ryan. Shit. I mean, they could. He's he's probably in Los Angeles. He's been well, standing in the <laughs> yeah, Considering all these fucking retards who got tricked into thinking that this dude, he, he was like dressed like me. Uh, like three <laughs> months ago, all these pictures of him, uh, where he, they thought he was actually out on the front lines. He's in a freaking green screen. Yeah, he's in a safe house somewhere. They, he, he ain't worried about a thing. He's fine. Which isn't like bad, like whatever. Yeah, that's kind of what everyone expects. But no, Probably it's all this propaganda. In London as well. That's just the thing. Chrissy, uh, like, okay, Amy Schumer. She, she like, she was, she used to talk to Anthony Cumia. She used to like do like red eye and shit uh so did sarah silverman like back in the day uh, i mean she wasn't like particularly that funny back then either is it, it it must piss you off in so many ways to see somebody so fucking untalented getting so much work still only because she used to make fun of my sister in high school oh really uh, <laughs> oh what a cunt. Amy, yeah no it's all good it's hard to tell it's a, some people there are theories that Amy, Amy, when Amy was like funny during her like, you know, funny phase, that that was a lot of the assistance of her then boyfriend at the time, Anthony Jeselnik, and and there are theories that you know 
after they broke up. It's hard to say like what is the what what is like the real her, but we know that the you know the version that she ultimately sided with was one that you know earned her a lot of success and mainstream attention and money. So it's almost like it doesn't even matter like what the real what the real her is. So it's uh no is it do I get jealous of her success? No, because I wouldn't I wouldn't want that. Like I wouldn't uh, that would never fit. That would never work for me. I'd have to like live a lie every day which i couldn't keep up anyway so yeah i mean if, if people likes her like her like go ahead like earn a living like wish her the best but um no, really. I, it frustrates me when it when people are like when amy schumer is everybody's default example for female comedy and i'm like oh mm. i mean bad. to be fair it's yeah, it's probably kind of the standard for female comedy. <laughs> that's um, most of yeah, it's most yeah. of it. Yeah, now, you're the Chrissy outlier. Is funny as fuck. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, Amy, Amy Schumer. I, I remember Amy Schumer um, on the first time I ever saw Amy Schumer was on the show Red Eye. Yes, when she was yeah. on alongside Steven Crowder, sitting yep. right hmm. next to Steven Crowder on Red Eye, hosted by Greg Gutfeld. That seems like literally decades and decades ago now at this point it's forever you know I mean? ago it seems like wow. a fucking lifetime ago but that's where i first saw her it's just crazy to see how uh i mean even then I, she had some like progressive ideas or, or like whatever but uh it's kind of crazy from where she was then to where she is now yep mm -hmm. and the jokes never change they're just still about her pussy and being fat and unattractive so pulling a hair out and pulling her, have a condition that you pull your hair out. I mean, what oh, if she pulls her pubes out? That could save money. It could. It could. <laughs> I, well, I mean, like, that's yeah. true. Yeah, she can move it from the top <clears throat> to the bottom. Here's the article here. Well, that, the waxing uh, industry was from. devastated during COVID. So, so yeah. Amy Schumer is using her new Hulu drama, dramedy, uh, Life and oh. Beth, to oh. share some of her painful real life struggles. <sighs> uh, see, this yeah, is the only tweet I saw, about. which is why I didn't. I, I thought that it was just her character. In the series, Schumer's character Beth suffers from trichotillomania, a uh, condition that causes people to have compulsive urge to pull out their hair. Although Schumer has been open about her struggles with endometriosis. Lyme disease and having a sex life after giving birth. Well, I don't know if it was after giving birth, more the fact that you tacked on 150 pounds. Uh, oh. She kept her hair pulling problems under wraps until deciding to put them in the show. I think I everybody has a big secret and that's mine, she told The Hollywood Reporter. And I'm proud that my big secret only hurts me, but it's been what I've carried so much shame for for so long. <sighs> Oh Don't my care. fucking Don't god! Hard. What a hard life. I have so a now I'm gonna monetize to vomit it. every time I see you, but you know, there you go. It's That's like it's one thing if someone genuinely comes out with that, but when it's like, yeah, hey, I'm, now I'm gonna monetize it. It's like, shut up, go away. Mm -hmm. She makes Hollywood everyone else want to pull their hair out, so it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Every fucking Hollywood look, we got fucking Megan, what she called, you know, Martin Cucked Harry, oh. who uh, who wants Merkel. to be a, a royal family victim. Yeah, you know, just fuck off. You leave privileged lives. Who cares if you pull your hair up? Just buy a wig, and get some <laughs> therapy, and shut the fuck up. Uh, buy more. I think the key thing is for them to get therapy, big time. Dude, they're they do. Going seven days a week, is they it? do? Yeah. yeah, it just yeah. Uh, yeah, it doesn't help. And it's it's well, they're they're going to therapists that actual therapist. they pay yeah. that they but that they're paying to tell them exactly what they want to hear, which is not actual therapy. No, sure. yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, yeah, I exactly. think it just fuels the narcissism. Yeah. That's all it does. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> hey, geek so line. Let's sit down and talk about me for well, an hour. Luckily, we don't need no. therapy because we're perfect. Let's yeah, <laughs> exactly right. I don't need. Never mind. Um, yeah. <laughs> Lifelong. Let's talk about hey. me, and then we'll make a show about me, and then I'll do a comedy special <laughs> about jokes about me, okay? Oh, my God. <laughs> so Laugh at me. Um, <laughs> shoot me. Uh, geek grind for $100. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn it. Hey. Uh, geek grind. Geek grind. You got the horn. <laughs> special time for you. Wow. Special time. Thank you, Geek Grand Coffee. Uh, all hail the mighty Friday Night Tights cast. We wanted to mention that we have our very fresh nerdrotic all hail blend ground coffee and whole bean coffee shipping today and sweet nerdrotic mugs and coffee crates packed with coffee mm. and mugs. Thank you all you do for us fans. And thank you thank for backing us. Did I hear cold, cold brew? Cold yeah. brew? 
Cold brew. Nope. Cold, cold grind? No. Nope. Cold grind. You, all cold you have to grind. do is grind the coffee and then cold heat it cold? and then wait till it like cools cold. and then it becomes cold brew. <laughs> cold brew. <laughs> 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 no, I, I, know, I heard you so say cold something. something and so I was like. No, no, no. It was a crate. Okay. So you, uh, they, okay. they are doing, um, I can't say because it's a, it's a brand name like Kleenex. So I, I yeah, got to say a, the KK Cups. Cup the KK oh. Cups. <laughs> oh, you said it. <laughs> the KKK Cups. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's, okay, my, that's my special blend. It's better. <laughs> that's yes, it is. Uh, they are Big doing blend. that. I can't wait. I saw the the labels for those, and it's good. And they've they've, they've been brilliant. So thank you. Uh, uh, Thirty minutes. Thank you. Are we at thirty? Okay, we're at thirty minutes yeah, now. We're past thirty minutes. We're past we're thirty past, minutes, yeah. and we still have seven more to go. Let's go. This. We can do it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I got to bounce because I'm yeah. taking phone calls right now. So that's why I keep going off camera. So thank you guys. I see you drunk. Uh, drunk Kevin is in the chat. Oh, drunk Kevin. Bombs. He's just, like, he's just like, hey, fifty dollars. <laughs> so, um, Gary sucks. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Melanie, you were awesome tonight. Thank Great having you. you. This was uh, the best Friday night types we've had in a long time, except for those fucking memes of me and Ryan. <laughs> I disavow completely. <laughs> And I, disgusting fur, and I, I fully blame Chrissy Mayer for bringing that type of toxicity. <laughs> to I do too. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, I will uh, see you guys later on. I think I'll probably be on a live stream with Krista Nova on her YouTube channel later for her birthday. But I got right. some other stuff I got to deal with right now. So thank you guys. Uh, fuck you, Ryan. Talk to you later. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 All right. I think I need to go out and bounce yes. for the night, too. Yes, this was so you. fun. Thank you so much for having me. Of thank course. You. Thanks for hanging so long. Yeah. You didn't have to do that. So uh, we appreciate you. Uh, please plug anything you would like. Yay. Go follow me on YouTube at Melanie Matt. Go boom. My new channel. That's where I upload every day. Yay. You did great. Thank you so much. You You're welcome back Thank anytime. You. Thank you. I had a blast. Good night. Cheers. Take care. Yeah. Melanie night. Mack. Thank you. Melanie Mack. Melanie Mack. She went she went good. She got boom. She gone. She, she got, got boom. boom. All right. Boom. And I'm also going to head out as well. All right, buddy. Uh, not as much okay. fanfare for me, but that's okay. It's okay. No, no, go, go Odin, don't, go. <laughs> no don't leave. Don't. Odin. But no, uh, seriously, if you are... If you are sick of the Oscars, if you if you hate them, but you want to still have some fun, uh, this Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, Wednesday Raven Awards, the fourth year I'm doing it. If you want to vote tonight, it's probably going to be the last night to vote, so check out that link I just posted and uh, vote for the best and worst of film in 2021. Excellent. Nice. All right. Eternals. Much love. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Eternals or Black yeah. Widow? I'm undecided. Eternals or Black Widow? I don't think. I don't about know. That. Eternals was pretty mm -hmm. fucking. Yeah. Probably Eternals, but Black Widow mattered more. Yeah, yeah. Mm. All Widows matter. And boring. Black Widow no. was offensively Wid bad. Widows. Oh, shit. Uh, what was Why that? Widows. That? What the fuck was that sign that you have, Chris? <laughs> oh yeah, Window something. Widow. Widow oh. make it. Widow make it. I just hit it. Widow world. Widow world. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? I just hit my keyboard. Widow world. Widow world. Dyslexic world. people. Everything. No, but it's a far right. It was nothing. Um, one eight hundred kill your husband. Is that what it says? <laughs> is that what it says? Uh, I would say Eternals was the worst movie. Black Widow had the the worst moment with the Taskmaster reveal. That was so oh, fucking retarded. Oh retarded. my god! Eternals was like a there's like, like a, a wet fart. It it well it's it's Hollywood <laughs> you know? it's Hollywood like they will not notice that there's a female body of a five foot six female on a six foot five male head. <laughs> They didn't think anybody would notice. And you know what? Some people didn't yeah. fucking notice. We'll put some CGI. Some people right didn't on top. fucking notice. What you gotta do? Uh, bass player 2011 for $49.99 says there is a forward from John Romita Sr. in the Spider Man omnibus I'm reading. And he has been talking about creating villains. And he said nine times out of ten, Stan would just leave him a note with nothing but a name, and Romita would go. From there, that's the Marvel method, yes. Yes, mm -hmm. Stan was editing at the same time. So while Stan takes a lot of credit that he should not, um, yeah, he would just come up with the names and Ramita, Kirby, Dicko, 
Uh, Gil Kane. Dick a lot, Co. a lot of people. Ditko. Yeah, Ditko. Wow. Oh. Dick. Co. Heck of Co. heck of a list of names there, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. All came it. up with uh, brilliant shit that, you know what, armies of people in Hollywood cannot come up with one single character as good as those guys did. And they shit them out over like a six-year period, yeah. like hundreds of them. It's great. Yeah. It's great. And so, like some are still rising up to the, you know, like uh, Roy Thomas is a very um, underrated name. That He's basically Stan Lee, too. Man was kind of a genius. So, uh, like, he he's – hopefully he'll get his due someday. And he's still alive. People can say thank you to him in real life. Um, call <sighs> Man Sweeney for $50 says, Conservatives are progressives driving the speed limit. Michael Malice. That's true. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. Yeah. Uh, I, I love Michael Malice. I don't agree with him on everything. Um, he's fucking funny though. He, he's fun, yeah. He's fun, oh, really but when he like, it was so funny watching. I, I love Drew Hernandez, friend. Drew Hernandez is a friend. Yeah. And when they were in that uh, with uh, the the, the motorhome with Tim Pool, Rogan and Alex oh, yeah. Jones and Blair oh, White, yeah. 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 And great. Michael Malice called the 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 um oh why am I the Constitution a a boomer document? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Boomer what? Wow. No, Drew, boomer Drew like looked like he was having an and he's all. What? You know, it was so good. <laughs> it was just good stuff. Um, uh, waffle for 600 shekels. Wow. 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 What? From, what? from Israel. What? 600? Holy. What? 600 what? shekels. 600 shekels. I don't know. I mean, Jesus it's, Christ. it's from Israel, so you got to know the money's got to be worth a yeah. lot. <laughs> More than ours, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were downplaying a six hundred dollar fucking. Thing I am not. It's it's shekels. It's probably worth more than a dollar. Well, it is yeah. thanks to Biden. Uh, and and God, I hope it is. Uh, suffering exists, and we can't pretend otherwise. No civilization, however great, could eliminate it. If we could live, we must accept it as our constant companion. No paradise is without its shadows. Ooh, I like that. Uh, if we Ooh. can't accept this truth and learn from our pain, then history shall be repeated. That's brilliant. That's probably a quote from somebody really smart that I should know that I don't. <laughs> Thank you, Waffle. I appreciate it. Thank you for the shekels. Uh, <laughs> That's worth three goats. <laughs> hey, hey, you get a lot of value out of a goat. That I know. A lot of it's around, people saying it's around one hundred ninety to two hundred dollars. Yeah, one hundred eighty-six dollars. Wow. Yeah, Woo-hoo. thank you so much. Thank you, Thanks. dude. Damn. Damn. I was gonna say, why'd you bring up the goats? Isn't that um, Scotland or is that Ireland or did I get that or is that Wales? Is that Wales? <laughs> Wales. Wales is sheep. It, it's cheap. Sheep. Well, who sheep. fucks the goats? Who's the goat fucker? Who doesn't uh, fuck? No, well, uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. That. Yeah, yeah. Chenk Yuga, he's the goat. Oh, fucker. okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yeah. right. No, that's horses. He likes the girth. Oh man. Yeah. I don't want to. There was a follow up question there, and I'm just going to keep to myself. Hyperion for fifty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to talk about everything. Uh, hail to all <laughs> and Jeremy, roll tide, roll. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, is, is it War Eagle? Is that the one he likes, Ryan? War Eagle? Yeah, War Eagle. I believe that's what Jeremy is. War that, Eagle, Jeremy. Jeremy likes. Uh, around the ball and down the hole. Roll tide, roll tide. HBO? What's G- GBO? I don't know. Sorry. Didn't mean to mess up your sports ball reference. Hyperion. <laughs> Just kidding. GBO. Hey, is that, is that Hyperion? Is that about that Atlanta Braves hat he's wearing? All the time? Uh, maybe, yeah. Okay. No, Jeremy, of course, a big Alabama fan because he lives in the panhandle of Florida that's basically fucking Alabama. It is Alabama. Sense. Yeah, like, what is... Bama. Did did Alabama just said, we don't want the coastal property, here you go, Florida, or did Florida take it from them? Or, I, I, I don't f- actually know. If I had to guess, I would, I, I would fall more in line with the idea... Whatever it was, I think Alabama wanted to maintain just a sliver of it touching the the Gulf, <laughs> whether it's they sold it off or whether they bought that little piece or something. Yeah, because that's that's how uh, Indiana actually did that at one point, because I, I believe Indiana bought a little bit from Michigan because they wanted just a sliver of it to actually touch uh, to, to touch Lake Michigan there. 
So mm. yeah. that because I was looking at the map the other day, I'm like, that is interesting. It's weird how they they, they like because that makes no sense at all. So there you must have to go be back some, to the Louisiana Purchase, uh, I yep, suppose. Yeah, you know, do some math. Yeah. Probably some French know. person. I don't know. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah. Uh, next level affiliate for fifty dollars. <laughs> First super chat ever. Ooh. Wow. Because of FNT, I get to talk about nerd stuff the same way back in college, roasting each other about to start reading the Lord of the Rings books after your updates. Excellent. Excellent. Everybody should read those books. They're fucking awesome. Uh, Hail Friday Night Tights and Melanie. Much love, fam. Much love to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, To read those books for the first time. Oh, so good. Mm. So good. Uh, low watermark uh, for fifty dollars says Melody Mac go boom just hit thirty thousand subscribers. Hey, congratulations! Wow, wow. excellent, nice, That's awesome. I hope we helped with that. What's a up, bit. low watermark? What's up? The bad news is she was on thirty five thousand at the start of the oh. screen. <laughs> 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 no, oh, we tried. Uh, what did we do? Not another dime for fifty dollars says Hail Friday Night Tights. Thank you. A lot of dimes, buddy. Somebody's gonna have to go back get a shitload of dimes. Fucking damn! <laughs> gotta watch Blazing Saddles again. That was yeah, a great yeah. movie. <laughs> they get stuck in the middle of the desert. Yeah. The, Does anybody the got any dimes? Gate. <laughs> uh, badges. We don't need no stinking no stinky badges. badges. What in the wild, wild world of sports is going on here? Y'all jumping around like a bunch of Kansas City baguettes. <laughs> <laughs> Where are white women at? Mongo wild women born at? in game. Mongo just yes. born in game of life. <laughs> uh, that was, uh, what was his name? He was an ex-football player, Ryan. What was his name? What was his name? What was his name? Uh, Steve Mongo McMichael. Is that who you're talking about? No, the, who played Mongo in the movie. What was his name in real life? Because he was a football oh. player. Um, I can't remember. Somebody in the chat. Uh, we'll Eric said Alex Karras. Alex Karras. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Who was also on what sitcom again? Da, 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 da. Now I'm going to have to look. I'm going to have to look. Uh, Alex Karras and Friends. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Harry's> <laughs> joke. Dude, it was like a big sitcom. Are you kidding me? Karras, Karras, and Karras. <laughs> well, mm. No, that's, that's, that's obviously a black. It's Alex Karras. Oh, uh, come on. That's, no, no. It when you're Googling. Oh, oh, who was the, what was the, come on, chat. Help me out. What was this? Oh, wait, the chat's going like a Webster. Moment. Webster. Thank you. That was Webster. it. Yeah. That's George Cosmo Bob Ed Bob. got it. That's who I saw Hail. it was first. You win the no prize. Before. Matthew Thackeray for $50. Says, hail all. Long time listener. First time caller. Ooh. Ooh. Mega, <laughs> we can't say mega dittos. We can't say mega dildos because that's what sellout Howard piece of shit Stern says. So we'll just wow. say thank you. We'll have to think of something. Uh, still pissed off. I can't get my money back for tickets to Star Wars Celebration Anaheim 2022. Uh, what, they're not giving you a refund? Uh, they're, why not? They're, still, they're still requiring proof of vax and masks. Uh, wow. Trash. Uh, Wait uh, a minute. What? Yeah, uh, yeah. Are you kidding me? In Anaheim? Wow. In Anaheim. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In May. California. Yeah. But in yeah. Orange I, County, I'll, I'll see if I can find it. The, the, the it's lifted. I know. Oh, Wonder- not in the not in the country of Disney. WonderCon did not you say know, that. I don't believe WonderCon is making you wear masks. I could be wrong because if they do, I ain't fucking going. Mrs. Nerdronic, if you're out there, can you check? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah double check. Go. Um, I, I got it. I've been, I've been a, looking at this one for a while. Yeah, fuck Star Wars celebration. So this no. is ticket and availability. Important show updates are here. Health uh, and safety tickets will updates. be going back on sale on March fifteenth. So this is on March seventh. Yeah. Uh, so it was already fucking done back then. In order to provide the safest event possible, we will be requiring. Wow. Uh, FDA or WHO approved or authorized vaccine for all attendees aged five plus. Fuck for that attendees shit. under proof of negative test, uh, and uh. every attendee will be required to wear an approved face covering at all times. Ah, uh, fuck off. Fuck that. Your, pro- your products uh. suck shit, and I wouldn't go even if it was like without a with a vaccine and not without a mask. Fuck Star Wars. Damn. Yeah, uh, I was juking the people at the hospital whenever they try to give me a mask. 
I just walk right past them. <laughs> I just, That's all you got to do. Wow, I literally awesome. just, I literally just that's the first so response awesome. I saw was this guy just says thank you, and there was oh, a reply. Oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. It just oh says, my god. It's just, fuck it me just more, says, Disney. Shill soy more. boy. Uh, <laughs> what does it say? Blue check mark. Uh, just says shill oh, soy govern boy. Govern me more, Disney. Yeah, perfect. Govern me more. Oh. What a check mark to say that. Yeah, it, that sucks. The check mark. That guy's never made a woman thank come you. in his life. Nope. <laughs> little bitch. I'm sorry to hear that, Matthew. It's over. Uh, all I can say that is, man in the boat, you know Matthew. what? You save can't your, keep missing. Save it for one of the meetups. Save it for Vegas or Orlando. I had tickets for that at one point, like three years ago or something. Yeah, four years ago. That yeah. could have supposed to be in like 2019 or 20 or yeah. Was. I was supposed to go in Chicago when when everybody met up. I was supposed to be there. And I, I couldn't go last minute, so. Oh. Yeah, I'm I'm fine. I I lived. Uh. Oh, maybe we should change the Vegas date. So yeah, this whole yeah, Gina, you screwed everything up for us. Damn it! Thanks a lot, Thanks, Gina. Gina. God, she threw it's like the lot. biggest like monkey wrench in our plans. <laughs> so we're like, fuck. Jeez. Um. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to ignore it. I guess we're gonna have to like um. Do our own thing, you know. Well, yeah, we'll figure we'll, it out. We'll figure it out, dude. Yeah, like I'll go to Dallas. No, I'm, I'm really excited that Gina's doing these though, and I yeah, imagine yeah. the fan response is going to be huge, and that's exactly yeah. what they're looking for. So, yeah, like if you guys see those uh, those MegaCon threads, like go leave a positive comment. Like, like go leave something saying how excited you are to see Gina. Yes, because that that yeah. like yeah. that means a lot to them. A lot of these people they overreact to Twitter, but it, that means that if you go to Twitter and you share positive comments, you're not fucking, you know, fighting w with meaningless people in, in the replies, and you show that positive energy, it probably means a lot to them. Yeah, just exactly. Yeah. Just I stand with Gina Cross. She's awesome. Can't wait to see her. That's that's yep. that, and just yeah. like yep. overwhelm them with that shit. Absolutely right. Spot on because they are going to go after her. They are gonna mm -hmm. fucking go. They already are. They already are. Um, Slade Lawton for forty nine ninety nine. Long time lurker, first time donator. Please be gentle. I will. Oh, I gotta do this too. I wanted to take a second to thank the Friday Night Tights crew for over the past year for reminding a dumb fuck twenty year old from PA that common sense is still common. It is. That's one of two, by the way, Slade Lawton. And there's two of two. Also wanted to mention, uh, pineapple will never, ever go on pizza, except it does, and I eat it. Dan Vasquez. You're not that much of a dumb fuck. Yeah. Dan, you know what's right. Mm, I won't. The man who lifts super chats, so I'll just stay quiet on that one and, and I just love happily you. eat my pineapple pizza. Dan Vasquez is better than Jeremy at Mario, Mario Kart. Well, of course. I, uh, Ryan uh -huh. and Melanie Mack never change, and keep doing what you're doing. Last but not least, fuck Disney. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I haven't been mentioned. So we went last but not least. Fuck. I was like, whoa. Yeah. As, whoa. Hey. as whoa. you know what? But then he just ignored me completely. As exists, ladies and gentlemen, as exists. Um, I'm a piece of meat. Well, I mean, yeah, you're here just to you. Be, you're here to be easy on the eyes, as. Just get used yep. to it, okay? Uh, and so not my can, can I put in expenses for a new T-shirt? You can, you can. For fifty, you. Uh, give it to Jeremy. Um, fifty dollars, <laughs> not my mind. If you think orcs are coated black, you might be an SJW. <laughs> yes. You define what a woman is. You might be an. If you can't define what a woman is, you might be an SJW. If you would rather receive an aneurysm from boosters than a cough, you might be an SJW. Okay, I'm Damn. I'm done. Hail Enoch Maman. That's based. 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 Uh, based. Nick Decker for five uh, fifty dollars to sale Friday Night Tights. All of you are proof. If you produce quality content, people will watch. We just want to be entertained instead of being indoctrinated. And these creators, activists, on views, don't ever give up in this fight to save our culture. We won't. We promise. Thank you, dude. It's too late for any of us now. I mean, I'm old, so I have no career after this. Chrissy just basically suicided too her tainted. career. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, and quarterback for some reason left Crowder for Nerd Roddick. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, comics division I gets a day job. Com comic, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you are, buddy. 
Comics division kept his day job as Keebler Elf, so he'll be he can support us all. Yeah, somebody's got to make the cookies. cookies. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, as is wearing a imagine British we're hat. like imagine we're all on Comics Division's health insurance. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be all nice. Dependents. Yeah, dependents. Nine uh, dependents. Bradley Burnett, two parts for one hundred dollars total. Holy crap! Uh, wow, last wow, week, wow. you gave me some great suggestions of what to watch while the wife was away. Uh, you mean aside from lots of porn? Uh, got through some, watched. Uh, I, I, you know what's funny is I didn't even bring up porn. I'm such a nerd. He's like, what should I watch? Well, my wife's gone, and I, and I just thought of that joke now, and I didn't think of it then. <laughs> At the I'm first, such you're a like, fucking oh, well, nerd. All these things I'm like watch. Star Trek. and then, like, <laughs> God. <laughs> well. Eh, Actually, uh, I would start with uh, Orange Trump is Trump Next Trump. Generation. Porn's just like, that's just the standard. It's not like something you have to recommend to people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. True. this is true. People do that enough. Uh, got through some. Seems watched uh, Pre-Woke Trek, The Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, Who Doctors <laughs> 4. Five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Excellent. With all the woke bullshit, they can't erase the greatness. Uh, if you get there, if you get a chance, go see Chrissy's show. I was at the Tampa show. Damned great, even though she thought I was the boyfriend of the guy next to me. Oh, was she giving you shit? <laughs> uh, good amount of F and T fans too. Also, twenty five years <clears throat> here, I have no idea. Tampa was so kinky. There you go. Uh. There were three. Separate couples at the Tampa show who had met at like a kink party or like a like a lifestyle kink oh. event. Hey, Tampa's no kinky. No shame. Mm-hmm. Get wow. it? I thought it was a retirement community, but maybe you can do both. Hey, you know? when you're retired, have you seen the stats? <laughs> a lot of time on they, they, they get it on. Not, okay, they're not retiring all their parts. Mm. Woo. Those STDs are. <laughs> through the roof. Yeah. Get it. Those old folks home. <laughs> Chris Miller. And I say, good job. <laughs> good job. Chris Miller for $50. Says Ankur Kingdoms of the Gods is a based indie TTRPG from Mad Scribe Games. Available everywhere books are sold. Would love to have geeks and gamers play my stuff. So it's called uh, Ankur Kingdom of the Gods. And it's based and it's available where all games Already are sold. I like the name. Yeah, I do. That's a good name. Remember the kingdom one Kingdom of the What was the Kingdom one? of the Gods? What was the one from last week? Something about a hole? <laughs> oh, God. Chrissy, you remember? No, that, that, that was Perry Chan's opening. Oh, no, no. <laughs> remember somebody had a book, right? I got this book and it's like something oh, yeah. something space hole or something like that. We couldn't stop laughing. We're trying to be serious and push it. And I just had to super chat. I think super chat. We're trying to be nice. And we're trying to be nice. His, his book's called to write the big like, fucking fill hole the and space sticky, hole sticky, or the something. Hole. It's like oh, the shit. big the big black hole or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's just something like that. We couldn't stop laughing. And I'm like, dude, we're 12. We can't deal with this shit. <laughs> we can't read these things it's like adults. <laughs> hey, can you can you please show my comic? It's called the uh, the pink canoe. Uh, <laughs> <fuck>. <laughs> the man in the pink the woman in the pink canoe. Oh, Wet yeah. Willie's going to Tuna Town. It's uh, <laughs> Zachary <laughs> Shaftstall for $50. He's probably, like slaved over that for like 12 years or something. And we're hey, just uh, laughing at his book called The Hole. <laughs> so <laughs> life's work. Hail. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's so fucked up. Crying there, just, <laughs> just, just so fucked up. We're evil. Well, we're, we're just bad. Laughing like five year old. Taking a turn. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, go it's fuck like your- eyes wide shut. Shit go fuck right yourself. <laughs> Woo, Mardi Gras. Mm-hmm. Those are my last two times at Universal. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I, I actually, they are. Uh, oh wow! Oh wow! Uh, Zachary Shaftstall for fifty dollars. This is hail on my favorite night. Friday Night Tights. Ryan, what branch did you serve in? I'm on a submarine S. Ooh. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, I was in the Navy. I was on aircraft carriers. So There you go. Yeah, I was. I, that was actually wearing my Navy veteran hat when I was dressed up as a, uh, I don't know. Fit. What was I dressed Fit as? Boy? A, oh, my militiaman. God. Militiaman, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Boom, boom, boom. So. Somebody found a picture of me on the internet. Like, legit. Crazy. Oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> That's a hell. 
I've been, I've been, I want to see you pick up a boulder right fucking now. Yeah, doing some deadlifts, man. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a uh, mundane man. I'm afraid. <laughs> not river rocks, an actual boulder. <laughs> oh, like one that of those is, strongman uh, ones. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen no? I I love watching those strongman. Is that the mountain? Is that him? That he like does. Him. Um, oh, that guy. Uh, no, no, that's not him. No, it's not him. I no. think so. He's, I think he's kind of a little bit leaner. A little leaner, leaner yeah. A little taller. And like eight yeah, feet tall. tall. He's a monster. Uh, Kevin, Kevin hunts for $50. Says, Chrissy, congrats on the comedy special. Ever gonna be on Kill Tony again or have Owen Benjamin back on again? Oh, yeah, I would love to do. Yeah, oh, and I'll definitely get back on soon. And uh, kill Tony, yeah, whatever I want to go back out to maybe he, Austin. Yeah, you know, I'll try. I'll see if he responds to my messages. Sometimes they don't. And then I tell myself, you know, they're just busy. It's not that they don't like me. <laughs> That's It's mostly that. <laughs> it That's is. Every time I get rejected. Oh my God, Ryan! Why? Mm. <laughs> you have to. That. You have to. <laughs> Take him. Take him next oh, you, no. you, you, you want some coke? You want? Would you like and he's coke? like, yes. <laughs> yes. I don't think Trudeau would be looking that upset about it. Though. No, he'd be thing. No, he's, he's down he doesn't this. even you notice he's there. I look more upset. Yeah, it, about yeah. It. You seem like you should be in the front on this one, like with that face. <laughs> Trudeau's been fucking Canada for a while now. Yeah, yeah. indeed. That uh, that EU woman who shoot him out was pretty cool. I like that. Fucking wrecked him. Wrecked him. Uh, wrecked actually, were you like him. just waiting for someone to pull that up, like hoping that it didn't happen once you saw it? <laughs> no, I didn't see it before, but I saw the little pre-screen of it. Yeah. So I was like, what is that? <laughs> uh, Lord Covenite for one. Oh, shit. For one hundred dollars. I'm getting tired. <laughs> uh, it's been a while since yeah. I ate. Mm -hmm. uh, hail to all. Haven't been able to keep up for the past few weeks because I just finished moving to Arizona. All right. Uh, for an uh, apprenticeship and an, uh, for an electrician. A real job. That's good. I felt more happy and alive in the past three weeks than the past three years. Now going to grind for a new PC and learn to animate. Good Lord, Corbinite. Oh, nice. Oh, damn it. God damn it. I'm good job. Time. Sorry. Nice. Good job. If the world needs electricians. You're probably going to, your pay is probably going to be insane. Absolutely insane. There, there, there's such a low, uh, right now, there's not a lot of people out there doing basic trades. There's a huge shortage of it. Uh, the Clever Fox for $100. I actually have a co-worker of F-grade art who's, who uh, posted the FNTLOTR art. I met him back in 2007 and have been friends since, but I moved away, and now I'm in Texas. Years ago, I had no idea he watched this show until he posted that image. Oh, oh no way. So you just reconnected with a friend. Wow. Oh, friends coming together. Awesome. Uh, and F and F grade art. That is fucking awesome. Thank you, Clever Fox. Bringing people together. That's what we do. That's right. That's what we do. Mac Daddy on the Streamlabs side for fifty dollars. I'm glad. <laughs> I read every super chat. Um, unfortunately, Melanie's not here. Melanie, need a manager. I want to raid your tomb. So I'm glad. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I wish you would have been, wow. been here for that one. Sim. The thing is, I'm reading that too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, uh, Kevin Hunts for $50. Since I tried to pick up a lady at the bar. And asked her pronoun. She got mad for thinking she might be a dude. <laughs> oh. worse, a day. <laughs> I told you people aren't getting the same, you know, benefit of the doubt anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be rough out there for those manly It's pretty women. good. Mm. That's pretty good. Okay. It's hard out here for a swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> oh right. dude that's funny this that is, is this is funny. this is the last one it's 16 parts long <laughs> so i'm just gonna read it oh, what uh yeah it's 16 parts long gotta read it 
Got to do it. 16 parts, $100 total. <laughs> thank you. All right. Thank you. Very, yes, thank you. Thank you could just send that all in one. I don't it might be uh there might be a word there's limit. Lot, there's a lot to say, I think. Uh, oh, I... On the Streamlabs side. So here ah. we go. Here we go. Let's go. Uh, uh hi, Friday Night Tights crew. It's my first time super chatting. Woo! Yeah. Nice. So please be gentle. I know nope. many of the Friday Night Tights crew adore the Lord of the Rings books and movies, as I do. With the movies being at the very top of my favorites list. However, when it comes to favorite books, there is always going to be a special place in my heart for C.S. Lewis, The Chronicles of Narnia. I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed watching your streams over the past year. Uh, with the nut splitting belly laughs in between your earnest discussions on the culture war, you have lifted my spirits week in and week out. Thank you all for calling out how thoroughly and unenjoyable and ridiculous Hollywood entertainment has become. It's been heartening to know one is not alone in recognizing this crap for what it is. Woke garbage. Oh, how we all along for days. Oh, sorry, I read that wrong. Oh, how we all along for the day, how we all long for the days when entertainment and cinema were a means of escaping from the crazy world we live in. Uh, I've been dreading what Netflix will do to Lewis's timeless classics. Please, Lord, let it not be woke garbage. Mm. Yeah, well, you know it's, it's going to be. Garbage. Uh, especially since that, that comes from like um, kind of a Christian perspective, right? A little godly. Uh, heavily, yeah. Yeah. heavily yeah. Christian heavily. perspective. Yeah, they're going to fill it full of woke garbage. Uh, I've been praying Netflix somehow goes bankrupt before they're able to finish anything, but I know it's probably a fool's hope. I'm always dreading that Amazon will do with Tolkien's work or I'm all I'm also dreading what Amazon will do with Tolkien's work. I am grateful I can ignore whatever crap Netflix and Amazon put out and just read the glorious books. I believe Samwise Gamgee in Two Towers movie said it best. It's like in the greatest stories, Mr. Mr. Frodo, the ones that really mattered full of darkness and danger. They were. And sometimes you didn't want to know the end because you you know how the end could, how could the end be happy? How could the world go back to the way it was when so much bad has happened? Well, there's an answer to that. But in the end, it's only a passing thing. This shadow, even darkness must pass. A new day will come, and when the sun shines, it will shine out the clearer. Oh, there's still more to go. Uh, those were the stories that stayed with you. That meant something, even if you, uh, were too small to understand why, but I think Mr. Frodo, I understand. I know now folk in those stories had lots of chances of turning back. Only they didn't, they kept going on because they were holding on to something that's, uh, there's some good that there's some good in the world, Mr. Frodo, and it's worth fighting for. Keep up the good fight against these woke communist asshats. It may be a couple of decades. Well, it's taken them a couple of decades for sure. But I believe Hollywood will eventually go bankrupt and crumble from within for there is nothing else left for them to do. While that happens, fresh new freedom loving studios and content creators will rise up to take their place. There will be even better, more satisfying things to consume along the way. Our old favorites, we st we will able to uh, we will be able to escape from the messed up world again and forget our worries and troubles. And we can mostly and we can most truly say that uh, they all lived happily ever after. But for them, it was only the beginning of the real story. All their life in the world and all their adventures in Narnia uh, had only been the cover of the title page hmm. now that the last uh they were beginning chapter one of the great story which no one on earth has read which goes on forever it which uh every chapter is better than the one before even though the world may go on uh the world may be going through some dark times we must as aslan once said take heart dear one I will always have hope for the future that things will eventually start to get better. I can't wait to see what the future holds for you. One more. 
Thank you, Friday Night Tights, for all you do. The fight against the woke mob. All hail Friday Night Tights. All hail freedom lovers everywhere. God bless you. Love me who exactly. Hell yeah. Thank you. That's beautiful. I love a long Sorry, guy, I, 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 Can you just repeat that? I, I missed a bit in the middle. Uh, okay, here we go. Start from the there beginning. We'll be better than more set now. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay, we got yeah. one more. We got one more. And uh, it's just some guy, so it's awkward. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's uh, Stephen Wasik for $100. Thank you very much, Stephen. I appreciate it. Uh, what does everyone think, uh, think of just some guy going full SJW? He is calling everyone who disagrees with his stance a uh, PRIE and a homophobe. I thought... Uh, you all agree that opposing views were welcome so long that they don't dump right. Well, you're just a bigot then, specifically to geeks, uh, to G and G. I don't know. If, see, I didn't see that. Uh, so what? I I don't see everything on Twitter, Stephen. I mean, uh, that's the deal. He's dunking on people with with rhetoric that he got dunked on, and that's messed up. Uh, but I don't know. I I. I saw what uh, Garrett said on Twitter, and I saw some other stuff. I've heard some things, but I all, I honestly don't spend a lot of time on Twitter. I also sp I spend about an hour a day on Twitter, which is too much. So, yeah, it's kind of you guys always decide. The audience always decides. But when it comes to, like, my relationship with just some guy, it, we stream. We stream. It's always been good. It's always been honest. And I, I know we could at least have a conversation behind the scenes about it. But uh, rhetoric like that, um, that's not something I would do. Yeah, I think I that would. I don't know what the last part of that Super Chat said. It was something about geeks and gamers. I didn't yeah, see him say anything about G &G. that. Yeah, I, I did not see that either. I did see him yeah, pronounce the rhetoric, but not to G&G. &G. Yeah, you can forward it to me if you did. Um, but... Uh, yeah, f forward that to me if he did say something specifically about G and G. I'd love to take a look at that. But as it stands, yeah, I, I fucking vehemently disagree with him. But that that is how it is. You know, you we talk about this a lot uh, when we talk about people who can't tolerate any other opinions. Uh, where we, when you run into people in the workplace in normal life, that's how it is. Not everybody agrees with you. In fact, about half the people in there probably disagree with you, at least politically. And then even the ones that you do agree with, you're going to have differences on policies and things like that. that that's the way it is. Yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of like what he's been doing necessarily. But yeah. at the end of the day, I, I've had good interactions with him before. Yeah, and this so, is totally... I, I, I'm, not, I'm not like super offended by what just some guy says on Twitter. Yeah, me, it, so, I mean, yeah. honestly... <sighs> I'm not either. It looked mostly to me he was more offended at what other people were saying. So he was getting a little a little emotional about things and yeah. I I never came to him with any kind you of You were just kind of questioning you know, was, things from what I saw. I was just saw. trying to like lay out the example for the argument, the other argument and try to see if he read the the bill he was talking about and he said he did. So he was really heated on me, so I don't know if, if our relationship on that side is good, but I'm good with just some guy, even though he called me a, a homophobe or whatever the fuck he wanted to say. Uh, I'm I'm totally cool with him. I, it's on his side. Everything's on his side. So if he wants to be emotional and be a bitch about it, not that I'm saying he is, but he could go in that direction. It's on him. But if not, cool. I'm cool. It's going to happen. There's there's a lot of people out there, and, and we're not in business together. OK, we don't work together. We're in the same sphere. We're going to disagree. Some of us are going to fight. Some of us are not going to get along. Some people behind the scenes are going to do some fucking dastardly shit. Uh, and, you know, it's just not every, anything I talk about. <laughs> it's just not. I'll answer the question, but it's not anything I talk about. Uh, I don't like getting in it to it on Twitter because I'm 52 and I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I really don't. I, I have just got so much other things to do in my life than worry about somebody fucking saying something that might yeah. disagree with whatever. And, and I think that sometimes people can get way too caught up on even like I, there's a lot of people on this panel. Every time I do something stupid, I, I don't feel like Gary should have to come out like or I shouldn't say that every time I come out and do something Gary disagrees with. 
I don't think that he should feel obligated to come out and say, just so you guys know, yeah. I don't agree with Ryan on this thing. You know what I mean? Yep. And and we all are fucking pretty close. So that's just, I, I feel like people, when we have common ground in how we think about movies or media, I feel like there's an expectation that maybe you'll have common ground on everything. And that's just, that's not Kind not of the, the whole point is to have more opinions. Sure, some could be dog shit, but that's fine. Everybody has dog shit opinions in some area. Just why does everything have to be a, like you burn all these bridges whenever somebody doesn't agree with you slightly? That's SJW shit. Yeah. The, the main yeah. the main thing for for just some guy again with, with his take is I I, I don't and it's think a horrible that, take. It's a fucking well, horrible take. The, the thing is, and but I'm not going to burn him for it. Well, and and the reason that is, I think, because uh, none of us think that just some guy wants to cause any harm to kids at all. Yeah, you know what I mean? No, he doesn't. Like, the, and and, no, that, he that's, doesn't. The, Absolutely and that's the difference. Yep. He's I made a lot of videos some, talking about that. Tons. Exactly. And yeah. I think there's some insidious people out there. And what we feel like the reason for this bill is, is very different from what he feels like the reason this bill <laughs> is. Um, yep. So that, I think that's kind of the main thing I take out of it. Even though I disagree with him completely, it doesn't make me uh, want to be like, oh, I want nothing to do with him. So, Now. Yeah. I mean, like, I mean, certainly where I come from on the bill is I have a healthy distrust of the system. I always have. That is not new. That is something that goes back to me being a kid. Uh, I, I, it's just more in vogue now, which is great. Uh, but I have never fucking trusted it. And this is why. So, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, for, for me, I live in Florida and I have kids in that age range. Yeah, yeah. So it's so it it's a very important you. thing for me. It kind of matters, especially because I've been to these school boards and I've seen some of the people that are in charge. I'm seeing some of the things that they prioritize as opposed to children's education. And so I, that there you go. You're absolutely right, Ryan. And this stuff is already implemented in California, so I've seen it. So I've seen it. So I've seen Drag Queen Story Hour. I've seen fucking Pride Day. I've seen Gay Day. I've seen it all. And I've also seen Antifa fucking posters at a teacher's in a teacher's office that I was sitting there talking to. I've seen it. So, and when, when the riots were going on, Black Lives Matter shit was everywhere. By the way, how's that organization going well, right now? Not very well. Um, just heavily under well. investigation. It's not useful uh, right now. So. Very well. Yeah. Yeah. That that's too. Good, that's a very good point. That's a very good point. But uh, thanks for asking. We we will answer the questions, and I imagine it'll blow over. I, I, you know, and, and, uh, yeah, I, I think you're right. Argue opinions. Let's try to stay away from, uh, the personal attacks, but like, dude, I'm realistic. I'm super, it's the, the internet. Yeah. We're all human too. We all, you know, make mistakes. We get angry, we get emotional. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's Twitter. Life. It's yeah, yeah it's, it's Twitter. It's me. Like emotional emotional it's Twitter. Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. And, and people try and take advantage of those situations too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, work in maintenance responsible for 50 plus, uh, I don't know what that last word is. X-ray girl. Uh, Mac machines, mock machines, mock machines. What's a mock machine. Is. I'm gonna have to look it up. Look it up. That was from uh, Rob Robinson for $50. Yeah. That's why I, I, <laughs> mock machine. I don't know what a mock M -A -C -H machines. Uh, uh, da, 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 it's a thing. Here, it is a thing. What is that thing? Uh, robot software for welding. Oh, hey, there you go. Oh, dang. Dang. Uh, work maintenance responsible for 50 plus mock machines. Uh, so you that's what you do. So that's a real fucking job. Oh, yeah. Engineers, electricians, truck Learn drivers, trade. mechanics. We need them. We need them. I look at look hey look at look at Mister look at the fucking oh we're all pro the workers up in uh, Canada Trudeau we were all about the workers the workers the workers except for the truckers oh no 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 <laughs> not those ones not those not ones. those workers not a fucking piece of well, shit well they were at one point yep uh, mm -hmm. isn't that weird yeah um eh, the Teamsters are now on the other side of it here that's weird. Weird, weird, weird. Mate, 78 million candles received a 0.89 cent raise. Time to move on. Love you all. Says Rob Robinson for $50. I don't know what that is. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Jeremy was talking to, you know, we were talking about content creating earlier. And 
uh, the, you know, the, the opportunities now created from COVID, uh, the gig economy, the gig economy that a lot of Democratic politicians, we were talking about this last night, Comics Division, the gig economy that a lot of Democratic politicians tried to crush, crush. And now you see Uber and Airbnb supporting them. And they, uh, like San Francisco, tried to crush them both. Stupid. Uh, stupid. Stupid. So, like, when um, when Amazon gets broken up, which it will happen, it will happen, because when the government decides they don't need them to fortify shit anymore and they see they're on the other side of it, they will no longer be useful, like Ryan just said, and they will be broken up, probably by California first and then by Washington. Uh, we'll try to say, we'll say, we told you so, motherfuckers. You had your chance. You had your chance to self-police. Instead, you wanted to help them fortify, and they will fucking bury you when you're done. Uh, WG for $100. Says, I know you're trying to end the show, so I keep it short. Moby Dick by Herman Melville, one of 734. Call me Ishmael some years ago. Never mind how long precisely. Having little or no money in my purse and nothing particular to interest me. But as I was saying, and thank you, WG, uh, the gig economy like allows you to do so much other stuff now. Uh, you know, like you could work a couple of jobs and still work that hobby. There's a lot of things you can do. You can leave if you're not in a good place right now. Um, you don't have to be necessarily uber rich to do it. All right. Uh, it's possible. Um, yeah, this, this is a good time for change if people aren't, uh, cause I know not, not everybody's like working their favorite job and I, like we all did that. I did that for years, years and years and years. So, uh, but I, I don't know. I found a way to enjoy my jobs most of the time. I don't, there's only like a couple, three jobs I fucking hated. The rest of them I had a pretty good time. Even slinging auto parts. That was pretty fun. Um, I mean, we'd fuck off. We'd do stupid shit on the intercom, like play porn on the intercom <laughs> at the dealership. Oh, you yeah. can't do that yeah. now. <laughs> I know, right? Good old days. He canceled it. Or Cartman saying Jew over and over he, again on the you, <laughs> intercom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, I've been I've been binge watching Always Sunny. I've made it basically dude. the entire series the past two weeks. Oh, and God. I need to do I fucking that. love that show, dude. I'm on season seven. That's really what it takes a jump between being like a pretty good show to like, holy shit, this is the funniest what? shit I've ever seen. <laughs> Yeah, they, they have a couple evolutions because they, the first couple of years, I hear that like, there's like they get literally woke. no budget. True? Yeah, right. Do they get mm. woke. Uh, That's what no, I heard. I, I, not I don't think so. I mean, I wouldn't say they get woke. I would say that they evolve with comedy at the times, so and they'll be like, "Oh, you, you can't fucking do something like that now." I mean, kidding me? I mean, before we would, you know, call this person that or that or that. You can't say the f word anymore. Yeah. Instead, I'll just call him a flamer. You, you know, like like yeah. stuff like that. Working is, within the system, it, exactly. Uh, I mean, the very first fucking episode, they drop a hard R N bomb. Uh, oh. but, but but it's like it's something that the black guy their black their new black friend had literally just said to them so he was quoting him and then <laughs> someone walks up and hears him like oh really wow that's really nice nice thing to say uh, <laughs> so. uh, uh, to explain that a little bit at the dealership i used to work at the car dealership the intercom system where you go uh you know like uh, ed ed cv god i remember their fucking names mechanic's name was ed cv like back counter parts back counter so it was a phone number. So we get home on Sunday and we just dial the phone number and play like South Park clips or porn or whatever over the fucking PA system <laughs> at all. And it's not just one dealership. It was like all of Escondido's <laughs> Kush. It was all three oh, of them. Wow. It's not a closed circuit. What? Oh, oh my idiots. God. We had so much fun doing that. <laughs> We'd call. I call my friend. I'm like, let's do it. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Good times. Good times. All right. We're going to wrap it up. Oh, uh, oh, not yet. Clever Fox says, I was so disappointed by the Halo TV series. I've been floating the idea of creating videos. Do it. Absolutely. Do it. Now I feel absolutely, absolutely do it. I have to. What the fuck are people in Hollywood doing? Uh, fucking up absolutely everything they can. The Clever Fox. Yep. Thank you very much for $100. Wow. Jeez. Um, okay, so it's threefold. It is there's dumb shits. There's dumb shits. There's no talent 
and there is social engineering. Mm-hmm. All three are true. Mm-hmm. All three yep. are true. Yep. The social engineering is being done through the writers' rooms, who are largely and it like they're not being forced. These are people like absolutely. I believe this because they've got out or they've silenced all dissenting voices because they're too afraid to speak up. And that's why I'm getting contacted more now than ever by people in the industry who don't want to say anything wow. uh, yet. But uh, as and Eric July called this like a couple years ago, he's like, uh, I, I, I can say all the shit. I can talk till I'm blue in the face. You guys have to fucking do it. You have to Absolutely. change it. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, when the people that are in the, in the industry need to speak out against this shit because yeah, it when only no, stops when they speak out. We're not here to be their therapists. Nope. Right. Yeah. Uh, right. You know, there's no point fucking coming to us and going, "We're well, nothing I can fucking do about it, guys." That's, that's fucking no good to shit. Nope. If you want to speak out, speak fucking out. Only you can perpetuate change within your own industry, and you we might, can't. We can't. And you, you don't might fucking be- listen to us. <laughs> that's right. And, and I and I think that the. At, point. at the end of the day, a lot of people are too scared to do it. But what I think what we have to do is when people do come and speak out about it, doesn't mean you have to agree with everything they say. It doesn't mean you have to like wholeheartedly support every single thing they do, but support the fact that they are willing to talk, that they are willing to do that <clears throat> instead of, oh, we were here a year ago and you weren't kind of yeah. thing. Because the, yeah. the more people that see that they will get supported when they come out like that, when they're finally ready to speak – the more people who would be inspired to do uh, so. Uh, Evangeline Lilly and Gina Carano both risked their careers. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, and we'll find out what happens to Evangeline Lilly. Uh, I'm sure funny she that, was, I'm sure she was talking. Sorry. To no, no, go on. It's just funny that the uh the people with the biggest balls in Hollywood are women. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Same with college swimmers. Hey. Same with college <laughs> that, that, that. that was a good one. That was a good one. Chrissy. That's why we got you around. You funny. And the other thing too, the things <laughs> that we need to do that. as the you know public that consumes this you know co- you know movies, TV shows, music, etc. We need to vote with our dollar, and that's the biggest thing that we can do to have that impact is by stop having a Disney Plus you know yeah. subscription. Yeah. Stop having a Netflix. If you don't stop giving money to big companies that basically hate you. This is something that we've said, you know, many times over the years, and it is a constant reminder that needs to be said over and over again. Stop giving these people money. Stop going because to obviously fucking Disney World. They will keep doing it. Yeah, stop going yeah. to Disney World. Don't go to fucking Disney World. Just stop. Don't go to Disneyland. Don't go to Disney World. If you want, like, if you don't want to quit everything, cut yeah. that one out. It's too expensive. It sucks. You can go to Universal, have just as much fun yeah. for half the price. And you Just said it in the, in the super chat. Go make some content. Yeah, you yeah. know, there's a lot of options we can do to. to oh, but try but and Gary, Universal is owned by Comcast, who has done something, and they said oh. hashtag Black Lives Matter. That's fine. So choose on Uh-oh. your on your if it principles. Hurts Disney, what do you think you want to do, and what do you want to not do? The if enemy you, of if my hate. Enemy what Disney's world. done, yeah. then cut Disney out. The if en- you hate what Paramount's done, then cut Paramount the out. The enemy do, of my what, enemy. Is Invi- still my enemy, but I'm I might back them a little bit to take out another enemy. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. I, I'm, on your Google, enemy's close. I'm on you the guys, biggest guys, enemy like, of them all. This is like the kind of comments we got when we yeah, were at yeah. Universal. Like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Fucking... Like, dude, we're on Google. We're, like, you got an Apple exactly. phone. You got a Google phone. Um, infiltrate. Just do what they did. Do you yeah. think? Do you think? Um, people like. Do you think? Uh, Ta-Nehisi Coates likes Captain America or Superman? No. No, he didn't give a shit. I don't think Tanahisi Coates likes Tanahisi Coates. No, I agree. But and like, I'm not I, being facetious. I, pro- I promise you, he he hates Captain America, hates Superman, hates everything they're about. Why is he writing? For yeah, him? I think he hates America as well. Yeah, why is he writing it's for apparent. him to change it? Mm-hmm. Mm. We need to do the same fucking thing. I've been saying that a million times, man. Get in there. Get in there. You know what? If you're gonna go work at Disneyland, you want to change it from within. Okay, I'm down with that. Go infiltrate. Go for it. You know what? It was nice to hear that the bunch of people got together and said, you know what? Okay, enough of this political stuff. But there's going to be a time where you, we can't just go, we don't want to be political anymore because one side is fighting a falk and open fucking war and the other one is, what was the analogy somebody made earlier? Uh, conservative is something driving at the speed limit or something like that. That's exactly what we're doing. There's an open war being fought by one side and the other side just doesn't want to fight. 
Yep. Mm -hmm. Gonna have to fight sometime. Well, that, and that's the other thing too. It's like, you know, we need more voices. L look at what happened with the comment section of the Rings of Power, where people just mm -hmm. kept spamming the same quote over and over. The more people that get on YouTube, the more people that call this shit out, the more people that make content around this, the stronger we are in the end. And at some point in time, they're going to have to fucking bend the knee to we, us. We already Because have. we are the ones with the money. You're right. Yeah. We already no. have the numbers. We just need those numbers to wake up, speak up, give up a couple of conveniences, cancel a couple of Disney World trips. You know, it doesn't have to be everything. Does that, that's not realistic. That's not realistic. You get, you, I mean, I doubt I could cut out Disney for my life. I, I have no idea what they own. Yeah. No fucking idea. That's, everything they That's own. the other problem, too, is the fact that all these companies own so much shit. Yeah. I mean, how, how much does Disney actually fucking own? But, it's, it's a lot of stuff. Um, and you're not going to be able to cut out everything, but you can cut some stuff out. As what did you spend a, a, a month on comic books before we quit? Oh, um, probably a good 100 to 200 pounds. Okay, yeah. I spent 400 bucks a month on comic books. Oh, yeah, so that's about three, 300 bucks, yeah, if it converted to dollars. Oh, a month? Mm. A month, yeah, a month. Yeah, I guess, I, was, uh, I guess my pull list was usually like 70 to 80 bucks, so I'm just pretty close yeah. to that. Yeah. I was spending about roughly between 90 to $125 a week on comics. So that's close like to what I was... 50 bucks or something, and I, yeah, stop. Yeah. So we were all and it was between... garbage, and now I spend 20 bucks per month. Yeah, we were all between 200 400 a month. We all stopped. Yeah, I you know, don't. That's, Zero. That's, at all. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm at zero. zero. Everything I have right now is Spawn at this point. Spawn and Berserker. Uh, I dropped Spawn off. That's true. That's Labs. the last two things I bought. I didn't buy the second issue of Spawn. King oh, Spawn, we right? got we got that. Oh, we oh, Kevin Hunts. Oh, we got it, buddy. You didn't have to put that in there for 50 bucks. Ooh, I was just about to read it. Nice. Uh, check Streamlabs. I can't speak on Super Chats and end of or end of show. Never mind, Stacey Abrams. Yeah, so Stacey Abrams. Uh, <laughs> well, thank you for the fifty dollars, and Stacey Abrams left a hundred dollar donation. Did you see the Gibbs with Rogan on Kill Tony? Biggest cuck ever. Said what? said no. nags more times than Ryan. So he must have said Edward uh, when he stubs his toe. I don't, I, I haven't seen it. I'll have to check and see that. Uh, Stacey Abrams, thank you. For, great job in Star Trek Discovery <laughs> playing Planet Earth. And good good job. job for the $100. <laughs> All right, we're getting out of here. Don't let these people go. Let's go around the horn. We're going to start with Comics Division. Hey, everybody. I'm Comics Division. You can follow me on Twitter and the YouTubes. Um, I put out content on Unsafe Space every other week. I should have a video coming out next week. If you want to go check out the one I did last week, it's on digital IDs and basically how they're going to be used to implement a social credit score. And as That's always, good. Gary, thanks for having me. It was great hanging out with you. And thank you to the chat because you guys are awesome. You're awesome, Comics. Thanks for coming on. Thank you, sir. Now get back behind the door. Um, oh, I will. Yes. I'll teleport after the show. Back there. Uh, Carter by Garrett. Hey, my name is Cordell Blake Garrett. Thanks for having me on the show once again. The show is fucking amazing every single week. Melanie Mack was awesome. It's great. Uh, she fit in really well. She did. It's awesome. I mean, even we, all of the Tomb Raider talk totally fit. It was awesome. I loved her. Uh, you can follow me on social medias, all that shit. Uh, mine's Odyssey YouTube. Where I'm gonna, I, I finally got members back on my channel, so I'm doing a membership uh stream tomorrow. It's gonna be nice. fun, and then Sunday, as X ray girl and myself will be killing some zombies. Hopefully, my internet doesn't go out and or a house near me catch on fire. Oh, yeah, and, and then a giant yeah, storm, weird. then giant weird. storm comes in with fucking tornadoes, and then a giant storm. Yeah, there was that, <laughs> that was quite a week. <laughs> Sunday was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, thanks, Carter Black. Uh, Chrissy Mayer, number one best-selling comedian in the country. Uh, well, that sounds nice. Wow. Yes, why? Thank you for having me, Gary. As always, it's fun hanging out with you and the guys. And uh, my internet was a little like wonky today. What is a ladybug doing inside? Hey, I had one inside <laughs> of my office too today. <laughs> That's good luck. Oh, look at the lady. They're great. They eat bugs, man. They are. Kill it. It's one of yes. those orange oh. ladybugs. They killed all the red ones. Oh, it's a ginger bug. It's a ginger bug? 
Ew. I killed all the red ants that were coming in my office. Why is it even alive? Okay. Uh, if you haven't bought the album, uh, check it out on iTunes or Amazon. Uh, so, uh, watch Simpcast Sundays at 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I'm doing a big live stream in the Poconos uh, Thursday through oh, Friday, right. but I'm not going to miss FNT, but it's going to uh-huh. be kind of a shit show. Uh, just in the Poconos with like 17 people shooting content, live streaming and shit. Um, and uh, Comedians of the Compound will be in Atlantic City on April 22nd and 23rd. I'll be in Morse Plains May 14th uh, working on um, Long Island dates uh michigan other things so just keep sending me your suggestions and shit like that thank you thank you i don't know where to put this uh, where should i put it just put it on the wall just fucking smash it no don't listen to him why but it's clap schwab in the chat eat it eat it eat it (laughs) if you yeah if you're gonna if you're gonna smash it eat it just, no. just push it outside, Chrissy. It's a lady. It's a ladybug. Like... They're cool. They're good. You uh, like it. It's like an ant or something like that. Roach. <laughs> like, yeah, fucking kill that fucking thing. But, uh, yeah, look at that. You get, ah! you... ah! <laughs> Why did I get scared? Ah! It got it big yeah, when camera. its wings came out. <laughs> it was huge. It was like 3D. Oh, it's yeah. fine. It's a bug. It's not going to hurt you. You oh guys are just scared. fucking simps if you don't want to kill a man. bug. A girl. Yeah, smash it. God. Um... Thank you, Chrissy. Uh, Ryan Kinnell from RK Outpost, dude. We missed you. Thanks for coming back. Great job. It is good to be back. I did miss you guys. I did miss you guys when I was in Vegas. But, uh, yeah, I'm just doing my thing. Sports Wars, Geeks and Gamers, my channel. I'm on Odyssey and Rumble and YouTube and everywhere. So, hell yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Right on, brother. Uh, as from Heel versus Babyface in Hot Toys. Hi. What? Well, ladybird. Don't smash ah, it. So cute. It is. It just scared the fuck out of you. Yeah. But now it's back. Because it's chilling. Blow on it, Chrissy. Just it. a little bit. As, how's the cycle I'm look? very skittish. Let me I see get the scared cycle. of everything. Uh, yeah, subscribe <laughs> to uh, Hill vs. Babyface, please. Uh, pushing towards 297k. <laughs> so Yes. Would be nice. Please. Yeah. Want to hit that 300k? Making gains. Hit the 300K. For ego reasons, nothing more. Won't change much at all. But uh, ego. Uh, so if you could do that, uh, thanks for having us, Gary. Thank you, chat. Melanie was awesome. Yeah, she was. It was great to talk some video games. I don't uh, do that too often, and it's one of my biggest passions. So it was just nice to have some video game uh, discussion. And uh, Tuesday, well, Sunday, quarter black, Garrett. And X Ray Girl playing Dying Light 2 together. Tuesday, Real BBC's on my channel this week. Wednesday, uh, Thursday, um, <laughs> on Critical Drinkers channel to discuss. Is it Wednesday? Tuesday. Well, Thursday. 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 Yeah. To discuss uh, Return of the Kang. Yep. Nice. And we're going to finish off that uh, that Lord of the Rings uh, trilogy uh, discussion. And then, of course, Friday Night Tights on Friday. Is anyone playing games after this? <laughs> no. I can Just play some Elden Ring after this. I'm I forgot this. to pack my controller. I'm going to try to play Elden Ring at some point tonight. Yeah. I want to watch I want to watch. I want some Elder Ring. I want to watch. Oh, good. Oh, I've got just some itching. of that Elder Ring. Oh, I, I, I just, I just, it's two a.m. I don't need to play. To play but I don't need to play. I, I just want to watch. watch. I don't know, As. You've played very late before. Uh, there's a live yeah, stream. Tired. I just want to gross out in bed. There's a Crystal live stream, right? For her birthday? A uh, Crystal. Yeah, yeah I can yeah. pop the link in the chat for everyone. I was about to say. Yeah, we go raid that. That'd be. I want to watch Elden Ring, Gary. Okay, then. I'm sure it's there's some the ten year old I mean, playing Elden Ring like that you could watch. Hours, you'll be past that. Um, you were awake last year, last night for some reason. Yeah, no. If I didn't have so much damn work to do, I would play Witcher Three. I would, but I can't. Stream it, man. Uh, that that'll come soon. That'll come soon. Am I? Am I have to play some myself? Um, I need to find out. Uh, thank you, As. I need to find out if they're actually going to require masks at WonderCon because then I'm definitely not fucking going. 
Um, but uh, if they aren't, then I'm going, which is next weekend. I'll be in Anaheim unless they're requiring masks. Yeah, uh, I don't think it's an Anaheim thing. I think it's just a celebration thing. Star Wars, it's Disney. So Disney's Disney. running it, so they're doing it. I don't think WonderCon will do that. Uh, Wonder uh, uh, Comic Con during the coof only required a test. So that was fine. That was a fucking rip off, but it was fine. It was such a fucking racket. Bullshit. It was probably wrong. Uh, I don't care. I don't give a shit. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so, a uh, possibility of me, Quarterback Garrett, and Mrs. Nerdrotic being in Anaheim a week from the, today. Uh, and Ooh. then uh, then coming back. So I'll let you stay tuned. Stay tuned. We'll yeah, so out. you, you got to wear a I, I got it here. You got to wear a mask yeah, regardless mask of that status. Uh, In addition to wearing an approved face covering, noise. you'll be required to provide. Fuck your muscles. Fuck your muscles. <laughs> nope. So you either got to be vaxxed or you got to provide 72 hours that you're negative. Nope. Well, oh, so, a test, so a test. So a test. Yeah. doesn't require it. I'm not wearing a mask. Nope, not going. <laughs> That is weird. Actually. Scratch the trip. There you go, Mrs. Neurotic. There's your answer. She was asking earlier today. Not going. Easy. If I got to wear a mask, fuck that. I'll go fuck to up. Vegas or something instead. Um, or do something else. We'll figure something out. But, uh, yeah, that's off the docket, so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, card. Oh, oh, well, uh, you know, there's always that. And we can watch Moon Knight. Yay, that's something next week. Oh, enjoyable, God. Ryan. Something enjoyable. Jesus. When's Moon Knight draw? Uh, uh, in five days. Yes. Really? So four days. Wow. So four days. It'll be in the because they're retarded. They fucking drop their shit at like one in the morning or something like that. It's stupid. Monday. As fuck. Well, it's That's Tuesday it's morning, right? Nine a.m. No. for us. That's no, 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 no. It's uh, Wednesday. It comes out right. So it's uh, yeah, Tuesday night. So it'll be Tuesday or Wednesday it's morning. So that every single yeah. person yeah. who's like in America immediately when they wake up, they get spoiled. If you're like, if you're not staying up to right, watch yeah. it, yeah, you yeah. just wake up, you log on to Twitter, and you see, oh, Luke Skywalker. Oh, that's cool. This is All why right. I had to nice. stay up to watch Game of Thrones. Because yeah. if yeah. I fell asleep and woke up, it was just all the spoilers were just everywhere. Let's get ruined. So I, so I ended up just having to watch it live at like four o'clock in the morning our time. <laughs> Good God! I think there's do. a a a reasonable way we could work that out. Uh, but yeah, they should do it at one time. Yeah, just don't go on the internet, but, you know, self-control. Uh, sometimes it's, you know, yeah, most of the time, no. You just don't have to go on the internet, and that's fine. I just don't give a shit about spoilers anymore. I don't care. I'll, I'll, give me the whole fucking plot of a movie before I see it. I don't care. It doesn't bother me that much. Well, what's, I it, don't, it, what's the spoiler in a Marvel anyway. movie? Uh, status quo, status quo, status quo, yeah. status quo. Yeah. Next film. Uh, Set up yeah. next status Pat, quo. Uh, male character passing mantle to female character who is much yeah. smarter and better. I'll just never like, even though we never see it. Spoil, that's yeah. part of it. If you don't want to get spoiled, don't be online. That's the fucking bottom line. Yep. So it's your own responsibility. Damn straight. All right. So Nerd Erotic Dooner next week. Uh, Real BBC on, is it your channel? It's your channel. Tuesday As and channel. our clocks go forward. So it's going to be back to normal times. Back to normal times. Who's our guest next Friday? It's a surprise to me. Oh. Adam Crickler. Adam Krigler. Nice. Craig. Is he banned again? Uh, he might be. <laughs> he will be by the time he's happens. here. <laughs> he will be banned by the time he's here. And you never know who else will show up. So thanks, everyone. Uh, thanks to Perry Chan. Thanks to the Mod Rodics. Thanks to everyone who left a super chat and a donation. There will be a square up in the next 72, 48 hours, something like that. Uh, that'll be on Nerd Rodic Live. That's my alternate channel. Also have Nerd, Nerd Rodic Daily. Uh, I got a video. I got a couple videos <clears> I'm working on. They'll be out soon. And um, one of them, I'm trying something new. Trying something a little different. So see if you like it. The other one's probably Lord of the Rings. So just to be safe. <laughs> <laughs> a little something different. A little something different. Something Lord of the Rings. Traditional. Lord of the Rings. Be careful uh, with me, Chrissy. Uh, yeah. So thanks, everyone. who <laughs> Super Chat donation. You help keep the lights on. Thanks, everyone who just spent your time with us and enjoyed it. Uh, say goodbye to the ladybug. And please enjoy hey, some uh, credits. Lady. Not all who wander are lost. Ram. Who might be male? It's a they bug. And may the wings of liberty they them them bug. Bug. never <laughs> lose a feather. Bye. That Bye. everyone. Bye. Bye. Nice. Disgusting. Disgusting.
Right. You're disgusting. Right, right. right. To get on the edge, have some success out there. Oh. Get everybody out front and then come right back with Kyle Eck. Echol has nine carries in the middle of the field. Yeah. And can... America. Fucking fuck! Are you frostbitten? Well, drink Geek Grind Coffee! With the special nerd erotic All Hail Private Blend. GeekGrindCoffee.com for all that ails you. Use discount code NERDROTIC at checkout for 20% off! Huzzah! Oh, Hello. Do you have cock? Remember cock? The penis. Yes, it was cock. It's cock actually, right? It's in English. Please give me cock. Simple. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're gonna have to put it in my ass. Okay. Like, ooh, ooh. Is that what you're looking for? You fucking freaks. What the fuck? Stop it! Get away from me!
Do not come. Do not come. I'm going to come.